You guys see that title? You already know what the fuck we're about. You guys know what the fuck you guys know what the fuck we're about? Let me show you. That's Mickey. Is it That's Mickey. Where's our war crimes uh spam? Where's my war crime spam? I forgot they explained this in the movies. Is aren't these guys all the guys that failed becoming Sardaukar? I think it, is it the Sardaukar who are like you basically go through the program and then your last test is you basically have to like kill another Sardaukar. And if you pass that, then you actually become one. And then the ones who die are these ones or like the ones who died. It's something like that. Dude, the vo dude, the, 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 the aesthetic of the Sada car was so good. The Atreides legions are the finest in the Imperium. Trained by Gurney Alec in Duncan, Idaho. Saduka, the Uka Bade, Sakusa Akita Fade. Wait, is it blooded in with the blood of their enemy? Oh, I thought it was more metal than that. I thought it was like the blood of like their own fucking homies. What's up, chat? Yo, what's good, guys? Um, <clears throat> all right, before things get too crazy, hey, uh, I just want to let you guys know. I'm going to just, if there's weird shit going on in chat, and like, because I still want to play GTA RP and stuff. When there's weird shit going on in chat, you guys can just spam om. Um, I like the om emo or just like spam you guys just spam what like i listen if you guys ever want to know how to clear like dumb comments from chat i trust you guys just spam emotes i'll tell yeah spam this spam whatever i, I feel like instead of calling stuff out i, I it's I, I i listen i i this is this is the conclusion i came to the role play community cannot be saved uh, but my chat can be saved, so we just spam fun emotes in here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to lecture to other people to not be overly invested. I can only trust that my own community is good vibes, and I'll, I'll just try set a good example for you guys. So you know, you guys just spam good emotes. That's all I ask. Anyways, um, what's up, chat? Yo, where are my chat array clips at, though? Uh, and also I'm gonna uh, uh, by the way, I hope you guys know I'm gonna try it like I hope you guys know I'm gonna try and take like a different Approach on Mickey uh, When it comes to like conflict Do I open up clip queue? Oh fuck hold on. Let's just get right into it guys fuck By the way, by the way, uh, hold on. What's the, I don't know if they have this scene. Hold on. Paul versus Fade. Okay, I, for cinema. Oh, I don't even know if I can show this. Sorry. And I mean, Dune 2 has been out for a while. I'll just say this. Also, the books have been out. So I don't really swear. This fight, I gotta watch it because I, I, I might get the MC, but this fight the, the fight at the end of Dune, you guys need to know something. In the books, uh, honestly, they did a cool job and Austin Butler's character is badass and he's kind of like weirdly hot in a weird way. Um, and they built him up as a villain and for the show, this was really well done. I actually think they did a great deviation from the show. In the books, Paul Atreides fucking mercs this guy. Like, it is not close. Because you guys have to understand that... I mean, I, I, this isn't a spoiler, but I hope you guys kind of understand this about Paul. 
and it's also like a broader understanding of how the spice works. Paul, it's not that he can see the future. He can see futures. Now, how far, the further out it goes, the less it becomes clear. But that's why if he's fighting someone, he can see all of the different futures of how the fight goes. So it's like, and that's like one of the best examples of it in the books where he's but like, I'm going to fuck your shit up. Anyways. We should do Paul Atreides RP today. Anyways. Shit, man. You asked. No, I said me hunker eye. Ah, okay. God bless. Do you know what that means? Ooh. Don't tell me. Tell me. You want to know? Wait. Me, me hunker eye. I need your, I want your love. You are very cute. Oh, you are very cute. Oh, no. Wait, what's the one that's like, whoa. Whoa, y'all. Whoa, y'all need. Whoa, y'all need. To, uh, oh, yeah. Whoa, y'all need. Whoa, y'all need eyes. I, I need your love. Is that song? You got that down, man. Jesus. It means you're cute. Very cute. You oh, sorry, sorry. Damn. Did you run or G. L'Oreal? Did you do that with ice? I know, I did a funny Menu, dog. menu, Glorian? menu, menu, menu. Yeah. Like the word glory. Sorry. Also, Turn, if you're in the chat today, Turn is working on a overlay for us. Um, since this is our first, like, real kind of conflict war in, in 4.0 that involves guns and stuff. Um, chat. We are working on a role play war overlay um, so that uh, people can keep track of the scores. Um, hopefully we'll have that soon. I'm really excited to see what, what turn cooks up for that. All right, I'll take I got this oh, one. Oh, this one? Turn, yeah, well, yeah, cause you're driving if we gotta get out of there in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. This is a four seater if anybody wants to get in. Yeah, just go to seed one. Oh, hey. I get the fuck in the back. All right. God, Chad, what the? <laughs> you big ass? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Sidney, get in. <laughs> Was that lag on his stream? So maybe it's because it's by the hospital. Eight minute video. Do I watch this one? Chatter Ray people. Do I watch this? Fuck. Hello? We, we've got it. We're, we, oh, we've, we're okay? dedicated to the Chatter Ray content yeah, chat. Okay. If you, you want to cringe. I, saw the thing. I did see the twat. I just called Mumbles. He said that he's with Honestly, there's something that like feels good about Ray doing all this fucking cringe shit. And then I can make fun of her for it later. So I'm, I'm fine with this. You and everything's oh, fine. Wait. You were on the phone with my Mumbles. You were on the phone with Ray. Okay. Stop, right. chat. Okay. Hey, uh, it's uh, cups. Why are you calling me Ray? <laughs> uh, sorry, cups. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, didn't didn't Chatterbox know, I, didn't Chatterbox concede in the cringe war? I'm gonna. I got you. I'm gonna get you a. Uh, I'm gonna get you a gift. A gift? Yeah. I I thought about you, and you know, I'm so happy the the way things are going. I I. I, I, yeah, I that's the only that's the only score some, I'm some, keeping track of. Right? I know exactly what to get you. Did I listen? I mean, you don't have to. Aren't you like in debt for like a billion dollars? Of course I am, but that won't stop me from getting my queen a gift. His wife helped okay, him. Okay, well then I'll get you yeah. a gift. No, 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 no I'll, I'll get you a gift. gift. Uh, you When's your birthday? I have no idea. Happy birthday, Chatty. Wait, I'm gonna get you the birthday? best gift ever. How old am I turning? How old are you turning? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You know what? Every day is your birthday. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, but wouldn't that make me really uh old? Because then I, 
Get and you are an elder here. now, so. You ain't getting any fights when men or don't have prio. Sorry, it's totally unrelated to this. Uh, I, I, and, and it's not me getting one guy. I actually want to say, who are the guys? The guys who we were like beefing with yesterday. Who are those guys? Do, do any of them not have prio? STE. All right, how about this? We're gonna finish our chatter rate. Shit, you guys, find, while we're watching this, you guys go find me some ST clips. STE. We'll go watch some clips. <laughs> but I'm. Oh okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'm gonna go get your gift. All right. I gotta go do some really yucked up to to be able to get it, and then I'll call you and I'll come give it to you. Okay. All right. I'll try right, to have your right. gift ready too. I'll see you soon. All right, goodbye, goodbye. my king. Bye, my king. Bye. I hope he's dying. Get on the outside chat. I'm gonna be honest though. This is, but dude, I there's some somehow. I I feel like it's like just like when the vibes are right for relationship RP. And when the investor or invest the invested viewers know that it's just such a character thing, it is such fucking good content. Like, I'll be honest, guys. I think it helps the fucking uh, the chatterbox has a, a literal wife who's like helping him come up with cringe dialogue to say to Ray. I, I think like I think the whole like removed part of like the creators and just how and then just how different their characters are makes it so good. Love the new emotes, Blau. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Uh. I am working on a new set of emotes for all of us, by the way. We can do white another day, don't worry. Oh my god. There she is. There she is. Was this like for what? their date? Oh my god. Bro. It's backwards. Ah, uh, well, it's okay. Well, <laughs> it's it's oh, a gift giving. What it is. You know they uh they treat me For good. What? Well, what do you mean? They just treat me good this today. This is Momo, by the way. Oh, hi, Momo. He's been helping me sell weed. Oh, you've been helping my queen today, Momo, huh? Yeah, we've met Chatty. Yeah, you've we've been met treating, a couple of times. You've been treating her good. <laughs> I've been watching out for her. Have you been? You sure? <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, oh, you've been helping me. Sooty? Hi, Lily. What are you guys Hello. doing? What is this? Uh, this been? is a romantic gesture. Yeah. We're helping. Woo you. <laughs> no, I mean, we're not wooing you, but treasure boxes. Oh, he, he just wants. Want he has gifts. Did you guys catch that line, by the way? She said, this is a romantic jester. That's a fucking line. Okay. That's a fucking line. All right, all right. You don't gotta swear. Oh, shit. What do you mean? I said, oh, you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chase, Chase. Momo, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chatty. Um, uh, I got you some stuff. <laughs> I got you something, too. I will, um... I know you want it. You really wanted these, you know? Oh, thank you! You're, you're Twelve welcome! Twelve slushies? Yeah, yeah, that's right! How'd you know that's what I wanted? Oh, I, I pay attention to my queen, you know? <laughs> I pay very close attention, and that's not it. That's not it, you know, just in As case. As you should. Just, As just in should, case, honestly. just in case, you know? There you go. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. You are, you are anything thank for you. my... Anything for my queen. Anything for Why my... do you sound like you're in pain? I am not in pain. I just... You sound miserable. <laughs> God, you're kicked out of me by the cops. <laughs> Get clean with your chest, Chatty. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. And I lost Save my... Your chest. Save chest. lost what? I got... I lost my... kind of lost my voice because of... Uh, <clears throat> got, oh, cause of... you lost your voice. Here, I have my gift yeah. for you. <laughs> Oops. Your... Your... Your license. Wow, that's... 
I like it. <laughs> there you go. It's my ID. You're. Oh my oh. god! Because you know, that's how it started all of it. This was the start of everything. That was the start of everything. Oh, that's wow. actually kind of a cute Except gift. This one's not expired. This one, oh, this one's not expired. Oh, I see. Yeah, I that's see. my current ID. <laughs> okay, well, um, <clears throat> this is. Uh, that's actually kind of cute. Right? You, Mohammed, Momo, Momo, right? Momo. Yeah. Well, Momo, thanks for um, thank you for uh, looking out for my for my queen. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate it. Um, you know, we don't have to refer to each other as king and queen. All okay, okay. My, is it about my, to get my, bad? You sound like cups. you're in pain when you say it. No, it's my voice is in pain. <laughs> it's, you sound so miserable. <laughs> I'm not miserable at all. Okay. I'm not miserable at all, you see? I'm not, I'm not miserable at all. Embrace not, too! Is it miserable, Sidney? No, no, not at all. Yes. Yeah, really? See, see, this is this is my girl, everybody. This is my girl. My goodness. Oh my god, oh you're my just goodness. so romantic. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, uh, just, oh, oh the yes. sweetest thing. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, you see that Momo? I get that the devs put it in, but I, I did not, th I, I, I genuinely blame Foosley for like starting this shit. <laughs> Wait, Max, I didn't even see, look, Max is just watching. <sighs> Holy shit, bro, 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 someone in chat, someone in, oh my God, bro. I, dude, I love when you guys write funny shit. Hold on, what, someone in chat said, Bro, Max said that introducing Embrace 2 to April was his Oppenheimer moment. <laughs> Bro, dude, he's lit dude, this is literally this is literally Max. This is fucking Oppenheimer right here. Fucking uh what was the initial in ignition called? The 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 first test. What was it called? Not, 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 uh, no, not Nagasaki, not little boy, fat man on Nagasaki, Hiroshima, uh, Hiroshima. It's literally the name of the first test. Has a famous name, chat. Come on, we all watch. No, it's called the Manhattan Project. Trinity test. Bro, right here. This is literally, this is Oppenheimer watching the Trinity test. Puts down the binoculars and now I am become death. Destroyer of worlds. So maybe one day you'll find something like I have. Maybe one Holy day, shit, but dude. probably not because this is something special. He knows, he sounds really sarcastic. Oppenheimer. Holy shit, bro. I, I'm not being sarcastic at all. You sound, you literally here. sound so sarcastic and so miserable, and it's fine. I'm not hurt at all. My, my fucking Oppenheimer, bro. Who, Any other Ma excuses? Ma Ma Max, what oh, are you hi, Max. Max, what are you doing? Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love it when you guys <laughs> look at this fucking. <laughs> now I am become cringe destroyer of chat. <laughs> oh shit. Um, okay, I have to go finish my job. Yeah, put that in your gun. That's good. Mom that's good. Up. <laughs> it's one bullet, chatty. It's all you need. <laughs> you need a bullet? True. One sec. Which is it? A legal gun? <laughs> I don't know. I have a gun. I don't know if it's legal. You know, you know what I went for. It the, you know what I went for today. One nine eleven. I do it, oh man. Look at the gun. It's a, it's yeah, a, I don't have it's it on a forty-five me. bullet. That's all I got. Uh, I don't know. If it's you know like one of the zip guns that you buy a license for, let me know. I can get bullets and mags for them. Oh, wow, okay. look at that. Well, okay, all right. Um, you know what I did? You know what I did? You know what I, what, what I did today to get the money for all of, for that? Slushies. What did you do? I went and got a PD what? gun and sold it to the cops. <laughs> yeah, I sold oh, yeah, it to Captain Slax. Yep, yep. Really? Yep. Wait, that that's is right. so. He got a PD gun. Funny. Yeah, and, and sold it to the cops. Yeah, he bought it. Two thousand five hundred. How much? Twenty-five hundred bucks. Good guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Twenty-five hundred bucks, man. We were scamming Slax with PD weapons for way more than that. Come on. Chatterbox. Eli. Oh, hi, Eli. Eli. Oh, hey, Eli. Hello. Yeah, um, and then they tried to set me up, but they, they yucked up. I got away, so I'm good. Wait, you guys are the 
But then I went to jail to go get slushies. Rare min max blah blah blah. Wow, I can't use this machine unless I'm actually arrested. So then I had to go to the courthouse and actually get arrested. <laughs> yeah, it was yucking. I mean, I want to see the text. Everyone in chat keeps saying we, we need to watch the text one. Yeah, I I appreciate the gesture. You didn't have to do all that. Yeah, but I wanted to. I wanted to. Um, you have I a. Oh, I think it's the. Ne I think it's up next. I think it's up next. Call me if you need me. All right. Okay. Also, I just want wait. Sorry, I, I also have to briefly see Melky discharge. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Cinnamon Celeste, thanks for the resub. Kavik, thanks for the sub. Diana, thanks for the sub. Um, chat in in May. I will let you guys know this. I am I am probably I'm actually not prize. I am not. I think doing my subathon again. I realize the subathon was so fucking dope and I love doing it and it was really cool. But at the end of the day, I value my own personal health and personal time and my own sanity. But I wanna do another cool like community thing in May. So we're gonna do a really, we'll, we'll do another, we're gonna do something different in May besides the subathon. But that is when we're gonna introduce the new sub emotes. We're gonna uh, introduce some of the stuff from the last subathon that we completed that we haven't gotten to release yet, stuff like that. So um, anyways, Diana, thanks for the sub. Blinking Angel, thanks for the sub. We're going to watch the text one next. Um, guys, thanks for all the subs coming in. Uh, the person who does my emotes is I Spam Laugh, and they're working on a whole new set of emotes, one of which is an exclusive Blau emote for the army of lurkers that I have to call upon, my army. So it should be good. Um, what was I going to do? Uh, by the way, uh, sorry, we'll go back to that clip. Can I just say, I, I hate to, I would never normally watch my own content like on stream. You guys know I skip my own clips, but I just want to say content warning is the funniest fucking game. And I love this game. And this is the cringiest shit that I get to do. Like, look at this shit. What's up, TikTok and YouTube shorts? Blau here. We're here with a day in the life of a content creator. Let me show you guys what we go about and do in my day here. Uh, say hi to my to my to my squad. What's up, guys? Hello, Hello. hey. hey. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys a day in the life of a content creator. All right, goodbye. After a potentially lethal dose of Adderall and then drinking a energy supplement oh. that I don't actually like or think is healthy for people, but they sponsor me to Keep say so. I go down with my friends to go film some content. Let's do it. Here's my friend Ellen. He's gonna go make some sick content for. Oh my fuck! Oh fuck my! Oh, uh, sorry. He's gonna make some sick content for. Yo, what's up, guys? This is my friend Ellen. He's gonna be helping us film some content today. He's a really cool dude from the UK. Say hi, Ellen. Yo, what's up? I, wait, I went American. Yo, what's up, I blouse? What's going on? Wait, today we're gonna shop stick your. Being a content creator means that my life is performative and I am the shell of a human being. I fucking love I love this shit, dude. I love this shit. Wait, what's the mo we guys, what's the millennial pause? I've heard about this. What's the millennial pause? Fuck. You pause for a second after recording. Oh, shit. All right, I'll try and do less of that. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Allie helping... Is it Jaeger or Jagger? X ray, okay. Fresh oh pee. my god. And then go to the the text of the blue. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Chat, I am not typing this. My wife is typing this. I'm not doing this, okay? Big Jagger. What are you typing? By the way, you. Oh my <laughs> she god. Does it <laughs> she doesn't even care. She doesn't even care. No! Allie, what are you doing? Oh, 
my god. <laughs> yeah. You look so yuck and hot in that black and red. Oh my god, I can't believe she fucking said that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Chat, please tell her that uh, that was not me. You look so yuck and hot in black and red. That's it. And her box is the sexiest. The next one Brother! Brother! Ah! Good. You know what? You know what, Mr. Ratchet? Hey, Mr. Ratchet, Mr. Ratchet, come here, yeah. come here. Come here. <laughs> if if he doesn't if he <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, I Jeez. I listen, I'm uh, this is this is my message for I'm gonna just say this to Chatterbox and Allie. I this this goes for like all of the fucking roomies. They are actually fucking unhinged. I don't know where this like Disney PG-13 bullshit comes from. All of them are fucking unhinged and they will yeah, they will out fucking cringe you, out petty you with this uh they are I think Ray can be even worse than Foosley at times. I'm not going to lie. I actually think Ray can be worse than Foosley. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Like if I'm if I'm thinking like Foosley on April and Ray on Raymond, I think Foosley is at a higher level of just pure like she like has a higher just baseline average of just absolute insanity of like ERP Erpral shit. But Ray, when she wants to, will will hit higher maximums. She'll she'll she peaks higher, you know. Jesus Christ, hey, man. Where's she at? Okay. Oh, you, you, you want to stay in that one? Okay. Where that pole come from? <laughs> okay, dude. Oh my fuck. Oh, I can't even reply to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, you guys said Allie is in here? What? What's her? What's her username? Wait, that's fucking hilarious. What's her username? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Giddy Alley? I'm telling, dude. I'm I'm being honest with you. Do not like this is not a this is not a fight you guys can win. So I'm. I hope you guys did. Uh. I hope you guys have accepted your defeat. This is not a fight you can win. They are they are unhinged fucking people. That house is Bro, okay. I I am being serious, chat, when I say <clears throat> You guys literally have, I I've literally been over at their house eating dinner and I get in Dude, Myung is a Myung is a fucking psychopath. Myung will literally be like, "Hey, like in in DMs, Myung will be like, "Hey, like I made I made some uh uh like oxtail bone soup by the way oh my god Myung's oxtail bone soup is like the oxtail bone oxtail soup whatever oh my some of the best shit ever i show messages hey i made i made some you should come over come in i'm like oh yeah fuck yeah i'll be over really chilling the dms then on stream they're like what the psychopath he's breaking into our house someone stop him he's getting i'm like you guys literally invited me over So they're psychopaths. Sorry, that was a complete. Uh, I that was a complete. Uh, do not fuck with them. Put a car down here this time, because if they see it, they're gonna fucking. You're losing now, son of a bitch. You're trying to box, We run out. And we jump down. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Ali would have won it if Jagger went through with her plan. Let me see what the plan was. Ali, I was Some winning. I was winning before. I was winning before you got involved, Ali. 
I just put it up chat again? I don't think so. Um, what would you twat out? You know, like, I want to show my appreciation to Chatty. Like, I'm not afraid to tell the world that he is, like, you know... Something along with... Something along the lines of, like, Chatty is my prince in shining armor. Yeah, honestly? You don't know the plan, just that he wouldn't do it? Yeah, uh, you know, I could pick up being a love doctor on the side. You know, honestly, I can't believe I didn't ask you sooner. Mm. <laughs> God, I can't do this. <clears throat> She wanted, so him, she wanted him to say, I can help with that. Oh, the without any clothes. Oh. That, see, that's, that's a good response a back. That would have been, that would have been fire. Daddy is so romantic. <laughs> 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 Chatty's daddy oh is pretty God. good, honestly. Okay, it's all my Hey, buddy. I can help no, yeah, yeah no, Kitty no, no, Alley, no, you no, should no, just no, take no, over no, his no, phone no, for this I'm shit. Yeah, that. I'm not saying that. Hello? I'm not saying that, Alley. No. no. I'm not saying that. No. Mm -mm. I'm not <laughs> saying that. No, I'm not fucking saying that. I am not fucking saying that. I am not saying that. I am not saying that. No. Do you have no. his number? Why don't you call him? I don't got his numbers. Who's the one talking to him? I am not saying that, Ali. <laughs> uh, Get out. Bro, I, I'm going to be honest. Ali helping with this and being a part of this makes it so much better. <laughs> Get Holy out. Shit. Get out. Ali, get out. I am not saying that. <laughs> That's not fucking happening. That, no. That is fucking is way around? too much. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I, am, I am telling you guys now. This is my sincere, this is my sincere message to you, Ali and uh, Jagger. That is not too much. You have not, listen, you have now embarked upon a path of destruction. And the only way forward is further escalation. Nothing is too much. If we are referring, if, if this is the Erpenheimer moment and, and, and Embrace 2 was the Erpenheimer moment, you must accept the fate. We talked about this on stream literally last week, chat. Once the, once the nuclear age starts, we have to live in that world now you can't you can't unsplit the atom it has been split now you have to go and build fusion devices fusion devices are not enough you now have to build icbms that can deploy multiple warheads second strike potential necessary we now need a, a fleet of nuclear submarines spread across the globe ready to uh deliver a second strike deterrence theory must be fully followed through as is the case here. So you need to find out what your ICBM is in this ERP situation, and you must develop it. Thank you. Who oh would my the God. Thoughts inside. Okay. I'm just going to send a text message really quick. Just give me a bit. Bro. What the? All I heard was split open. I can do that. Okay. See, that's the, yes, see, that's the energy you need to, to take. That's the energy you need to take to this situation. She's learning. This is good. Yes. That's it. <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't want to <laughs> say this shit. <laughs> They're both here now. Okay, wait, Jarox, do not do. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, guys, guys, okay. I'm. Hold on. I had good background music for this. From Dune Show. Hold on. Oh, where's the Dune? Yeah, yeah. This is my this is my I'm gonna all for you guys. This is my lecture for you. Hold on. Oh, actually we should do the Halo theme. That's great. Okay, first of all, first of all,
first of all, first of all, delete this shit. Delete this. Second of all, one cannot be brave unless one knows fear. Now, now, you, you, we continue this. We continue this fight. You can go further. You can do this. It's possible. Yeah, fear, exactly. Fear is the mind killer. The cringe must flow. Oh, wait, fuck. We should do the Dune music. Fuck. Ripples in the sand is the good one. Exactly. Fear is the, is the mind killer. And the cringe must flow. We will start a cringe jihad that will last for 10,000 years on the chats of NoPixel. Okay? Oh God, Viggy's in chat too? What did Viggy say? <laughs> Sexting in server yet the only weird thing in the last 30 minutes has been you not using dark mode on Twitter. Bro, I use the dim mode on Twitter. What are you a bro? Dim mode looks so nice. Are you kidding me? What is I think dim mode is nice. You're such a fucker. You're actually such a fucker. Fuck, oh, wait, where were we? Oh, okay. Chatterbox, Ali, I believe that you guys are Kizak Hatterak of cringe. You guys can do, you can achieve a new level of cringe in this war that we have not seen yet before on NoPixel. I believe. I believe. Chatterbox says she's cringe, not me. No, 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 no. I need you to listen. I... Not not speaking about no pixel, but if we if we back out of no pixel, let me tell you guys, I'm like I'm like the fucking I'm like the fucking Atreides here, bro. I'm the fucking uh, kind of. Wait, no, I'm not the Atreides. I guess you guys are the Atreides in this sense. I don't know. I'm someone in in this situation. Maybe I'm the Harkonnen. I don't know who I am. My house, the house of Blau, has been at war with the Rumis, led by Valkyrie for eons. I have, I have, I have fought them in the trenches of cringe for a long time, uh, unsuccessfully, Un very unsuccessfully. But I know, I believe that they can be defeated. Wait, is it Viggy's birthday? Listen, hey, may thy cringe. Chip and shatter. Wait, how do they do it? It's like this. this. May thy cringe, chip and shatter. Go forth. Wage this war. Do not surrender. An alley we trust. Yeah. Cringe must flow. Anyways, is um, is it Viggy's birthday today? Lisa, uh, Lisa and Ali Gaib. <laughs> Bro, I swear, making 
Dude, I will say the one thing that I regret the most in this world is that Dune was not like, because let's be honest, for those who are wondering, by the way, the Dune book, the single Dune book, that is the story that's told in Dune part one and Dune part two. So the book obviously doesn't get like it, like that climax doesn't happen until like the fucking second half of the book, right? Which is why I feel like there just wasn't this hype around Dune one. And now that Dune two is out, everyone's like, oh shit, this stuff's fucking amazing. I wish it had this hype the first time around because we did a whole arc in GTA. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we did a whole arc in GTA where Mickey and Lang Buddha sold cocaine and it was the spice melange. And we played Dune music and we did a whole Dune theme for the fucking Coke. I miss that shit. People will hate the next movie. Ah, yeah, I don't know if people are ready for where the story goes. After watching the OG Dune, I noticed half of the last 30 years of media has been making references to it. I mean, Dune is the, like, there's certain origins of sci-fi. Like, if we look at, like, who are, like, the major sort of players of, that have influenced sci-fi. Obviously, Isaac Asimov was, like the OG to like sort of formulate the the concept of robotics, AI, and all the stories that follow about robotics, AI, et cetera, and how that interplays. And that's why where Isaac Asimov sends. Um, Frank Herbert is like the origin of like the sci-fi space odyssey. So Star Wars, all of that shit follows from Dune. God, we didn't even finish this yet. What's, what exactly are we doing? Now you're Meaning about mimes. Own guy. Oh, uh, it, no. See, this, the, the, uh, I could have, it could have been stronger. It could have been Back stronger. Fucking my So turn keep, the car. I'll kneel to that. Uh, where did we get it from? Where did we get it from? <laughs> okay, I remember. He pinged it. Uh, okay. And then I got to do, uh. Say nothing, then I'm just screwed all together. I might as well say something now. Oh my god, I'm not even, I can't, I don't even know if I can reply to that. That is, yeah, me, yeah we got yeah, a lot of this. Oh my god, my god. Yeah, that's crazy oh, chat. That's crazy. Oh, you heard the Oh, chat. Chat, that is crazy. Oh my god. Are you talking to yourself in third person, chatty? Oh. oh. Sorry, people put this in chat and now I'm, I'm in like a weird thing where I'm like, I never thought I would spend a Sunday where I'm like, it's like this is like where life is has led me right i'm on a sunday morning and i'm like trying to explain i'm trying to talk about like two clowns dating in a grand theft auto role play server and and my over investment in that story and i'm also trying to juggle explaining some of the dune universe to my chat like what has my world come to Did you just call Raymond a clown? Yeah, Raymond is the clown. She's the clown queen. Um. By the way, I like as as a note to like Valkyrie, the like I love what she's doing with this shit. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I've been loving to see in 4.0 is people like just creating new stories. I think people going out on a on a limb and creating new stories has been amazing. Blau clown character incoming. You know, this is an interesting thing. I've noticed this a lot where it's like, people will like see stuff like this and like, oh my God, Blau should make a clown. Oh my God, that'd be sick, amazing. I think it's the same thing with like the Fooses where someone's like, oh my God, this person should make a Foos character. Um, or not. You know, so, guys, sometimes it's fun to just, watch and appreciate it you know besides i already have a clown character it's uh the role play 
uh, or sorry, it's the IRL streamer named Nathan Blau that comes into the server like once every two months to do an IRL stream in Los Santos. That's my clown character. Uh. Coming from December Foos. Okay, but that's like an example. Like, so December Foos is because Foosley was like, yo, I want you to make a Foos sibling. I want you to make the older brother December Foos. And I was like, all right. That will be my true challenge in role play. Can I be nice to ex Chocobars and Foosley? Did you OOC arrange the timing of your call to Leslie with Burn? Bro, I need you guys to understand something about Burn the RPR, right? I, no arrangement. I called just to do the December call. And I even said like, oh yeah, like, Aug like yeah, dad's here. August is here. I made up some random shit. Burn calls a little bit later and just has everything down from what December said. And literally even does a December impression that I thought was like a recording of me. It was fucking like that's how good he is and how fast he can do it. That was not arranged at all that we would do that. It's insane. That wasn't a recording. No, that was literally Burn just like. I think Burn actually has inspired a lot of my role play probably this year you guys have probably seen this i think i'm doing i'm doing more like longer term characters than burn but on my like longer term main characters i'm trying to facilitate rp for other people burn on the podcast when burn has actually been on the role play podcast i'm not going to do one of my like cringe uh and now check out the role play. burn was actually on an episode we did an episode of how to create a character and uh burn was on that one um, by the way, since I know we have a bunch of, uh, since Chatterbox and, and Ali were in here, I actually do want to thank you guys and the, the whole like clown arc and stuff because, and by the way, as I've said again, I, I, I hadn't done the group episode yet. Like I hadn't done like a group episode. I've only been doing sort of topics. That was my first group episode and I want to try it out. Uh, that is our most viewed episode at. 50,000 views in three days for an hour and a half hour. Like it's a 50,000 viewed video at an hour and 51 minutes for a channel that just started with only 7,000 subscribers. That's crazy. And I think it was great content. Um, so yeah, love it. I have not, fuck, I have not, I, I, I might actually, uh, we might not do that. Fuck, I need to do that podcast this week. I will tell you guys, there's an episode of the podcast that I've been wanting to do, especially because most of my guests have been pretty, uh, pretty cock haver centric, pretty male centric. Uh, we do want to do a, uh, a women of no pixel, uh, episode, but I have to do that one in like a, a good way um so we do want to do a a women of no but like the problem is that one that one is tricky because like i think while the podcast has been pretty lighthearted, that one gets into some like more sensitive topics you know um i'll probably actually work on that tonight and send out the messages i don't know if it's going to be this week's episode or like next week or in three weeks because i have to do a little bit more planning the idea for that episode is I am going to so Sab is gonna is gonna take a break on that one. I will still be on the episode because it's still my podcast and it's kind of weird if I'm like not there. So I'll still be on it, but I'm going to move to to co-host and I'll just be asking questions. Uh and I'm gonna get someone to help as the sort of like guest host that week. You know, presumably a woman who will then be the the host that week. Um so yeah.
So I'll probably be working on that after stream today. Um, hey. To take you there? Um, I think I should get my car. Raymon and Bonbon bon agree to hunt each other alone. Oh, that's sick. That's kind of dope. Yeah, 18 minutes. We've already done too many long videos, but that is fucking sick. I, I think something else I like in 4.0, I, I want to see more conflicts done in like a new way, you know? The actual scene is about three minutes. Blouse, skip to the winery. Okay, we can do that. Skip to the winery. Oh, shit. I'm going to be honest, chat. Like, and I'm not trying to like, I think you guys can see where I get excited in RP and where I'm like getting like dragged down. Actually, turn. Are you in, are you in the chat? Turn. Just watch the talk bar. Is it like right here? <laughs> okay. And now Z. And what's that? I hate it all, but it's fine. Okay. Well, before we get into anything, cheers. <laughs> you are Did so the... silly if you think I'm drinking any drink. You don't have to drink it, just okay. Have fun. I'll drink it. I'll okay, drink it. cheers. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I wanted to call you here for a couple of reasons, Raymond. You and I, we're playing a dangerous game. Someone in chat said Mungo is such a theater kid. Yes, this is the, the, a major theater kid energy. And I thought, well, it'd be nice to have a nice night to remember, wouldn't it? Before it all gets so messy. I mean, what? What? how is it going to get messy? Life has been going so great. You know, you're with your new gang. I became... Queen of the Clowns. You know? Queen of the Clowns. Yeah, huh? life is so good. Why ruin it? So what's going on with you and Chatterbox anyway? What's your relationship? I mean... We definitely... have a situationship. He's very hmm. loyal. So am I. He's working on an empire, and I want to help him with that. Hmm. You miss them, don't you? Miss them? No. Yeah. No. No, I don't miss them. Then why'd you show up the other day? Oh, I was just there doing some... General reconnaissance, I guess you could call it. Stumbled upon the mating. Seemed like a good time to uh, pop my head in and say hi to the old fam. You know, it had been so long. Chatterbox had just been in the ICU. I, I just wanted to make sure everyone was okay. Just for fun? Everything I do is for fun. Dude. I mean, I'm sure you're having a good time with your new gang. How's no, Dundee? no, How's I'm not talking boys? about that. Talking about that. I'm talking about you and me, Ray. Oh. I'm talking about our what gang. What do you want to know? You know, I told Chatterbox something the other day. For as much as he cares about you and as much as you care about him, I can't help but feel that it's unfair to him. That you only really show who you are to me. <laughs> what you give him and the rest of the clowns, it's how you want to be perceived. But what you showed me that night in the tunnel, that's you, isn't it, Raymond? That's really you, deep down. And I'm the only one who sees it. Isn't that right? No, you. Oh, 
What makes you so sure? I can see it. I saw it in your eyes that night when you pulled out the gun. It's just a feeling I've got. I don't know how to explain it. You remind me of myself a little. And I think... <laughs> this little game we're playing... I think I know what it's gonna take. You and I... are gonna go back... and forth and back and forth and back and forth... until one day... you do something. Something so terrible that you kill me. But <laughs> in order to do that, Ray, you're going to have to become the thing that you hate the most. And what's that, Bun Bun? Me. Don't you see, by killing me, I win. I mean, maybe you're not wrong, Bon Bon. Maybe we are more alike than we both think. Maybe you are just like me. Would killing me make you happy? Absolutely. Or would absolutely you miss not. me? Oh, I would miss you so much. I would be bored. You know, I've been playing games with people for a long time, but you've been the most interesting, the best competition, you might say. You're smart. I can see it. I like the challenge. Rare Blau not pausing for most of the video, but I just wanted to give my one comment and thought on this. It's like, people are saying it's like Joker versus Batman. But it's like, it's it's more fucked up than that. It's different. I think it's like, it's almost like Joker versus Joker. Like the similar sort of mentalities of like, if the Joker were to go against the Joker, it's fucking crazy. I think I do too. I'm not gonna lie. Been wondering why it took you so long to reach out. Because Ray is not Batman. She, the character Raymond is not Batman. <laughs> I knew it. You know, I, I'd be lying to say my hands weren't tied a little. Yeah, Dundee told me not to do anything because of his relationship with the company. Makes it tough, you know? And it if does, I'm honest, it? they, you know, they want to have my back, but I really like it when it's just you versus me. Company Camney. Oh, wait, guys, that's that's my not a gang. That's that's us. That's me. That that's sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Hashtag not a gang. Well, how is that gonna be possible? I getcha. Are you going to tell your daddy? I have no plans on that. That'd ruin the game and it'd be over. It would be over. It would end everything. Everything that we've worked towards to get to this point. Neither of us want that. No, of course not. And we're going to have to be careful. Both of us. We can't do things in broad daylight. You're smart. I'm sure you'll work out a way. But this... We can't be found out. All right, so after today, I guess it's safe to say, let the games begin. Let the 
games begin. <sighs> Bro, I, I am. say that mask, it's nice. It suits you. I am sat for this arc, Thank dude. Thank you. I think so too. It's perfectly. <sighs> so, clown queen, huh? Mm hmm. Oh my, you must be excited. Long live the queen. It's a shame you can't be part of it. I mean, you were the perfect clown. Yeah, I am. Bro, these lines are so good. From both of them. What the fuck? Well, I'm sure we'll run into each other again. You can't wait. It's always a delight. Oops. I did not mean to pull that out. <laughs> okay. I, bro, Ray, I feel you on this. The number of times I accidentally fucking pull out my knife or gun in a stoop, in a, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get Vicky shot sometime. I do that all the time. <laughs> it's fine, you know. Tell me before you leave. Mm -hmm. Did you bring anybody? Is there someone watching? No. Hmm. I actually, have... I trust you. I trust that you didn't bring a single person. I trust that you didn't tell anyone you were meeting up with me. Well, this is our dirty little secret. I mean, Dear. why would you tell? Why would I? That doesn't get me what I want. That would just be so unfun. Unfun. And you yeah. know me, I'm nothing if not fun. You're all about fun. Mm-hmm. Oh my all god. All about sneaking around, lying and deceiving, backstabbing. So much fun. I really didn't bring anyone. Good. Maybe we'll uh maybe we'll have a second date sometime. This wasn't a date, Bun Bun. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Your Majesty. <laughs> see ya, sweetheart. <laughs> and the bell is a paid actor, bro. What the? <laughs> Bell timing was great. Bro, oh, what is that sound? <sighs> the bell, dude. All right, chat. We we have a new we have a new segment. We have a new segment on 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 the blouse stream, which is whenever this shit, whenever there's new movements in in these arcs, you guys have to fucking bring me the videos and we watch them. I I will all I will never skip these long fucking videos. These are so good. I'm I would love watching this shit. Also, like, dude, I, it's weird because it's like, there's like this weird interplay also where it's like she, you know, she loves Chatterbox, but there's also this love of, it's not a, like, love in, in a, like, you know, romantic way with Bonbon, bon, but like a love to hate Bonbon, bon, this love of this chase that she has with Bonbon. Bon. I'm sounding like one of the fucking RP viewers on fucking stream. Fuck. God damn it. But it's so good. And and by the way, I love when people do conflicts that are different. I, I think one of the things that's always stressed me about conflict in GTA, and I think a lot of you guys, one of us, no, you guys get it though, where it's like, there's like conflict or like beef in GTA and it's always like, yo, you involved my gang and now you involved the gang that we're also affiliated with and now we're gonna go clap everyone and it kind of it, kind of the same not to call out certain groups but you know all of a sudden it's a gang conflict and next thing you know you're in a convoy driving around your hq uh, circling a bunch of scared british people in a bush for like 30 minutes wait is ray in my chat Oh no. Oh 
Oh my God, Bly, you're such a chatty cuss. Fuck off. Wait, you're not VIP. No, I'm so sorry. Let me VIP. I'm so sorry, Ray. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're now a VIP. I'm so sorry that you weren't. Um, my bad. Oh, this shit's good. Uh, dude, I've I have not. I want to see a, like this idea of like a one v one conflict of like deception and and stalking and deceit and all this is so cool. I, I think everyone and it's nice because then it doesn't also drag in like all the fucking different groups that get dragged into stuff. So. Wait, he does. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? Be honest. Do you have a GTA alt Twitter account? No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. My alt, my alt Twitter did just get spammed. It is spammed with GTA stuff, though. I will admit. My, my alt Twitter is spammed with GTA stuff. My main Twitter, because it's a, a very... I learned this, by the way. It's a ver, Because it's a verified account. I like, dude, I post something on my main Twitter immediately, just fucking my pussy in bio, my nudes in bio, link in bio, just all underneath. It's like, it's crazy. I can post whatever the fuck I want on my alt Twitter. As soon as I post something on the verified Twitter, my pussy in bio, it's wild. It's like, it's crazy. I, cause it's, I, and I think the, it's, it's it's wild, bro. Dude, I, I chat. It, there's literally uh, you can go on Twitter and they'll be like, I don't know, like someone will be like, oh my god, like researchers at UC Berkeley have made a groundbreaking, uh, you know, push into nanotechnology. Check out this video, and then like right underneath it, my pussy in bio, and you're like, why? It's insane. Damn. Anyways, chat. I need I need updates on this for for our viewing our viewing purposes. We're no longer watching clips at the start of stream. We're watching. Uh. See the phone call. Where's the phone? Wait, is it? Where's the phone call? Where? It's in the beginning. It's first. Sorry. When? Good. I mean, um, I'm not gonna lie. I have a, a few concerns. Sure. Bun bun. Mm -hmm. Understand. I'm really worried that you're going to bring people again, and again and again, yeah. since that's what you tend to do: is you lie and you. Wait. What did Ray say? You backstab not just once but twice, actually. Let's not forget who involved their friends first. Oh, different? No, different one. Link it. Oh, this one. This one? Raymond versus Bomb Bomb fuse back on. Bro, while he's on a train? Is it this one? Okay. Oh my god. Bon Bon. Hey, sweetheart. My dear, how are you? I'm oh, doing well. I missed you. Where have you been? Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just thinking about you as well. Mm -hmm. I heard you paid us a visit. A visit. The fun house. Is that true? A little visit, and I gotta say, Ray, as a friend, that chatterbox giving off major red flags right now. Really? And why is that? Oh, he's so controlling. Did you hear what he did? What did he do? He did what I always wished he would do. He took control. Yeah. King Chatty. So you've heard. King. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure it'll go really well. Listen, darling, I was just thinking it's been a while. We're probably due for a chat, huh? Oh, dude, this is yeah, so you know, kinda... Joker Harley Quinn 
I like coded. Missing I love you this around, shit. around, all the attention you gave me. Those unknown calls that were obviously from you. They stopped. Did you get shy? I just had a lot on my plate, you know? I couldn't check in as often as I'd like. I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Yeah, you better step it up. You're making me think I won this war. <laughs> Funny that you still call it a war. <laughs> no, it's not a war anymore. Your daddy called me and said to uh, play it cool. That you no. can't do anything anymore with your new gang. Ooh. We both know. It's different from a war. Ray. Yeah? What is it then? It's a game. It is a game. We're the only two oh. who know we're playing. I think that sounds fair. Maybe no one has to know. You don't involve your gang and I won't involve the whole city. Oh! Deal. Deal. That's a crazy line. See you soon, sweetheart. That's a crazy oh, line. I can't wait. <laughs> That's a crazy <laughs> line. I'm scared! I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Help! Help! Somebody help! Uh, so that, that's the Rachel I know. That's the Rachel I know. I can't okay. do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. This is too much. Okay, by the way, Ray. Okay, actually, this is really important, Ray. Um, this is unrelated to your role play. While you're in chat, can you please tell the people you guys invite me over? Myung and Tina are saying that I break into your guys' house. I do not break into that. Okay, actually, okay, there. maybe you're not the best person to ask because there was that one time where you... I forgot what it was. We were playing some game... And I thought it was supposed to be IRL. And then I remember I drove over. Uh, and, and I showed up and then you were like, why are you here? And I was like, oh, fuck, I'll try back home. I'm so sorry. But that did happen. I'll admit. But I thought you meant IRL. And I'm so sorry about that. But I don't break into your guys' house. Can you just admit that you guys invite me over, please? Because I was going to say one thing is I've been over at their place. I, I think I was like me and Ellen were hanging out doing something. And Ray was streaming and like. Bro, Ray's screams are like, it is crazy considering that there's like, they will travel like down the eight floors across the veranda and over to the, to the staff quarters. You can literally hear Ray's screams from the staff quarters across the guest house, across the golf course. It's fucking wild. Um, I'm overcooking and it hurts. My hands are numb. I'm so, I'm, I'm numb. I can't do this. I'm so scared. Holy shit. My pulse. Dude, I can't. I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh my god. I'm so glad. I'm so glad he called. I've been waiting for that. I wasn't expecting him to retaliate with the hello darling that quickly. I thought it would catch him off guard if I called him sweetheart, but then he just like what? threw it right back and now it's all a mess. It's all such a big god. Hey, please just admit anyone. that I'm not breaking in, please. Um. Oh God, these storylines are getting way too deep, and they're getting way too complicated. <laughs> By the way, I I do I like your approach, and I think you're smart for this. Like, just give them like just give them breaks. Like, I think the reality is a lot of people just like play GTA all all day, and there's like a million different storylines going on. I think it helps to like give them breaks, and then like come back. And like, you know, that way, like story arcs like this, it's like they don't need to be every day. They can be like every few days. I think that helps a lot, like giving them space. I think you mentioned this on the podcast, this idea of letting them breathe. That's so big. God. He's too good. OK, what am I doing? The weed filler episodes. You're kind of freaking me out. <laughs> you know what's so funny dude also can i say doing this on the fucking train is such a fucking vibe like good 
good uh good scene selection is actually like important right on a train for the call uh doing the meeting at the uh vineyard that's important you know what's so fucking funny bro i was literally going to answer the phone and be like oh hello dear and then she answered the phone and she was like hey sweetheart and i was like why did you just you just did my th i was gonna do that what are you doing she's crazy bro <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's fucking good. This is uh, gonna I'm, be fun. I'm sad. I'm clown, sad for this arc chat. <laughs> yeah, we're in sync. I <laughs> that was very funny. Her, her saying the whole city was so cocky. I know it's good. She's got the upper hand on you. Oh, she has. She's been having the upper hand. Oh yeah, listen, chat. You don't win every fight. That's okay. Yeah, we have the upper hand. Content. Content is the upper hand. Someone clearly chip her reaction. I would actually love to see that. Bro, okay. This shit is is amazing. We will we will start I, I will literally, whenever there's updates, you guys just let me know and we'll do a watch party day after on my stream. But like dude, hold on. Um like, I just, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not supposed to, like, get deep into this shit, but, like, hold on. And, by the way, I, I like, I, I can't, I can't imagine that it's even the manor guys doing this. Because the manor guys have been nothing but fucking, like, stop they, have, here, stop here. they have been nothing but, like, good vibes. Matt raided us yesterday. We've been making great content. But for anyone wondering in the chat, the company is at war with the manor. Okay, that's why my title's, I don't know, fucking War General Mickey or some shit, right? So the company's at war with the manor. The reason why I, I here's, here's my like just problem is like a role player. When I look at something like how the fans react, like how the viewers are reacting to the Raymond, um, like Bon Bon stuff, it's so good. But like, and here's the thing, the, the when I say war with, um, with the manor, correct if I'm wrong, I think it's been amazing scenes and amazing clips. Like there have been amazing scenes and amazing clips from, actually think it's been really good. Like the content has been really good. Here's where it's like, I like go to stuff like this and it's like, these guys hid in a bush and said it was dumb to leave, but people want to come to rule and they ambush the interior. I can't bro. Wrench only wear the heater and that's like, Glad CG avoided this tryhard shit. Already three uh, car convoying. Time for the company to wake up all XBSK and Seaside with full cuts of our bucket hats. Uh, like, bums didn't even bring guns. They're not ready for this war yet. Like, on both sides, like, uh, terrified in a bush. Right? Like, and it's like, what, it was you like want another well? whole thing which was like, all right, this one, I, I feel like people were good, right? Like, taking SIM cards already is crazy. And then there was, like... You mean that? I, there was literally... I forgot which video. There was one where it was, like, literally talking about how many guns were stolen. And I remember just being, like, we're keeping track of the guns that? that were stolen. Turn, are you in my chat? Is the overlay ready, Turn? Wait, what did Ray say? Valkyrie just got notified you're going to go live today. <gasps> oh, shit. Why can't I? I am really bad at finding stuff in Chattery. Did I miss this comment? Fuck. Anyways, uh, like, that's why I like the, the Valkyrie versus, or not Valkyrie, fucking the C online. Oh, my God. Um, oh, you know what we should do, chat? You know what we should do if we have the butt coin for it? Because we're not doing Maze Bank for a little bit. 
if it's a filler episode for uh for I don't know what what Ray Mons do, but she does a filler episode. I want to get back to fucking heists. I'm going to tell you guys an honest take I have about heists. And this is just how I feel about them. Not everyone feels this way. This isn't some like blau talking about things on high. Some people like this. Some people don't. I'm going to tell you guys something. I don't. I don't like hacks and breaking into a bank. If I could just press a button that says rob the bank, but you get half as much loot. I would press that button. I don't like, and, and and by the way, a lot of role players and viewers love this shit. I don't like hacks and like going into an escape room, fucking lion, the witch in the wardrobe, enter Narnia to try to fucking solve how to rob a bank. The part I like about banks is the getaway. You guys know that. I've always been about the getaway, right? I think what I'm probably going to do on Mickey is take a back seat with, well, I'm actually gonna do one of two things on Mickey for the maze bank. Either I'm just gonna not do the maze bank or I'm gonna have Mickey go and do the maze bank and fucking try to hack through that shit as well. Because I just wanna get to the fucking chase, right? I would rather do a cash exchange that has a good cop presence and a good chase and a good getaway than do the fucking maze bank. Cause I'm all about creating cool getaways. So today, Maybe we'll do a, a little getaway with the uh, with some contractors. Could be fun. So I think that might be. I think today might be a fun day for a Mickey plan. I think I could do a really good. I feel like a good Mickey Mickey plan today would be fun. I have one that I think people that, that I've just been wanting to do for a while that people don't really get to see that much. Uh. RNG says strongly disagree on this one. I watched CG's maze run yesterday and whoever designed that heist is a genius. Oh, uh, like, yeah, like, let me put it to you this way. In game design, like, for instance, I, like, if I was a game design, oh, well, I guess I am a game designer. I could look at, like, let's say a, a tank in League of Legends and I could be like, that is a really well-designed tank. I love the design of it. It's the perfect design tank champion. I don't play tanks, though right? Like that's just not my style. I think that's actually how I viewed the maze bank heist. I, I, I gen by the way, I, so let me actually be clear on the heist design of maze bank. From what I have seen so far, it is probably the best designed heist I've ever seen in no pixel. Full stop. I actually think the maze bank for, for a like, for a like more like intricate heist, it is the best heist I've ever seen. Uh, I, I think it is better designed than the than the casino, than the old vault, than all stuff before I actually... Uh, so, huge shout out to the... I think it is the best designed heist. That being said, my style is I don't... Uh, like I said, just me as a role player, I would rather just push a button that says, okay, I'll just take half the loot, but just skip the fucking... You know? Does that make sense? And, and by the way, I, like, I, I know people are like comparing this and that. And like, I think it is, I think it is, it makes sense that the group that has done it in the way that they have is probably chain gang. They are the ones that like this shit is tuned for basically. And at the end of the day, if the company wants to hit that, we just have to be better. To be fair, though, I, I do think they've had more attempts. So. Well, yeah, I think this is my, so juice. Juice says the hacks are cool for first time, a uh, couple times, but after that, it's just repetitive. But chases. Yeah, this is my sort of take where it's like to get better heists. It's like you almost have to like keep designing new and new things for me. Like, think about it this way. It's like. Here's actually a really good way of framing it when so i and i think like for instance like some a uh, uh, rp or like xqc loves solving these he's someone and this is actually probably why the characters jean paul and mickey also just don't get along in terms of how they approach some of this it's literally because of i think the ooc feelings about how we approach the game 
John Paul wants a problem that he then solves. It's all about figuring out how to solve this problem and solve the problem of the heist, right? Mickey and me, the way I like to do is I don't care about the heist. I'm like, I want to present a new problem. I'm a, I'm by nature designer where I want to design a getaway where the problem is on, can the like bank robbers execute that getaway and can the cops try to counter and solve that getaway? So I'm in a sense trying to design the getaway portion. I don't care about solving the heist portion. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a good way of framing it. Uh, do you think people lose money in the long run paying for heists? Uh, people will always flame me for this take, but at the end of the day, I think major crime will never be the best way. Major crime will never be the best way to get money in NoPixel. It never will. It can't be because if it is, then everyone will do crime. The money from crime has to be nerfed so that people do civilian shit. Basically, that's it has to be that way. I think it's one of those, like, I've gotten flamed for this take before, but it's like, I think it's good. It's like the outcome is you have a better balance of like civilians, cops, crims on the server. And then you just have a bunch of fucking broke criminals throwing their fucking money trying to solve some shit. And you're like, and I know it's like a weird, it's like you're paying for the content and, and the thrill. Um, in case you guys are wondering, like, I have, like, my next plans on Mickey, right? Which also include a complete side arc relating to Yu-Gi-Oh! It includes the next intern program. But I do have a long-term goal for Mickey. Like, Mickey's long-term goal is not in the company. But eventually, I want Mickey as sort of an independent. Now, whether he's still in the company during this time or not is fine, but Mickey's main focus will eventually be a very heist-centric focus. I, you guys know I fucking love heist. On Mickey, at least. But today, you guys are also going to see another character. Like, I, I will also admit, like, whenever, like, when things get too much, like, competition to finish a heist, gang war conflict, it's just not really my style. That's just me. I know a lot of people love it. A lot of the people I role play with love it. When that happens, I'm probably going to play more Jesse and more December. So. Heist Master Mickey. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've told, I've talked to chat about this. I don't want to like reveal too much about this arc, but like, a goal of Mickey's since 3.0 was to have a heist master role. At some point, I would even reach out to the note pixel devs as long as it doesn't conflict with the like, I, I would literally take a back seat to the like progression and who's first on heist progression. I would like bow out of that if I could get like dev support or a, a whitelist to basically help do cool fucking heist plans. Wow, what was the ski place called in Japan? Sorry, not RP related. That's uh, Niseko Mountain. And we stayed at the Park Hyatt Resort. Oh my God, I have to role play my character. Hold on. Hold on. I need to make a call. I wonder if Spark, I hope Sparky's around. So chat, welcome to the stream. We are currently in a giant conflict with the manor. 
And we're gonna go for the conflict the Mickey way. I wonder who's going to call me if I do that. <laughs> Matt. Hello, beautiful. What do you want? You said call me, you know who you are. Yeah, it was obviously me, Mickey. Sorry, I thought you weren't uh, of high enough authority to be making decisions. I was looking to speak to a Mr. Kane. Um, he should be about in about an hour or so. He's been very busy. He's got the private jet on way, though. Really? Hmm. I can relay a message, though. Fine. You can uh, also relay this message to anyone in your crew. Okay. I offer something uh, different today. Okay, that's good. What is it? Listen, I'm not going to go and skulk around in the shadows about all this, and uh, I'll be honest with you. We have a business outside of the city. We're, I would say, our more uh, violent uh, inclined board members, Raymond Romanoff and Benji Ramos. They're not around, so. Hmm, so you're in charge, Mickey. Yes, but I like to do things in a different way. I like I'm that. happy to speak with Mr. Kane about the rest of this, but uh, I have a little side offer regarding this. Anyone in mm. your, uh, anyone in your crew, the manor, play cards? Uh, like poker? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'd have to speak to them. Yeah, I'd, I'd have speak, to speak to them. Go and speak to the manor. Okay. Find out if anyone plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll go speak to them now. Goodbye. Say less. Bye. Yes. By the way, it's not like a ends the war. It's like a it's like a side thing on the war, you know. Auto tune. Mr. Tyrone, status hey, update. Hey, what's up, Mick? How are things uh, looking? We are currently chasing two cars. I'll call you right back. Wreckers. How's it going? There's currently a pursuit taking place across the city. One of our executive board members, Autotune Tyrone, is currently engaging the British. Man, I knew this was. Oh man, all the signs pointed to. Have you been? Have you been uh, briefed yet on what Mr. happened Mickey? earlier? No, I have not. Okay. All right. Well, um, they got Swan. What? Nice seeing you again. Yeah. They, uh, they took her gun and they, uh, they shot her. I'll talk to you about this in a moment. Okay. Well, 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 Mr. Simone. Good seeing you again. You as well. How is the, uh, wait, you're, what are you again? You're a lawyer? Yes. How's the, well, how's the lawyer life? I've been cooking. 
Let's go to here. How did the uh, academy go? Oh, swimmingly. Yeah. Many Number reformed one. individuals. Well, you know. If you know, you know, and I believe you know. I probably do, but I also probably forgot. They actually still have a final exam that I have to put on for them. Oh, interesting. Is there any ETA for that, or is it just at some point? For some of them, it might even be today. God, he is hot. Hmm. I see. How's everything with the company? Oh, you know. It's uh it's good. We have um well uh to be totally transparent, we have a little bit of a accounting issue. Some uh, lost assets that we have to uh settle with a uh a UK firm. Nasty stuff, you know. Seeing how much money Benji owes me, I'm not even surprised. Benji owes you money? Yeah, he does. I have to take this. No, you're good. you're good. We'll be in touch. Sounds good. Yes. Hey, Mick, we're at HQ right now. Are you here? What happened? Um, not too much. We were just, uh, we've been around for the last two hours almost. No, not two hours, but an hour and a half. Looking for these guys. We know they're around, but they're just hiding. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there were some things that went down this morning. We're, um, are you coming over to the house? I am. All right, we'll see you soon. We're here. Okay, goodbye. All right. Oh, shit. They went for Swan. Yes. Hello, Mickey. We don't have any Yu Gi Oh's, but a game of chess could be an option Ugh, boring they haven't patched that you... game in years i don't know anything about that pokemon game bro i ain't got a clue mate and none of us do one of us was on about a white dragon but he, he don't really know much either sorry i forgot you were in there you disgust me come cook another idea i like how you're thinking though mickey Okay. Bye bye. All right. Um. Yeah. What happened to Swan? Is she okay? Um. Starcraft. She's okay now. I just called her, she picked up, but I told her to call her back because we thought we saw a uh, convoy. Um, so what, yeah, what so... Happened? I mean, Swan apparently got uh, got caught this morning. Is what I heard. And then something along with uh, Reggie as well. That's... Maxine can probably fill you in more. To be honest, we should... Uh, are they okay? Swan here. Um, to TLDR until if we can get Swan here ASAP because she can probably give you the more accurate story. But from what I've heard, uh, or a phone call from Mike was that, uh, I'm gonna make sure I come closer. Okay, so he wound up getting well, Swan wound up getting shot up in Sandy, and uh, apparently they snatched up Reggie as well, they took his. His little chip from whatever it was. So apparently they're taking chips now. And so the whole gist is, uh, yeah, 
Swan got shot up in Sandy. Um, I don't know. It's like, I feel like she could tell it better. Sorry, I'm going off memory here. I'm a little fried. I just texted her. She's on the phone though. Oh, okay. Um, I wound up rallying everybody too and telling them that like, if nobody's around, they should just, you know, hide out, lay low. Because nothing's more detrimental than losing shit right now, so. Yeah, and apparently Swan had a gun on her, so they got another gun from her. I believe it's a civilian gun. Dude, they're it so is, broke, yeah. though. I hope they get caught. Honestly, if we smoke their shit and you see a oh, civ leave gun, it. Just, leave yeah, it. Yeah, just leave it on them. Leave it. Yeah, just leave it. Yeah, if it's a Glock, though, we, we take that I shit. Bet, yeah, I bet they broke as fuck, bro. I guarantee one of, uh, that would be the most punishing thing to them is that fine, bro. Yo, what is the fine for a possession of a legal gun? I, I don't listen. I, I don't care about fines, guns, whatever. I, I care about our people being safe. Is so? Swan's okay. Swan's much better. I promise. I took care of them all. Uh, we're waiting for everybody. Okay. So I let them all know. I debriefed them. Uh, how to go through War One Hundred One if they don't have anybody here. So I told them that like. You know, the safety grounds don't carry important shit on you. Um, if anything, use this use this time like a vacation. If you don't intend on fighting back and haven't been given orders, just take this time as a vacation so you don't lose assets and things that are uh, valuable. Yeah, I told them to stick in numbers uh, for higher survival. Well, so that you don't and... die. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Is this St. Martin part of the manor? So, yeah, I'll give him the whole run. I'm out. Who's St. Martin? Uh, it's twatting out. And is John Joyce part of them? That guy's an absolute dipshit. Right. Um, I hope he's not. Can't wait for Mickey to get clapped. Now, chat. Do we stow all of our stuff? Yeah. Uh, or do we keep dope. all of our uh, valuable of stuff on us all day? Even though we know Mickey's not going to pull out a gun and use it. We keep it on him. 100%. How you been, Mick? I've been good. Sorry. It's good, man. Good to see you, man. It's been a minute. What are the rules, though, when you're in this house? Just let me know. Wait. I don't fucking know nothing about no rules, bro. Suit on in the house. I'm not wearing Cover a fucking those. suit. I don't, I don't got a fucking suit, bro. Well, go and get a suit if you're going to be in the house. You are in the outside, bro. Going out my house. No suits. Funny out, man. This is what we get caught lacking, though. We or yeah. or you go to a store and buy a suit. He doesn't wear suits, Mick. He's not a suit guy. Then wear a suit when you're here. There's some money. Go pick one up. You can leave it here and hang it up at our house and wear it here. <laughs> We have a dress code. Uh, okay, well, we have the full convoy there, then. We have the convoy. <laughs> Marco's the one with the Glock on him, so. If they get. Guys, imagine they get fucking clapped for this. That'll be so funny. Well, there's a bunch of them around. Um, but they're still hiding. Hello. I offer two other things. And by the way, this okay. is not a... I'm not offering this as a means to settle this. I'm offering this actually as a means to escalate this. Okay. We gotta respond polo. Seeing as it's a war and a conflict, let's see how well you can actually manage your troops. I offer these two things. Starcraft. Age of Empires. Either oh. one. You might have us at Age of Empires, you know. Check I'll with your... invade your village, bro. I'll do it, me. Check with uh, your members of the manor. See who's up for the challenge. If not, either of those two. Okay. Um, I'll find out and let you know, okay? Okay. Goodbye. In a bit. I can't wait to run French and fuck them up. I feel like they have more people than us right now, I, Oh, yeah. I think we're outnumbered. Yeah, I was going to say, you should probably grab another gun just in case... I 
even Sunday is like my chill. Usually on Sunday, I just grind the whole storm. Yo. Because no one's awake. You gotta roar, though. No, that's what I'm saying. Well, because no one's ever awake. Usually Sunday is slow as fuck. Los Angeles. Huh. I do got good news, though. I, uh, I got my tier 3 truck at G6, so I can start looking for uh, cards. Hell yeah, Oh, dog. shit. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. I've been doing mad so. chop with Gabby trying to get blueprints or whatever. Oh, also, uh... If you guys need to, also, me and Breckers can run uh, Reconnaissance today. Our covers have not been blown yet as Michael Manchester. And uh, I forgot his name. Swan's on the way. Yeah. We can actually have the source. Is uh, Swan able to buy a, another gun? Does she have multiple guns? She can buy another one as long as she has her gun license. And it has been a week. So All right, perfect. So she can get strapped back up. Yeah. So she can get a custom tailored gun soon. Does Mickey not care that his gun will be used to hurt his crew? <sighs> All right, we wait for Swan. We chat it out. I just, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's more like I'd just like to be a loot box. I think it's more that. Also, uh... And then one of my people also found a thermite. I, I like. What's it called again? Thermite. Is I'm really that. sorry, yeah. and, and I need people uh, to understand this. Be handing off to dragon soon. I, in a in a conflict, I am not trying. Like, sure, there's some degree of me that wants our group, the company, to win, right? I really hope all this. Stuff ends I would before. rather we lose and it be good content and good scenes than us win and it's not. Good scenes. Does that make sense? <laughs> I love so that. me as the as the streamer OOC will actually put Mickey in bad situations like yesterday to create more scenes and content. Get this right. So if they if they wait too long, they have to deal with uh, This is like playing something like LOL and your teammate is feeding. Turn, please tell me you have the overlay ready. Please tell me you have the overlay ready, turn. Please, turn. I, I need it. I, I need them to see this. Turn, please. Is it ready? Is turn in my chat? Oh, God, I need him. He does? It's ready? All right, gentlemen, I'm going out to engage in conflict. Wait, wait, Swan's here. Hmm? Swan's here. Oh, bro. Swan, I didn't even see you. Are you okay? So, Swan, he's gonna need the whole thing from start to finish since I was unable to convey the message clearly. A little cooked myself. All right. Is it Sandy refueling? Boom to the mic. He was gonna go lock. Wait, this is too serious. This is serious. Hold on. So he told me to keep an eye on it. Then he says, uh, "Hold on." The matter may be on the way here. Am I right? And well, they didn't know if, like how many, what they had or anything. Next thing I uh, heard uh, was Reggie is getting held up by the gas station. Drove past, uh, no, no one was there besides uh, Reggie's car. Parks. So he was uh, most likely just taken away somewhere by them. So it was uh, me, Zulu, Mike. It was just us three We're having a look, seeing where uh, where Reggie could have been. I uh, came across uh, Reggie's vehicle again, but like as I was passing by. 
There I see, uh, yeah. ATV and two black four doors just, uh, parked by, rummaging through it. They see my car. They approach it. I drive off. The, uh, three of them pursued. Shot my tires, boxed me. As I uh, had my hands up, said I'll, I'll comply. Took me somewhere. Talked, asked about my involvement. There was some uh, coincidences that made it seem like... Hmm. Some things weren't... Yeah. They thought I was like involved in some ways just because of coincidences as well. And I got shot. Took my gun. And you're okay, though? Yeah. How do you feel? That doesn't matter. You took the gun, though. I don't care about the gun. I do, to be honest. And cut the shit. I care about it a great deal. I care the fact that we're giving guns to a group that aren't giving us guns. We need to tighten the fuck up. Where? Well, respectfully, I disagree. I care more that we stay alive. Oh, see, do you want to give up? Because that's how you stay alive, though. You just fucking give up. I, Are you asking guys, me that? Guys, I didn't, I didn't say give up. I'm just... I, I don't... Guns can be replaced. People can't. Yeah, but guns are going to take more lives. The more guns they have, more lives are going to take from us, Doc. Well, That's why the guns matter. I'm... I'm not saying give up. I'm just saying we should be cautious. Of course. I'm happy to know you're okay, Swan. Uh, what's the plan for today? We don't have, I don't know if we have enough people around, like, you know, with Benji, who was running things yesterday. I mean, are you guys able to act in an aggressive manner or are we defensive today? Oh, we've been driving around for about two hours looking for them. They're the ones that are hiding. Yeah, we kidnapped a friend of oh, theirs. Oh, I heard um, they were taking, uh, they took Reggie's chip. We have to make sure that we are not going around with um, our tablets, with our chips, and we have to make sure that we're not going around with our own personal weapons if we're not with a group of people. Outside of that, yeah, I mean, I think uh, we're, we're, in, we're in some good shape. Mickey? Yes. What do you? What is it? What? What? Nothing. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Of course. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well. Um. Swan, what's, I apologize uh, about the gun. Oh, there's there's no need to Don't apologize. Again. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, I know that you were trying to remain sort of under the table, so to speak, when it comes uh, to no. the company. Yeah, after yesterday, uh, what you call it? I guess my uh, yeah, definitely keep a, keeping a lookout for me. Okay, so uh, are you down to ride? No. Still too much at stake for me. Makes sense. She's with the uh, city council and has a whole the whole business with uh, selling stuff. I think Swan is trying to uh, stay clean at this point. I spoke with her about this actually yesterday, OTT, before all of this uh, 
sort of spiraled out of control. She's been wanting to lay a bit more low on stuff. Her involvement yesterday was strictly in the moment trying to save me. Well, succeeding mm. in saving me. That was incredible, by the way. I can still work with cops that way as well. Also, uh, an executive at a security company. And uh, our business just recently got approved, so we can get that going too. How did you report your gun stolen and shit? Oh, yeah. Had to. We found yeah, the wait, casings. Get caught with it, dog. Hold up. Uh, our group right now is Marco, OTT, Maxi, and I. I don't uh, get it. We did laps. We kidnapped one guy named Paps who was in contacts with the manor. Went through his phone. He's clean. Oh. That's really all we've done today. They're, they're, they're awake. They're twatting, dog. Very well. I see, uh, if you guys give me permission, uh, me and Breckers will, uh, run the propaganda for today and uh, engage in twatter warfare. That's the best. True. Yeah, Leave some of the know, twatter warfare to me and Breckers. We're very deadly with that. I'll give Breckers a call. Also, we've been pressing everybody and no one even knows who the man is. That's good propaganda. Hello, sir. It started, Breckers. The propaganda war on twatter. We need to respond. Oh, perfect. Okay, say less. I'll uh, these I'm working on some stuff. Okay. Actually, I've been I've been uh, I've been texting Matt all morning. Uh, revolutionary war quotes. He didn't know what those were, so eventually he started just texting me British rap quotes, and then he texted me a quote from something called Tesco and Asda. I don't even know what these things are. Bro, Breckers is a gem. This is the conflict I need. It's been, it's, we've been beefing. We've been beefing. Um, oh, this is, yeah. this is, this is how we, Breckers, let them handle the conflict in the streets. We take to Twatter. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, send you some stuff over. Do we have any, um, also just, uh, listen, we can do uh, more proper graphics, but any just, I mean, come on. It's the fucking British. Any UK memes? I mean, that's low hanging fruit. Yeah, you're right. I'll, let me go see what I can pick up. I kind of. This rat one, is that us? Is that supposed to be us? It's supposed to be like OTT, yeah. It's Rat King. It's, it's, it's... Sort of like sort of like the king from Hamilton, you know. I got a I got a I got a I got a quick I got a quick response actually. Ah, uh, I love Twatter War. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the table of SpongeBob and the heroes got together. Oh, they had their hero arc. <laughs> I know what the best yeah. <laughs> All right, I uh I want to get your guys' um, vibe right now. What uh what are we what are we thinking here? Because um that was good. Continue to stand up for yourself and please especially after yesterday swan. Keep yourself safe. But at the same time I don't, time, I don't fucking it, care it about guns or of any of that shit. Just keep yourself safe. Fuck on. Cuz I want to do it too. I want to go hunt. Uh that's in my blood. Shouldn't worry yeah, about me, sir. Blood, you know what I mean? I want to go out there. I can take care of myself. Fucking blap, blap, and do all that shit, right? Of course. I mean, all, rust, right? All we did was shoot. Ha, ha, ha. Anyways, so, so, all funny aside. If you aren't busy today. I'm, if we do that, then we lose the appeal. You can, um. Okay, are we a. You can tell me. A legal corporation in the eyes of the law. That's the part that, uh. 
I don't know if you if you need if you have work or other stuff to do, but I'll be going around trying to conduct my business as usual out in the open, casting a lure, if you will. You're welcome to, uh, you know, discreetly uh, follow, as I know you can. I don't have a gun, but I can uh, at least keep an eye out. Okay. Get back if needed. I was talking to Juan about this. But, but, uh, so I think that's your problem. I think that's your problem. Not good music change, sorry. OTT is right there. I think that's your problem. She's not interested in anything. Oh no, she was. Her and I were talking about. He the, said, uh, the ego act. What did OTC say again? So in the end, if we're good in the eyes of the law, the odds mm -hmm. of that happening. Because I've been fucked by what was previously the Rust Act. So we were. We that he cares about the gun. It's not that I don't care about the gun. It's that I care about. Well, I mean, oh, Kyle said it too. Takes lives. Versus Unless yeah. either hand is chance. Now, Swan is Higher chance. At this point, it looks like you guys can hurt too. You know what I mean? If we were to look at it from well, a perspective, it takes someone to shoot a gun. Many reports coming from her. I don't want to be right? the CEO of a company filled with guns and no one to shoot them. Again, I'm, I'm down to go hunt. I want to go. I want out there. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that's, an, that's another thing to weigh down. That's all. That's it's another thought. But Bro, obviously, it matters, Swan. And it's unfortunate. I know it's <laughs> tough, but I, at the end of the day, the I fact that you're alive is much more important. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. I just feel like your life is uh, like the most company, priority. A solitary fuck. I'll be okay. Because we're not a gang. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean, if we're not a fucking gang, I get it, but we gotta I'll do, do gang bang shit. No, I know, I know. It's like, what the fuck? Is, that, is, is this our motto now? Just get fucking fucked on and we just... We, we talk in circles about this? Half the people don't want to roll out? Like... We're nervous about our image. Like, what is this? It's just like a part of the propaganda is pressing. Because everyone sees us pressing. They don't even see man, you know, manner pressing. It's, you know, in the public eye, manner's hiding. Guys, guys, guys. You're... Listen, end of the day... And I told Cal this yesterday. If it's a matter of life and death... I don't fucking care what your tactics are. Stay alive. When you say like half the people aren't rolling out, obviously I'm not rolling out. Swan's not rolling out. Breckers isn't rolling out. Those are probably the only three that aren't going to roll out. Everyone else will. Yeah, I mean, we, Archie's really out there UAVing for us. It's like tackling our fifth. I mean, so he's doing what he can. You know, he's a dumbass Siv. But... Wish Ling was awake. Yeah, I wish I wish I had like uh, two more people here. That's just about the business. Like, to, it just are not afraid of all this shit. Well, it's just bad timing. Mr. Ramos and Mr. Romanoff aren't around. Yeah, no, but I mean, it, it, we, yeah, I mean, I get that. But at the same time, like, we should still be able to go out there as a company and get shit done. Yeah. If I'm understanding correctly, you're saying that normal operations should resume normally without fear. Am, am I hmm. understanding that? Because I want to make sure that I'm on the same page as you. Of what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I just, you know, they fucking robbed me yesterday, man. Like they, uh, they straight up robbed me. They're talking fucking mad shit on Twitter right now. I, and you know, I don't know, I, bro. I, I don't know. My confidence level, my confidence level, is not high. And I'm not talking from a. Uh, from a go out there and get shit done, you know, the four of us that are out there, I have all the confidence in the world in us. It's more so the the, the mentality. Like, are we just going to constantly be fighting this? Are we a gang? Are we not a gang shit? Like, I don't, like, like, what is it? Does Swan get rolled up on again and get robbed again? But yet, they're willing to shoot her, but she's not willing to go out and shoot with us? Like I, I just I just don't understand. I, I don't get it. Oh, I can I, 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 I think I can I can help I can help explain it. There are some people involved in the company 
who just don't do that. Well, then why mix yourself in it, period? It just creates confusion. Well, so if Breckers gets rolled up on, do we want to strap Breckers up and have him go clap? That's not exactly what I'm saying. No, like, didn't Swan make her way to the guy getting robbed? I think Correct. That's what getting at. She should just flee, right? Well, I think she's reflected on it and realized that the way that she provides value for us is not going to be going around and clapping people. She also saved my life yesterday. I, I feel like, are we missing that? She pursued them through the streets. When, it, when push came to shove, she was the one on the bike. Did you not hear about this? She was the one pursuing them on a bike and saved my life. Does that just support what OTC OTT just said though? When it was when it was an emergency and she needed to save my life, she did this what she needed to do. This is an emergency. This is an emergency. We whose have four life is, people whose life is immediately Hours. threatened right now. Ours. If we go out there right now, our life will be in jeopardy. So we just don't. Manners we, life we, will we, be in jeopardy. So then we just don't go out right now. But then we won't be able to presume operations normally. We got to keep operations going, right? So if pharma is bringing in a big income or things are bringing income into the. Wait, I don't get this. Right. And operations are halted because of a conflict. You know, this is where this is where it gets tough. I, I feel like we're arguing over over one person, Swan, who has before this expressed that she doesn't do this sort of thing. It wasn't just Swan though, it was Reggie as well. What happens what happens with you, Mick? What happens if they come up to you and they fuck you up? I mean they tried to yesterday. Or they did. Yeah, and Swan saved my life. I, I I'm so law I'm so confused. This is hard. Does Breckers have a uh, weapons license? No. But he, do he doesn't. See, I, I can't tell if you're, you're telling the truth or you're joking. No, no, he, he doesn't have a weapons license. Oh, okay. It's okay. Breckers. What? Guys, guys, I, I feel like this is very simple. We have a pretty large operation. If I was to really lay this out, I'd say it's this. We have a very large operation. In fact, Breckers actually just told me that the amount of people who are actually really clean and who don't do this kind of shit, it's pretty much like me, Breckers, Swan, and kind of Archie. Everyone else. And Gabby. And Gabby. Everyone else will go and do all of this shit. You guys are unlucky that it's a Sunday and not enough people are around to go around with six in a fucking convoy. So when that happens, we don't fill in the six, you know, with Mickey and, and Swan or Mickey and Breckers. That's what That's I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm concerned about is we've got a bunch of civilians within this group. And if they have weapons licenses and they have guns on them, they're going to get robbed. And they are going to shoot us, the ones that are actually about the business, on the streets. We have four. The ones who have weapons licenses are like me and Swan. And if that's the case, I'll go and put my gun away so that no one can take my gun. He convinced Mickey to put his gun away. Okay. But like, I, this is like, I feel like it's like, are we trying to like queue for a Valorant match and we're missing two people? Guys, I think you just have bad timing. It's not bad timing. I'm trying to clean up loose ends no, because just... I have to stress about this. You don't. I'm the one that's going to have to deal with this shit during the EU, Mick. I am. I'm going to be the board member around. They are an EU crew. I'm just trying to tighten the ship. 
and it can come off aggressive, but I'm in an aggressive state of mind. This isn't a joke. Like you said, people's lives are on the line. I just do not, under any circumstance, want us giving them free guns when they are giving nothing to us for free. And the whole, like, save, well, we're not a, we're not a gang shit doesn't apply. Because they don't care. They won't care. They are going to run your pockets. They are going to use our civilians to get our street guys in a horrible position. And that's when they're going to take advantage of us. I think you're basing a lot of this off of one instance with Swan, who also... Two. In the first 12 hours, 12 hours I'm not awake, two people are caught, one gun is gone. Benji and them clapped the boys last night. What did we get out of it? Wrenches. That's it. Nothing. They're smart. We're not. I don't care they about have it. Died. I just don't want it to they be... Got, these guys almost died last night. I would be amazed if any of them are even around. They got shot. I'm just doing. I'll be honest. Stand by. Okay. Well, I at I least don't have a gun. To be honest, I say wait for a couple hours. Like, okay. Yeah, but I say give it a couple hours. And Just need Mickey. Yeah, maybe Mickey goes to Japan. He just didn't want you and Breckers to be loot boxes. How about this? I will all violent things that they could, important things they can't take from Mickey now. Okay. Uh, my phone, whatever. There you guys go. Listen, I don't have a gun or any weapons on me. They won't take anything from me. Yo, it's all good, man. Can you it's all good. So could fucking be in this house. I, yeah, uh... Like, chat, I, I don't want people to change who their characters are. It'll be too stressful. I'll rage out. All right, I'll just go make money all day. Now this is when we all get picked. 100%. Mickey, is it cool if I talked with you? Yes, what can I do for you, Maxine? Yeah, I was wondering, are you by chance going to be free uh, Friday? I was trying to pencil in a meeting with you guys. Actually, there's something I've been working really hard on, and uh, I think it's finally time I present it to you guys. And I, I will be that. free Friday. Okay, so when I say like Friday, I mean like early, uh, like the, the tsunami into Friday. So... For most people, Thursday night, but Tsunami into Friday. Yep, I can be there. Okay. I'm going to try and gather as many uh, board members as possible if I can. Um, some some project managers, sure. But uh, I may have a solution for what the, what the whole issue here is, you know? Because from... Give me a second. But yeah, from like... Oh, wait, people. wait. Never mind. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm gone then. Oh. I'm heading to uh, Wu Chang Records, Wu Chella. Okay. I can okay, just swap okay. characters, chat. Okay. Which I definitely understand. It's very important. I used to be part of Wu Chang back in the days. So. But, uh. Yeah, I guess. I can just switch I'm gonna characters. I'm going to try and get chat. as many people, and then I'll unveil it to you upon return. Because, uh, I want to make sure that, uh, I dot my I's and cross my T's. Well, I was about to say that backwards for a minute, so. Love it. But yeah, and then for everything going on, right? It's this is such a difficult position. Like I see your point and I see uh OTT's point, right? So I guess when it comes to things like this and other assets down the future, down the line, what's the best way to communicate and talk to them so that everybody's on the same page? Because 
feel like uh I I think it's fine. Cow's I've told Cow he's supposed to have a security protocol. Speak with him. If if you guys have it that anyone in the company who's civilian or clean who has a gun license doesn't walk around with their gun during a conflict, that's fine. Okay, okay. So pretty much uh I, I'm sorry, but I'm just not going to... Uh, yeah, I'm oh, fine if you. Breckers doesn't carry a gun, but I'm not going to have Breckers black out and, and be rolling around with a Glock because we need to fill a six-man slot. That's insane no, to I, me. I definitely understand that. I'm with you for the safety of all the you know employees and assets, all everybody alike. So it's just like, you know, and I guess from your point of view, the security team is supposed to be handling all that. So I guess I'll talk it out with Cal. Yeah, talk case. it out with Cal. Okay. Hello, okay, sir. Okay. Breckers, come by yeah. uh come by HQ. You and I need to also initiate Operation uh Peaky Blinders. Part two. Oi, right, perfect. See you soon. Guys, we're helping in our own own way. Part of me is just like Oh. I can't wait till everybody comes back. Duh. Listen, I, the thing is this, the company is is a very big operation. Not everyone here drives around in a car and shoots guns. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing that's going to suck is that if you're a company in any form of way, right, we're just going to get scooped up and stuff. So it's just like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be massive. I'm trying to think of a solution without we're you know what I mean? Like, of course not everybody's going to be happy, but at the same time, lend your guns to your friends. Do my best as an asset in this company to lessen the impact, you know, as they say, less stress, less mess. Right. Of course. So, so I want to do my part to make sure that I can ease both you and OTT because things like this, uh, not really fun to deal with. Right. Because Listen, we're, we're, I, I yeah. think people, I think people, I'll be really honest with you. You want the truth is that people like yeah. Ray, OTT, and Benji, all three of them are used to having a full-on roster of people that when shit went down, they can call on who's ever there to get a full crew to go and do whatever. And they are not used to people saying no. The reality of this operation is we are different from those operations because we have people who will say no. That makes no sense for me. That's the crux of this issue yep. because oh, we are different than those operations of the past that's all and I think they're especially feeling it now because Ray and Benji are not around and you're stuck with Mickey who is one of those people who say no true It's good perspective. Wow, excuse me. It's good perspective to uh, look and think on because uh, I too am guilty of it. Because obviously I, I came from Ray, you know. So it's interesting. Well, what I just explained to you, I think it'd be good if you propose that to Cal and OTT right now. I think they'll actually listen to you more than me. So what I just explained to you, I think you should go and explain it to them. Thank you so much. Uh, now I'll go and uh, do espionage work. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to do what I do. Yes, sir. What do I dress you as in this uh, outfit? Ah, uh, fam. It's Michael, man. On that shit, man. Screw up! Oh, God. Nah, bruv. What's well, good, bruv? Oh, hey, bruv. Hey, how's it going? Nah. Man, say we go to the block, yeah. Some random type beat. Tommy T told us, oh. yeah. Bloody blokes, right? 
10 toes it to the block in it. I need lines from chat. I need, I need, wait, hold on. I need like a, I need a, is there like a good slang list? Like roadman slang list? Hold on. Road, road man. Was a good list. Hold on. Yeah, I'm sorry if I slip into Jamaican. Records, give me one second. Yep. Guys, can I show you the, the character? Sorry, it slips into Jamaican. Let me show you the character I'm basing it off of. I watched this guy's TikTok, so let me find it. It's this guy. So you guys have to help me sound like this guy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey. It's this shit, dude. Hold on. Right here, hold on. Hey, Chloe. What do you want, Michael? I'm busy. I got you something, B. You got you some snus, girl. I asked for a fucking elf bar. Nah, nah, just look inside, bro. This guy. Look inside, bro. Come on. Come it's on. fucking empty, Michael. Nah, nah. Nah. Look under the snus, girl. It's a ring? Yeah. Why did they put a fucking ring in my snus? Because I fucking love you to pieces, babe. That's why. Really? Yeah, and I want you to marry me, bro. <laughs> Come on. All right. Come on. Is it? What you Is saying? it? Yeah. Go on, then. Come on, bro. Yeah. Yes, bro. That's sick, bro. That's sick. Come on. I fucking love you to pieces, bitch. Can, like, can, nah, can I get that back? That's Come my snus. I've got nicotine addiction, you bitch. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I found um... Where do we get to Grove Street from here? Lots of famine, bruv. Got it. So UK type, just give me things to say, chat. I'll just randomly say things. U UK type beat from, yeah, from part of the mandem. Uh, Tommy T and I go way back. Shout out to UK birds. <laughs> you sound like a defrosted caveman. We we'll turn out to O O Tune, bruv. We just waffling, bruv. Nah, fam. Oh, the tune. Me and my friend were looking for a bunch of wankers. Or oh, wankers, we mean other friends. Nah, fam. We're looking for the proper waste men. Yeah, that's wrong. Nah. Yeah. That's cold. Yeah, it's positively definite. I like how Brecker's doing a totally different English. I think the fact that it's bad makes it better, chat.
Uh, fam. Yeah, it's a mandem type thing, bruh. We looking for Tommy you know, T. Tommy man's T. Go, man's go way back. Oh, uh, that's across the, uh, across the yard, my friend. Nah. That's proper, that's proper. Excuse me, gentlemen. Um, you're disturbing us, and I just wanted to say, please, no more British people on this street. Uh, no well, go on. No nah, nah. Hey. It's Michael Manchester, bruv. We're on a mandem yeah, type beat. I'm, I'm looking for Tommy um, T, bruv. No, no Tommy you will not, not bring this over here. This is a classy, suburban, high-end neighborhood. Is it? That's proper yes. rotten, bruv. Man's looking for a mandem, bruv. Wow. Well, you try to get fucking shanked, bruv. The fuck are you doing? You're looking for nah. fucking Tommy T, bruv. Nah, girl not, not going to wet man's. Nah. Looking That's fucking bro, rubbish, bruv. Bro, I'll fucking shank you up and your I'll mom. Shake you and your nan. Nah. And your nan. Yeah. What the fuck is y'all saying? So what you need? Are you what you need? Why are you looking for Tommy T for? Bro, name's Michael Manchester, bro. I heard you the flew first time. Flew in UK type thing, you know. We trying to join okay. the mandem, bro. Welcome, welcome in, welcome there in. There is no mandem, bro. Yeah, the mandem, they, they disappeared. Is it? They disbanded, man. Nah, yeah, fam. Sorry. That's rubbish, walk, bro. Walk, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me this way. Uh, You're going to have to find someone else, sweetie. <laughs> so right over here, uh, what do you say? <laughs> man, Manchester? Yeah, fam. Man's Michael right Manchester, bro. So all the ex mandem they all went to made a group called the Manor. They, they live right here. You know what I'm saying? Is they it? Live here. Yeah. Oh, that's He's proper rubbish, bro. Yeah, they in the south side now. Oh, they, you... they 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 drop. You know what I'm saying? They they know. Nah, they fam, you chatting man. breeze, bro. You chatting breeze, bro. I'm not chatting breeze. I ain't chatting here. I ain't, I ain't chatting for breeze. Oh, for breeze? You On talking the about queen. That's <laughs> breeze, man. On the queen, ten toes deep, bro. Bro. Nah, 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 but they live here though, man. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm not chit chat, fam. You find a man them over here, okay? Yeah, fam. Yeah, bro. How do I say thank you? How do I say thank oh, you? Yeah, yeah. You got your information? Who's this guy? Bro, hi. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean? What? Mr. Bean? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean. Yeah, oh, cheers, bro. Cheers, fam. Yeah, cheers. All right. Hey, stay safe, bro. Stay safe, bro. Oh, hold on. Hey, so you, just to be clear, though, you guys are friends with the, the man or something? You trying to join him? Ah, uh, that's right, bro. Okay. Chuff to bitch, right, bro. Tommy right, good T. Luck, man. Good luck. Tommy T, my brother. Go right back, man. Bro, you better put on a fucking Tommy T doesn't live there. Nah. Uh, bruv, Amanda, we here, bruv. We out here, yeah. I don't know which house it is. Proper rubbish. <laughs> What do they call the cops? Oh fuck, he drove away. Oh, the feds. Hey fam. Oh, Ma'am, oh, hey, bro, we 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 looking for for the manor yeah, on a UK oh. type thing, bro. Man's name is uh, Michael Manchester, bro. I see. Um. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if any of them are around. I don't. I don't know. Nah, they on this block, bruv. We good friends with Tommy T, bruv. It's GG. Really? Uh, name's, Michael, name's Michael Manchester, bruv. Michael Manchester. Uh, on a UK type thing, bruv. Yeah. Mad rotten, bruv. 
Um, yeah, I haven't uh, seen Tommy T in a while. That right, bruv. Hey, they told us talk to the manor, bruv. Sounds like a lot of bollocks. Nice accent you got there. <laughs> right. Where are you from? The ends, bruv. Even though my last name is Manchester, bruv. Mm hmm. Stupid parent type beat thing, you know? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I just woke up and I. Nah, that's. Nah. <laughs> I, I literally have just woken up. <laughs> so, uh, what exactly are you looking nah, for? Nah, that's waffle, bruv. It's waffle. I mean, it's waffle. Nah, blood's waffling. Right. Hey, listen, big man thing it's not looking good, bruv. Hey. Ow! Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, I, oh, I, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just punched. Oh, the hell is your fucking... Hey, that's a violation thing, bruv. That's a violation thing, bruv. Nah. Hey. What the hell is wrong with you? Right, you're cool. I saw like a fly. Nah, man's lost his hat, bruv. You know? Right, yeah. My bad. <clears throat> Apologize. You, you look very familiar. I, I met you in my life. Don't reckon. Not you. Oh, right, yeah. We have to go get. I have to go change. Fuck. I hate that you can't pick shit up. I just said I just woke up. I haven't seen anybody in the last few days. We gotta get our cover back. Wait, H1? Does that work? Oh shit. You just put it back on like that? Fuck, I've been. Name Stacy. Oh, Stacy, alright. Mm hmm. Cool. <clears throat> Is that all? Like. Thanks. Yeah, bruv. Yep. We just looking for the mandem. And mandem? I haven't heard that <laughs> that name in in a while. I don't think they're around anymore. Allow it, bruv. <laughs> you stop calling me, bruv. Ah, uh, calling you birds, mad disrespectful, bruv. Right. What was your name again? That's Michael. Michael, bruv. Michael Manchester, bruv. That's right, right, fam. But uh, if I see them, uh, is there a number I can call you for? Yeah, bruv. A number. Man's number. Four two zero one zero eight. Zero five four nine. I'm supposed to say Zed. A different number. That's not Mickey's number, right? Say it again. Uh four two zero one zero eight zero five four nine. Yeah, I, man. I, Tell them friends of Tommy T here. Not Jamaican? <laughs> nah, fam. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll send you a text if I see any of the mandem. That's what you're looking for around? Or the manor, fam. They manor now. Yeah, bro. Man's Who? is manor, not mandem, man. You said mandem? Yeah, manor, man. They say not uh, mandem ma now, they manor, man. man. Mini man? I love Ma that song, Mini Man. Oh, na, 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 na. Nah, Mini that's I jokes, bro. That that's jokes, fam. That's jokes, fam. Oh. It's Manor. That's who we're looking for. Oh, okay, yeah, I will let you know if I see them about. Bro. Yeah, fam. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take take care, bruv. Oi.
doing, I think, hey, I think we're doing great. Every time, Whoever wasn't pulling, that was really good. Keep it up. Good work. Every time I hear you, I just, it's so good. It's so good. I have the sling up, chat. I'm trying to use more of it. Boy, boy. Boy, that man's approaching you. Buddy. Man, chicken. No fucking way. We're getting better, chat. A is better than yesterday. Oh, that's mental. Oh, that's another one they say. Chat, I mean, like, this is just how I. Yeah, this is just how I RP on Mickey, man. I, I'm not, I'm I, like, I cannot be bothered to black out. And I, it's just not my, uh, like, some people like it. I can't be bothered to black out and try to go find people and shoot them. I would much rather do funny espionage shit like what we're doing. That's crease. Okay. I need you guys to spam more things during conversations. Smitten, me, me, mental, mental, men, mental. Oh, maybe that's people. Let's go talk to them. I'm a nonce means I'm proper cool. I know what a nonce means. Shut the fuck up. Don't do that. What's good fam? Hello. You know what's up? Name's Michael Manchester fam. But you're the guy looking for Tommy D, right? Uh yeah, yeah, fam. Trying to find uh the the manor now, fam. Are you tired looking over there? Nah man. Man's not home. One sec. I've ever heard. The guy's not awake. Can't lie. <laughs> Are you jokes, bruv? It's just, it's just really good. It's just really good. Nah. <laughs> you sound good, man. Nah, fam. You dizzy, fam. What about you? Right. Yeah, what about me? Or my name, or like what? <laughs> this is so name? bad. Right, Mr. Bean. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Bean. <laughs> that's so bro. great. Oh, thank you. Check it out. Yo, yo. I don't think the guy's British. What? Are you daft? Nah, fam. You might be daft. What do you mean I'm not British? Who are you? Are you? Oi, what's your name? Fam, that's jokes, fam. I'm RJ and this is uh, my friend Ash. Mad jokes, right? Hi, Ash. Hi, RJ. Yeah, bro. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bane, and I've, I've forgotten your name this time, sorry. No, I need all the like Roadman UK like things, one. Yeah, bro. Well, this is great. That's oh, Michael, fam. Oh, nice Michael to meet you, Michael Fian. Nah. Spence fam. Hello. Spence. Michael Spence fam. Yeah. A UK ting fam. My friends are Tommy T, bruv. Big things than that. Nah. No, man, man, man. Allow it, bruv. <laughs> Oi, 
Like, well, I I just want to run into the actual manor. Oh, who's this? Who's that? Is that one of them? Oh, that Brecker's with me. I'm chasing this guy down. One of them, fam. The fam. The fam. Uh, hello? Well, go on, bruv. Oh, my, it's... Oh, yo, what's up? Uh, what's your... Who are you? Nah, it's proper, bruv. Michael. Michael. Ah, uh, bruv. Michael Manchester, bruv. Michael Manchester. Nice to meet you, Michael. Uh, I'm a random type yeah, thing, bruv. You know the manor, fam. I... Do I know the manor? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Why? Nah, bruv. That's proper rubbish, bruv. You jokes, bruv. What the fuck are you saying? I mean, I know them, but... I, Ma you know, man's, Matthew? Man's, yeah, like, man's he's a trying, good friend of mine. Oh, man's trying to reach out to them, bruv. Trying to reach out to the manor. Uh, uh bro, give him, yeah, give him a ring. Tell him friends are Tommy T. Are at his block, bro. Friend, you're, you know, Tommy T. Uh, that's my, my that boy. You said? You s Michael Manchester. And yeah, you know fam. Tommy T. And you want to talk to the manor people? Nah, in it. That's right. All right. Um, I, I sure I could give him, a, I could give him a call right now if you want. Uh. Yeah. How about that? Thanks, bruv. We're in the block. Proper mandem type thing. Who are you chatting, bruv? What the fuck you're saying right now? Can you please... <laughs> nah, fam. That's are jokes, bruv. Are you from the previous tsunami? Like, what's what's happening? What's blood waffling about? Tsunami, bruv. It's a UK thing. I flew in. Just got off the plane proper right now. Nah. But you're new, you're fucking new here? Yeah, man. New. All right. Men's, hop, men's hopped off the, off the four door with the four four, with a four in call. <laughs> Look, listen, listen, buddy, buddy. I, yeah, I, I need that's you to fresh slow, out, bro. I need you to just enunciate a little bit better. Cause like, I have no fucking clue what the hell you're saying right now. And it's taking a little bit nah, fam, you uh, got bats, willpower bruv. for me to to not want to punch you in the face right now, right? And it's in my goodwill to want to help you. Nah, uh, fam, that's a violation thing, bruv. It is a violation, but I mean, you're you're nah, right don't be a big man, don't be eyesight. violating. Uh, you're you're doing more than enough already. Nah, right? fam, being in front of me, man. Listen, listen, look, you, you want to talk to manor people, right? I, I have a, I have a person that... Oh, uh, that's gassed, bro. Can, that's gassed. Yeah. That, <laughs> you, that's what? Gas? That's proper the right, bruv. Right, right. Fucking call. love you to pieces, bruv. You what's, do that what's for your me. Number? Hold on, hold on. How about you call... Give me a call on uh, Yellow Pages. You said your name is Michael Manchester? Yeah, bruv. I should be on there. What's the man's name, bruv? Timothy. My name is uh, Timothy. Nice to meet you. Yo. All right. Mr. Michael. Okay, so you fly in to the city. Right, right. 
Far? Fresh out of wherever the fuck you are, and you want to talk to manor people all, all the time. Oh, it's right, it's the right. Like, okay, it's why are they your family? You have history, or what's up? I don't know if you. Uh, me and Tommy to go back, bruv. It's an ends type mm -hmm. thing, bruv. Nah, me name? and Tommy T fighting demons back in the UK, bruv. That's a UK thing. It's a UK Same thing. ends, okay. bruv. Right, yeah. UK thing, bruv. Uh, uh, that's safe, fam. <laughs> I just read yeah, chat look, and look, just look, say random look, shit. Be, don't go down there by yourself. Uh, just, just chill. Be careful. Nah, and, fam. Nah, uh, man's valid in the streets, bruv. What, people know you? Proper you valid, valid, bruv. Michael Manchester. Right. Stay safe, Michael. Uh, well, wait, you know, you man's, man's you? give him, man's give him a ring, bruv, Right? Yeah, yeah. Give I'll him give him a ring if you, you got uh, food though. You got food though. Nah. Well, well, I'm helping you out though. You don't have like a bag of chips or anything like that. Yeah, uh, some oh, crisp, bruv. Yeah, some crisp. Yeah, that's how it is, man. <laughs> Pass the crisp check, yeah. his breakers though oh my god i hope we didn't lose breakers breakers what if he's on the elevator hey he knew the risks Bam. Oh, what? I didn't have to. Put my, my, my other phone in my pocket, bruv. Oh. 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 Right, you okay? Yeah, bruv. Right. Right. sign of the uh, red coats. Drill and some bars. You figure you could spit that? Crackers, you need to speak up. Yeah. I know. Fuck it. Rub, rub, rub alert. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Right, yeah, Breckers is too quiet. Although it might be because my music's so loud right now. Oi, 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 bruv, bruv. Bruv. Ah, uh, what's man's running for, bruv? Oh, I got my tow truck over there. I just towed my car back, you know, just go to my house over there and you know, I just need to get my truck and get, no, get that's, started working. No, that's proper, bruv. Nah. What's going on? Yeah. Nah, allow it. 
Alright, carry on, cheerio. Alright, yeah, sure, cheerio. And don't throw each other. We're basically just G-checking people on Grove Street. God, I should have had a fucking knife, though. Do this tomorrow? Oh, absolutely, bro. Of course we will. Why wouldn't we? Oh, I'm not streaming tomorrow, but. Oh, Michael. Michael, how's your drill? Uh, drill type beat, bruv. Right, you think you can speak on a drill type beat if I send you some yeah. lyrics? Bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... All right, bruv. All right, give me like Chef four it seconds. up. Chef yeah, it up, blood. Chef it up. Let me shift it up. Hold up. I can't twat out to them, so. Hello? Well, go on, fam. It's your boy, fucking Michael. Yo, what's up, Michael? How's it We're, going? Um, we looking for... The amount of type people you told you you're gonna get them here, bruv. Um, no, I said accident. I give him a call. But nah, uh, guy... that's that's proper rubbish, bruv. It's, uh, proper rubbish. I knew nah, you were man's say that. jokes, yeah. bruv. Dude, you're airing me right now. I'm getting rinsed by your attitude. Uh, proper like rinse, it. bruv. Look, I, I give him a call. They didn't pick up, so uh, you're nah, fam, that's a I violation thing, no... bruv. There's there's no violation uh, here. Bro, I'm giving you the them, straight bro. up bro, truth, them, okay. bruv. No. Kill them? What the fuck nah, does that mean? Nah, bruv, bell them. Bell hit a them. ring, bruv. I did hit a ring, bruv. It didn't happen, bruv. Uh, nothing came out of ah, the bell. Ah, waffling, bruv. I'm not waffling. I'm allow giving you the straight it, up bruv, truth. Allow it, bruv. Now you're rinsing me. Let me see what this is. Hold on. Hold on. Bro, I just want to get robbed on Mickey so I can go to sleep and wake up on Jesse. Lost Life's his jokes, bruv. Oh, yeah. He'd be absolutely a bunch of lucky jokes. He think that they can kind of neck our ass around. Make us hang out in their weird little flock. Your so British is... Do. It's worse than mine. It's actually worse than mine somehow. I don't so, know how. You need so to get... Bad. You need to get better. You need to get it's better, like Breckers. Break. They're gonna cut... They're gonna get us. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going... Oh, this is gonna fuck up my Jesse accent. I, I, I've developed this whole... This whole arc, okay? It's gonna be great, okay? They're gonna eat, they're gonna love it. They're gonna eat it up, right? I'm gonna fail this so bad. I don't even know it's where really the fuck they are. Are they just not around anymore? I don't know. Do you want me to call them up? Fuck. I now, mine's them. sick, guys. Yeah, no, but they're gonna know it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. I can call them on my other phone. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, hey, burner. That's what I have, too. Yeah, burner. Just call them wait, I can just... I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, chat. Hello. Well, go on, fam. Well, go on, G. Ah, uh, fam. 
Name's fucking Michael Manchester, bruv. Big fan. Michael Manchester, is it? Uh, is it, bruv? Big, big brother. Go back with Tommy T, bruv. That's a nah. mandem type thing, bruv. I just got mandem. off the plane, bruv. Okay. What were you saying? Nah, <laughs> fam. It gave me your number. It gave you you a new number or me a new number? Nah, they gave gave me your number, bruv. On the Is block, it, bruv. The ends, bruv. Grove yeah. Street ends, bruv. Grove Street ends. Nah, I be living around the Mandan block, bro. Is it? It is. Nah, bruv. We trying to we trying to link up, bruv. On you the UK type thing, bruv. Trying to link, bruv. Say less. What are we linking? Uh, what are we? Oh, uh, Grove Street, bruv. The ends, bruv. Los okay, Santos ends. Less. I'm on my way. I see a Grove. Nah. You, got, you better have a. You better have a Nando's. Nah, bruv. Los Santos, no cheeky Nando's, bruv. No cheeky Nando's. You uh, mad? bruv. I got. I got a bag of crisps, bruv. Crisps. You think I'm coming for crisps? I'm wanting some gourmet Nando's, bro. With medium sauce. Nah, man's, not trying, man, about man's, that man's, man's trying to link, bruv. See what's good, bruv. You trying to see what's good? Okay, say less. I'll pull uh, up. Allow it, fam. What am I allowing? Allow it, fam. <laughs> now, we could call OTT and all them and tell them that we might get them to come to Grove Street, but like... That's not fun. It's more fun if we like meet them like this and then, you know, we, we let it play out, you know? We can't just like, it, we have to see how long we can go before we spring a trap, you know? We can't just spring a trap, you know? Ah, <laughs> um. <laughs> guys i need you guys to spam random roadman slang when they pull up so i can just i'll just read random shit Wagwanji. <laughs> Fam, you in the wrong ends, bruv. Keep it driving, bruv. My God. Is that a local? That's Ray. That that was Ray. <laughs> I I would love if Ray came up to talk to us. Please come. Uh, Wagwan, Wagwan Farm. What? What's What's Kyal doing on the Mandem block? Bitch, this is a CG block. Nah. 
Nah, that's jokes, bruv. Are you kidding me? They own mm. that house and 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 then like that house and like practically the house that I'm in. Nah, that's jokes, bruv. It's a mandem type block. The ends of Los Santos, <laughs> bruv. Oh. Now who's that's your, a who's joke, man, Ting, bruv. Ting. Ting. Yeah, right, Mr. Bean. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's Michael that? Manchester, bruv. Michael Mr. Manchester, Bean. bruv. Yeah, right, Michael Manchester. Yeah, good fam with the Tommy T, bruv. Oh. <laughs> Tommy T. Mm. Yeah. I haven't seen him in days. Fucking love him to pieces, bruv. Where are you uh, from? The ends, bruv. Really? Ah, your, CG your type. Accent, uh, CG wasteman. Doesn't really. Nah. Don't really sound very. Uh, don't sound very British, love. Don't sound like you're from the ends, love. Nah, none of that posh stuff. Allow it, bruv. Isn't, um, <clears throat> isn't Tommy T uh, CG now? Nah, you chatting. You chatting, gal. Well, nice to meet you, fellas. Bro. All right, what would I say? What do I say to Matt for him not being here? What do I say to him for him not being here? There she goes. Okay. You taking the piss, fam? Yo, wagwam. You taking the piss, fam? I ain't taking no piss. Do you know who's taking piss? I'm nah, you proper waste, man. You proper waste, man. Don't be calling me a waste, man. Nah, you long, mate. Man You're said he long. was gonna link. Man, not link. You're dusty, that's what you are. Nah. That's a violation, bruv. Why are you shook, bruv? <laughs> We're on the same team type beat. Friends of Tommy T, bruv. It's a mandem ting. Oh, bro, that one got me. That one tickled me a little bit. Nah, Jesus. bruv, you proper geezer, bruv. Why are you shook, bruv? Nah, you're Nah, funny. fam, you shook, bruv. We still here, bruv. You're on the ends, bruv. They ain't, they ain't your ends, bro. You'll get hurt. Link up, bruv. Okay, Abdul's pulling up for a taxi to pull up, so I'll catch you in a minute, yeah? Say less, fam. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I swear if it, like I would actually enjoy conflict in GTA if every single time Mickey and every single time Mickey and Breckers just like did shit like this. And we try to like go like incognito and shit. These lines. Oh, this call song is Trojan Horse by Dave in Central Sea. We just say we have Nando's, but they come. Probably, right? Some peri peri chicken. It's corporate espionage, chat. Oh, that's a different, that's a different kind of, uh, 
That's a different accent. The one's like, had this right. Graffiti their house. What you think it is? What you think it is, Puff? It's a two. No, it's not. It's a fucking rolling pin. What are you gonna do? Bake me a cake? A shootout? It's a shootout. Like a western. Wankers. That shit. That's such a good scene. The craze are amazing. That shit. That movie was amazing. That's good. That they're they're looking out for Mickey and Breckers, you know. We're the bait. I don't really want to like. Te I I don't like if the ma uh, if the manor pull up. I'm not gonna just like tell them. Oh, yo, they're here right now. No, I wouldn't do that. I want to like see how long we can keep the cat and mouse going. You know, like the way i i would role play this chat is it's like it's like we have to keep rolling it's like it's like D, &D. we're gonna try and roll deception checks and we have to roll a bunch of good deception checks and only after we've done that then we could spring a trap we can't just spring a trap right away you know Asking how did British people talk? Easiest. Yeah. Okay, okay, can I test this out on you? Guys, I don't care if they know it's Mickey or not. Is that good? Yeah. I like that voice more for Breckers. Oh yeah, that that's that's good for you. That's good for you. I like that. Perfect. Max really saying so you want to get kidnapped like a family guy would, would interpret a British person and do that I'm not I'm, I want to make content well, of course. how do I call him how do I call him uh, well, afraid again how do I call him uh scared um pussy Mickey, I'm in a police chase. I gotta go, mate. I'm sorry. I've a... oh. Nah, I'm Michael. If I... Is it Mickey? Wait, does he know? <laughs> you know, eventually. Mike, oh, did the phone scuff? Come to our door as interns. We let them in, right? You guys can meta that. Did the phone scuff? Oh. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, okay. If, if it didn't scuff, then I'm Mickey's just going to think that's. I'm not. I'm not going to. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I, I didn't hear it.
Uh oh, chat, I'm, I'm dedicated to this. Chat. Chat. I don't care if it's obvious. I'm role playing. I'm just having fun and just trying to do some new shit. It's just funny. I I just want to listen to UK drill and pretend to be British and do the worst accent ever. Just enjoy it. I accept that I'm going to take an L. That's okay. Make sure I have the right phone. Walk one, bruv. Man, man slipped up. It's not a Disney type thing, bruv. A not Disney Mickey. Type thing. It's Michael, bruv. Michael, bruv. Michael. That's my yeah, bruv. Oh, Michael, bruv. Sorry, nah. that's my Say Mickey, Call that's a violation thing, bruv. Yeah, true, true, true. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm currently getting teapot by the mandem, so I gotta dip in it. I'll call you back though, okay? Nah, fam. Feds on you, fam. We come yeah, help you. Yeah, serious. Say less. No. Fam. <laughs> Teapack equals boxed. Oh shit. Wait, that's cool to know. Oh, I can't use that. That's meta from Chak. I, I don't know what T-Pack means. Oh my god, Max. Not right, Michael. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, fam. Uh, hello? Nah, fam. What's blood doing on Mandem Block? What? Oh, that's right, Mandablock. Nah, fam. Mandem. Uh, this is Grove Street. Nah, fam. This Mandem. Oh, uh, I, I I apologize. It's so so. I I just live on this street. Nah, fam. That's a violation thing. Violation thing. You heard it. Proper fucking rubbish. Nah. What? Right. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry for being on Mandy. Nah, fam. How about how about the whip, fam? Right. How do how do roadmen G check? Okay, I mean, can I at least park it? What do they ask? The They're like, what's the it like? Right how do they how do they G check? What I say? What ends you from, bruv? What ends? What ends, bruv? Uh, the, the Cotswolds. That's nah. the ends. Nah, fam's proper posh, bruv. What's your shoe size, bruv? What? Nah, that's not. Nice shoes, bro. Nice shoes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm a UK eleven. Is it? It is, yes. That's my size, fam. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, cool. I, I guess we have a similar thing. Right. Run me them crepes, big man. What? <laughs> I I don't think I understand what you're saying. Crips? What the hell is a crips? You mental, bruv. You dizzy. Like, is it crepes? 
You taking the piss, fam? Nah. <laughs> it's a violation, bruv. Violation of what? Nah. Man's a geezer, bruv. Are you going to, like, just the entire London Metro? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Manchester, by the way, if you've got water. I wonder if Mr. Kang is around. Why is that important? Why is that important? Is it cool? Oh, Sparky. Oh, Sparky. I think. Oh, Mr. Kane. Yeah, yeah, he's around. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He pulled it out. Yes, dude. This it finally. The content. Here we go. Hold on. Nice. Wait, wrong phone. Probably the best day to do this because CG is off. Drove CG is off. No, I feel like it'd be more fun if CG was here, bro. Yo. Well, go on, fam. Who is this? What the fuck? Nah, fam. Name's Michael. Good friend of uh, Tommy T, bruv. It's a mandem ting. M Michael? Michael Manchester, fam. Michael Manchester? Where you from? Ah, uh, the ends, bruv. Nah. What, what kind of ends are we talking about? Nah, fam. The long ends, bruv. Oh, the long ones? So you're what, like, like way up north? Nah. It's a mandem ting, bruv. You, you know, you know mandem. I don't know if Tommy told you. I don't know how close you guys were, but mandem's not a thing no more. Is it? Nah, man's jokes. That, it, it wasn't a. That was deadly serious. Are uh, you taking it wasn't the piss, fam? No, no, I'm being dead ass. Nah, fam, that's a violation thing, bruv. I'm being dead ass, yo. Nah. Who you knowing? Nah, me, me and me made nah. all the fucking ends, bruv. Grove Street. Grove Street? Link up, bruv. Where? You, you at Grove Street? Yeah, fam. Can't lie to you, bro. You're sounding a bit shook still. Nah, fam. You shook. Are you shook of? Nah, fam. Pull up, fam. All right, all right. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. If I, I can't move my vehicle. What? Guys, you need to message more things for me to say. I, I'm going to pull up. Give me just a moment. You guys have to spam more shit for me to say. Or I, I just, like, miss them. Oh, say less. They always say say less. Ah, uh, say less. I literally just read shit from chat. Like, that's how I'm doing this. 
A bomba clap. You don't know. Also, when everyone says Jamaican, isn't a lot of like the road band slang and accent kind of Jamaican a little bit or like kind of, or it's like they like intermixed a little bit. Isn't that a thing? I don't know. Like Wagwan was a Jamaican thing, right? They say Wallahi. Oh, in it. I need to start saying in it more. You dizzy. Yeah, oh, these are all good. Just keep spamming these whenever I forget to say things. Bro, I'm, I, the one thing I love, chat, is like... We've now successfully done conflict and war RP for many hours and the entirety of my chat has just been filled with people trying to type British slang and roasting me for the accent. And if that's how we can keep it, that's perfect. What was this message? Nah, <laughs> thumb. I think Sparky's gonna show up though. No, that was from Daphne from like a while ago. I think that was for like. Gun's gonna be in his head for a bit. I gotta pee. Right, no worries. That bloke is knackered. In it, bruv. Nah. Yes, bro. Mad violation keep man's waiting. Man like Michael McIntyre, you know. You're telling me. Nah, Manchester, bruv. Manchester? You're from Manchester? Not, yeah, I know, bro. Michael McIntyre, big fan of the comedy and that. Funny guy. Seen you on Britain's Got Talent and fucking uh, at the Apollo and that. Nah, that's jokes, fam. Yeah, you are, bro. You're jokes, man. You're funny. You're funny. That's, You're funny. That's funny jokes, guy. in it, bruv. Link, link up, bruv. Link up. Where, where are you nah, again? Ah, blood's, blood's waffling. Hammersmith Apollo? Grove where, Street, where, where, where you performing? Nah, Grove Street, bruv. You're sounding a bit stiff, bro. Well, lucky, fam. Are you religious? Nah. You're not religious? Nah. Man's an atheist, and that. Nah, I? man's shook, bruv. You're shook? So you're telling me you're shook? Nah, I fam. said, are you religious? And you You're said, shook, I'm fam. shook. Nah, you just told me you were shook. Why are you shook? I know religion is I a daunting thing, I my need... brother, but you nah, don't need to be that's shook. That's metal. That's metal, bruv. Stop waffling. 
Listen, I'm going to be making my way down there very shortly. I'm just getting a Sharpie and a, and a pad so I can catch the autograph. I will be there. Say less, fam. You're wasting my credit, all right? So don't call me again. This shit costs money. I'm at your gaff. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like how I, I feel like though that the nature of conflict, the nature of conflict is like everyone's like, oh shit, are we gonna get ambushed, robbed, this, that? Where it's like literally, it's just Mickey and Preckers doing this shit. Wow, wallahi is a Muslim term. Don't use it. It's not a good look. Oh. Well, I know it is, but I just also assume the British people randomly use it. Like it's like saying on God, you know? I figured I like, it's kind of like, you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure like people say Wallahi, like not US people, but I'm pretty sure British people say it literally is like a thing, even if they're not Muslim. Right, guys, I'm listen. I'm about to get canceled like nine different ways to Sunday. I'm literally doing slang and shit in a fucking region that I don't know about. The one thing I will say though is usually countries outside of the United States are way more chill with like slang and culture and stuff like that than the United the United States is like, you know. This guy's just chatting. Nah, Bam was chatting, bruv. <laughs> and then he gets so pissed about shit. Nah, it's just jokes, fam. Guys, what's the best UK drill song? Skept? What's that? What song? Give me the name of the song. Down. What's your football team? Gotta have that one nailed down. Oh yeah, fuck, what is my football team? Guys, what's my football team? Well, it depends. Manchester's a good oh. thing. Right? Hate Manchester. You're either a Manchester fan or you absolutely hate Manchester more than anything. City, I think that Man Uni. City might be better. Oh shit, now my chat's all arguing. It's Manchester City. Instead of United. Or you could piss them all off and pick a team like Real Madrid. Or Real Madrid. It's tough, isn't it? Even Arsenal will piss for us. I think this is drill. Wait, so who did we decide my team is, chat? Arsenal? Got it.
say the gunners. I'll say ah, the gunners fam. Gonna But where the fuck are they? Guys, when they, when dialogue starts, you guys have to just spam random like it can't be long lines. They have to just be like little lines or like little words to say, you know? We're in the fucking sack, chat. I think they're gonna be real supportive when they roll up and they just see us. It's been so long. We can think we have like an army or something. Just two cheeky British lads. Oh, come on. Fam. Um. Hmm. The feds get you, fam. Nah, obviously not, bro. I'm a jammer. Nah. I'm a jammer, me, bro. Nah, that's proper, fam. That's proper. We pu we're pulling up to ends right now, me and the man, them, yeah? Ah. Uh, say less, fam. Okay, say less, bro. They're pulling up. Let's go. Hey, man. By the way, here we go. Wait, whoa, 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 that was a good one. You men, you men took time. This might be the strangest street in the city, to be honest. Man's been on the road for time still. Hoppers jumped the gun. 07. What? Guys. I. It doesn't. Either of you called Michael? Ah, uh, fam. Man's took time, fam. Wait, this fuck? is Michael. Well, go on, fam. <laughs> this guy is Michael. Brother, you're wearing a suit. What the fuck on a UK type thing, fam. Oh, welcome, Michael. So this is my time, is, fam. Bear this time, is fam. the guy I said I'm shook on the phone. Nah, you got it, fam. Who's this guy? Because he said he's looking for Michael as well. I ain't actually looking for Nando's, Michael. Bro. Chow was just joking. Chow just needed a ride back down to the street. Now we on the street. I drove you like 200 foot. Just yeah. spam stuff, chat. Michael? Spam, spam. What's the deal? Counter the meta by spamming things Call when you say. Line. Waffling. Nah, fam. Oh, fuck. Child love waffle. You know what you can get, sir? No waffle, fam. You mad? You promised the uh, Anandos, bro. What, what's with this then? Nah, fam. What Friends of Tommy T, fam. fam. Here to support the, the mandem. How well do you know Tommy T? Don't know about me. I'm Tommy T. Man was a shit, but back in the oh, ends, I'm a real OG. Nah, fam. That's my brother. It's your brother? We're like blood or... Nah, fam. Nah, it's an ends thing, fam. Oh. 
An ends thing. What ends is Tommy from then? Ah, uh, you don't know. You don't you know. know if, you fam. Know, if you know him so well, you know what I mean. Like, surely you could just, you know. Where's he from, man? Nah, fam. Oh, he's he gone shook again. Your shook you, bro. Nah, fam. You don't know. You don't know, fam. I you thought know, this was you Michael don't know Tommy McIntyre, like me, fam. Yeah. I thought this was Michael McIntyre. It's not even nah, Michael you McIntyre. You tensing it. You tensing it. What's, what's nah. Tommy's favorite color then, nah, bro, we... if, you, if we don't know him like you do? What's your team, fam? Sick, what? What's your what, what's team, fam? Team? It's my team, West Ham. Nah, fam. The Gunners, yeah. fam. The Gunners? You're an Arsenal fan. That's proper. That, that is not proper. Did you say that, that is, is proper? That is nah, not fam. proper. Fam, that is far from proper. Nah, it's a friendly type thing, fam. We're here to help, fam. You're, you're here boy British. to help. Yeah, he's help the geezer him. with a broom. Is he British? We're just uh, speaking to Michael McIntyre down on the sack at the moment. Right, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Mr. Bean here. Mr. Bean. Up the streets. Yeah, this is utterly filthy. You guys live in this filth? Ugh. Hang on a minute. It's so we've right, got though. Mr. Bean and Michael McIntyre. What kind of sick twisted joke is this, man? It's Michael Manchester. Nah, Get fam. Right. Nah, fam. No jokes. Fucking Wait, love look. the man them to pieces, fam. Yeah, yeah. That's you, right. Just a quick one. Either of you got a time? I left my phone at home and I don't know what the time is. Any of you mind if I just take a look at your phone and let's see what the time is? You seem yeah, like fam. nice guys, right? It's all cool. You, just, you know, just let me look see what the time is, man. Yeah, fam. Yeah? Yeah, go on, Matt. Grab his, grab his phone and have a little look at the time, man. What, what's the time, bro? Let's see the phone, then. Oh, so grab with a broom. What size shoes are those? They're looking like, a, what are they, nines? I'm not here, bro. These? <laughs> you, you just, these are UK sixes. UK sixes? Yeah, what what size feet you got, Gigi? I'm a size six. Aye. You want them? I do, actually. You can't like a nice be serious. Gif. Loki, I think them shoes would look better on Gigi than than, than the broom man, Mr. Bean. Nah, head. fam, that's a violation, fam. No, it, it's not a violation, man. Just run me the shoes, you know what I mean? Just run us the shoes. It's nothing crazy. Just, you know, little shoes. Come on. No, I'm wrong. It's nothing shameful about shoe. walking home in socks. All right, we'll trade. You can nah, have you... What else do I say? I need no. more thing. I want your shoes. Exactly. And then I'll take yours. Those knee highs. I used to wear a couple bro. of those back in the day. These are my dick stompers. I need to be able to fit them. Did you Took give him the phone. phone back? Nah, just the sim. Oh, nice. nah, that's fam, like that's... 150 quid at a pawn shop. Come on. Nah, come on, fam. Tommy T ain't like that. That's a violation, fam. See, for real though, go back, with the amount back. of time I spent with you on the phone, that's at least got to be about six pound fifty of my credit gone. You got a tenner for me? Nah, How expensive I minutes tenor, are. Fam. Nah, bro, you dizzy, fam. Is you dizzy, fam. I'm dizzy. I'm not dizzy. I think you're dizzy, bro. Man's got what? a shirt on under a shirt. Man's, know? man's. What's the yeah, move, fam? I got something better. Something you love. Yeah, some, some crisps. Yeah, what crisp type well, thing, and fam. A, and a little, uh, Jeez, and a little fish, bro. fish and crisps. Allow it, fam. Now. Allow it. What the fuck is it? Who's just giving me a salmon? Yeah, that's right. Fishes and crisps. You guys love eating that. Nah, you can hold that salmon, bruv. I don't do no, fish. We gotta be friends with them. We gotta be friends with You're them, what? chat. Fuck fish, man. I'll take the crisps, though. I won't lie about that. These yeah, will get scrammed. Yeah, you so guys, what's the, what's chat. What's the deal, Michael? You, you guys have to be you. How, how can we help you? Wait, what do you guys... Wait, I say you guys? Hold on. Big fucking fan of the man. Love them to pieces, bruv. You just say love them to pieces? Oh, I think you said love them to pieces, bruv. Oh. So, hang on a minute. Do you want a, you want a signature or something? Nah, fam. Trying to help you lot. What with? Random type B 
beat thing. <laughs> oh, you, you, you made beats? Say... Yeah. Yeah, fam. Is it? Hey, I have a question for you two. Have you man ever played British Bulldog before? Of course. All the time. I'm actually down to run that. Yeah, yeah fam. Yeah, fam. I don't know what that is. All right, then. Look, listen. How about we go to the end of the cul-de-sac down there and we'll introduce you to a little bit of British Bulldog. Say so less, fam. Let's move. All right. Well, like, we'll introduce you. Are you, sh you sure? You guys sure, right? Like, 100%. I, I mean, the there was no yet. doubt, so I'll take that as a yes. No doubt, fam. <sighs> I don't have tackle bound, chat. Right. We will start at this pole. Our boy Max over there is going to be the guy who's up, right? He's going to be in the middle. Every single one of us has got to run past Max. And get to the other tell or the, the two trees over there without getting tagged by Max. If you get tagged by Max, you go join him in the middle. Wait, I'm a tagging ya. Tackle. Punching us in the face, bro. Punch, what do you mean? Oh, oh, come on. Punching. Oh shit. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You ain't, oh, ain't British yeah, Bulldog if you ain't bruised. Last one standing wins, you know what I mean? Let's see if you man know the ways of the British Bulldog. Look at everyone panic bandaging right now. What's going on? Bearing in mind that don't mean you can Nah, it. fam, it's a safety you thing. Him back. Remember that, yeah? He's the bulldog. Get All right, ready. Off. If you get smacked, you got to go join him. You can only get one person each time, though. Give us a countdown, Max. Go can on. he count? He said, go, I'm gone. You're on my team. You're on my team. You're on my team. You're in the oh, middle fuck. Of That's a violation. So, now, listen. Yeah, what, so what we do now, when they come running at us, <laughs> you just got to punch one of them, yeah? Say less, fam. I'll let you call the. I'll let you call the, the go. Yeah, you go. All right, fam, go, fam. Go, 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 go. Ah, right, yeah, we're going then. Michael. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a violation on my fam. Oh, oh got, no, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Right, so, right, it's all three in the middle. Right, you ready? I thought you yeah. said you played British Bulldog before. You two the first to get caught. Yeah. You're gonna show us, bro. Oh, man. Ah, uh, fam. Oh, Mad jet cool. lag, fam. Oh, Flew across the pond on a jet lag type thing beat in it. Are you ready? Yeah, be ready. Go. Allow it, fam. Go. Oh. On a Bulldog team, fam. Dickhead. Oh. You, you better. Hey, come here, you. <laughs> come on, man. Be, you meant to be British. Fucking fix up, man. Alright. Ready? Go! Are you not running? Go. Welcome to British Bulldog. That's British Bulldog. Nah, the John got hit first. You win, Matt. Oh, nah, fam, less. that took me back, fam. Yeah. What it's my people right here, bruv. My people. You say, what I other ones can we do? I'm laughing, my people, not. bruv. British Bulldog is a painful game. Winter time on the tarmac. I must say, though, yeah. Look, forgive me if this sounds rude, yeah, bro. Anyone else think this beard is just looking mad patchy? Nah, fam, that's a violation. Like, there's just something about this beard that ain't sitting right with me. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's got some sort of glare with the street light. Like, it's just. Nah, just man needs to get his eyes checked, fam. That's proper rude, fam. I do know what you mean, bro. Like, it's just under his bottom lip. Allow it, bro. It Allow patchy, bro. it, bro. Oh hey, shit! That's no, hey, watch it! That's, that's that is feeling loose. That you, just pulled away from his face. Are you wearing a fake beard? But bro, this guy can't grow a real one. Man's, man's, man's wearing a yeah. fake beard right now. Uh, so what if he is? Nah, give that, you fam, gotta give that a tug, bro. Give man. that a tug. Let me. Uh, uh, uh. 
Nah, it is, bro. It's a bit. <laughs> Man, oh, violent, no. man, violent, man, violent, man. Ski breath. What? No, oh, ow, what? ow, 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 fuck. Hey, what are you, what are you doing, you doing down, down here? here? Bro, what uh, are British in that? I don't hurt him. Hold on a minute. Who's this next to him then? You got some nerve coming down here, Mickey, right now, mate. <gasps> no no way. Relax, no relax, fuck. okay? Guys, it was, guys, leave him it was an infiltration type thing, type beat, yeah. okay? Jesus. Jesus Christ, Mickey. Come on. I can't Sun Tzu's Art of War, you have to know your enemy. True. Well, you got to know us in a game of British Bulldog, and I think we should now play a game of British Bulldog, but we should turn up the aggression a notch, and we'll give you a two-second head start to get running up that street, and then we're going to run you down as if we're playing British Bulldog, but we won't stop until you meet the ground. <laughs> stop! We have much better to run! Run, Wreckers, run! I'm trying to try! Run, run Wreckers! Ah, ah, this reminds me of the place <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck, oh fuck! Oh god! Now we can call it in. They're all asleep. Oh, well. <sighs> Too late. They're gonna run my man's pockets. Yeah, I fucking, I'm kind of fucking with the UK drill, by the way, chat. I got you, I got you. Gotta get out of here, man. I'll get the I'll get the ambulance. They roughed you up, man. I don't like British Bulldog, boss. It's not fun. God, I hated being British. That was the worst. No, right? I couldn't even Why do they the speak edge. like that? I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know at all. You can't even hear after things are saying. I don't even know what I was saying. They invented the English language and then they went and butchered it all over again. I know. It's terrible. They said they were smoking on that breakfast pack and then they put cigar ash above me.
Michael Manchester got ran out of the ends. Damn. Fuck, we took an L on Twatter too. Fucking ran us out, man. All right, well, here's my only problem, chat. And uh, for the YouTube comments. Yeah, what's going on? The last of us, you know? Get messed on now. Guys, how do we, how does this situation factor into our, to our, uh, our war, uh, overlay? Oh, fuck. We got down though. Oh my God. We were feeding, bro. Fuck. Fuck, dude, my KDA, our KDA, bro. Okay, it was the eco round, chat. That was eco round. Fuck. Turn's gonna update it for tomorrow. The numbers aren't right yet, chat, but we'll, we'll have a full, uh, we'll, we'll keep track of the, of the role plus four. Did they just leave us? Oh, fuck, hold on, let me grab them. We learned about the Bulldog game, chat. Hello? Where'd they go? EMS, this way. This way, this way, this way. That was fucking amazing. Right here. All right. He got beat up by some British roadmen. You know the, you know the type. Some British roadmen. Yeah. That's right. That is not good. Okay. I believe they called a violation ting. Does that even mean? I don't <gasps> know. But let's see. How much pain are you in, sir? Holy shit. Five. Five. Okay. Out of a you able to wiggle your fingers and toes? Yeah, I think so. All right, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I um, I'm just going to get you some bandages on. Road uh, go go. I cowboy? can't speak. I can't do that. I'm, um, we need to, hey, guys. If anything, dinosaur. Dinosaur. here's the thing. Right. Think about it this way. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It's gonna make them want to end the war. Because they're never gonna want to hear me speak with that accent again. All right, there's your dinosaur band-aid. Um, let's see. Uh, let's get some ice packs on you there, and then we'll go and uh, make sure you're all good at the hospital, okay? All right. All right. Let's Hello, it's loaded it up. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Do you mind if I ride along, sir? I do not mind. Oh, thanks so much. Hotel 276 Central Medical 147. That was fucking awesome, dude. I was fucking. That was exactly. That was the good so shit we wanted from that. Besides getting all beat up, how's both of your days going? I to be British. Absolutely sucks. terrible. I had to pretend to be British for the last two hours. I fucking hate you, it. You? Ha why did you have to pretend to be British? Long story. It made me hate the British people more. I don't actually. I feel like you know what they say: immersing yourself in one's culture gives you a newfound respect for them. I hate the British. Mm -hmm. I think oh. they. I think they're abominations. Um. I'm sorry, not no chat. No, you guys are great if you're British. I'm sorry. What, what qualities do they have to make them They don't even speak the own language they made up. They speak. Hello, it's from. Whatever that is. Wagwam? Yeah, I don't even know what that means. 
keep saying in it after mm. everything. Oh, in, in it. it. Oh, in well, it. go on in it. There's a lot of fans you do being say that tossed a lot. around. It's true. There's a lot of nah. <laughs> I can't buy. Yeah, exactly. Doink or whatever. Company stocks taking a piss. Yeah, yeah I, so. chat. I would agree that the company is down horrendous, right, but the content is Hi, up, going? and I only care about the content. So we got British, we got the British came. They attacked uh -oh. the okay. redcoats. Two by yeah. land and one by sea. So it's yeah, total, so he got huh? he, he got he got beat up. Uh, he's a bit bruised up. I got some ice packs on him and got him some bandages. Dude, L's are by far the best content. Alright, we took good care of you, and honestly, I just need to sit you up here, and you can be on your way if you are good to go. Appreciate it. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, anytime, yeah. Well, Doc, I didn't have to do much. Can you do me a favor? Uh-huh, what's going on? If any Pretty British nice. people come in here, don't yeah. help. Okay, I can send him to Kate. She's been drinking a lot today. Yes! Perfect. Okay, yeah. Thanks, there you go, Doc. you're all set. Anytime. Oh my God. Are you from Minnesota? I am, yeah. You know the place. Are you from there too, or? Well, uh... I've already butchered a million accents today, but I don't know the Minnesota one, but I know like the Minnesotan kind of Canadian, but also pseudo Canadian well, hockey accent. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, some people think it's uh, Wisconsin, maybe a Fargo, you know, Canada. Yeah. yeah it's close oh yeah, enough, you know, yeah, a bunch of the boys, out, uh, a bunch of the boys out there skating real hard, and uh, you know, just oh, trying to yeah. move the. So uh, you know it. Oh yeah, just trying to move the puck oh, up and down, yeah. you know. Well, I see, yeah, and I also like hoser, like a boat. Yeah, like a boot, or uh, a boot it, yeah, the fucking hosers. Uh, Put a couple little... of biscuit in the basket there, you know, top shelf. That sounds a little Irish. Ah, uh, fuck. You're getting there, though, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm from Mount Rose, though, you know, the Mall of America. We're up there. <laughs> from up there. Well, a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, you too, yeah, we'll see you around. I'm losing too. I, 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 Jesse's accent might be an abomination today, chat. Bunch of boys out there skating real hard. Hey, what, what, how many stars you got on the, on the most? Oh, excuse Hello. us, you know? Chat. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I don't really think we have anything major to cover today, Breckers. No, you're probably not. I mean, you know, we infiltrated. That was our big plan. Uh, that was the big plan. Good work. Oh, my God. Thank oh you. God. Honestly, fuck the British accent. I'm, I'm, I'm say that. I agree. You know? I oh. hope I never have to do it again. You got whip? No? What? You know, like you got the little skirt skirt? Drive out of here, pedal to the skirt. fucking middle. Sir, I don't know what it looks like, but I don't I don't do drugs. Drugs are for losers, and I believe in oh. dare. Yeah, no, drugs are bad. Winners oh, yeah. don't do drugs, Chad. Oh, it's Chow, I have you know. Okay. See you ladies later. Way to stand on business, Breckers. Good work. Yeah. Arcade games growing up. Oh, stop and get a phone. We're supposed to meet with Ari today. I do want to cover that and then, uh, yeah, that RP was fucking great though. I'm like, I, I've, listen, I, I want to be very clear. I feel like, I feel like the chat, I actually do think the chat has been really cool with this conflict and the, the manor guys have been amazing. Uh, I feel like it's actually been like a really good, I feel like it's been like a really good, uh, like actually really good vibes. That quote cooked. Okay, um, you need me with Ari, but other than that, I think it's fine. Okay. I 
nobody got my quotes. Sir, please tell me you got my quotes. Your what? What'd you say? Quotes, water. What was it? I, I regret that I have but one life to lose for my company. You get it, right? Damn. Just, it's a revolutionary war thing. <laughs> Uh, now nah, that's country that's country gas. Country. Listen, Breckers, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I actually think most people in the city are like really fucking dumb. Yeah, and I don't no. mean that in like a rude way. I mean like I just don't think they're like culturally or yeah. historically Hello? literate. Sorry, that I... made it sound worse. Hi, Ari. Let's meet. Mr. Sinclair. Okay. Uh, uh, where would you like to meet? Are you at your uh are you at your whatever it is, the stall? Selling? Uh no, I was there, but then I had to step away. Okay. Is it still open? Um, no, no, no. Should we meet there or elsewhere? Yeah, we'll meet there. Goodbye. All right, bye-bye. You have to hang up, though. Oh. Yeah, no, I know. That's right. It won't stop me. Too many good revolutionary war quotes. One day, they'll catch on. Yes, Mr. Kane. Oh, no. Mickey? What are we? Still got your running shoes on or you are you are you are showered and de sweated and did you collect breakers? Yes. Have you ever seen Top Boy? No. Well, spoiler alert, he got left in the bin like ats. Ats I is a is a uh young man that got stabbed and put into a bin i just had to do this stupid fucking accent for the last two hours you have no idea i, I don't even I, the sound of your voice is like nails on a chalkboard to me right now i want you to know that number one number two how the fuck did did it all come to this we were on great terms recently well that's actually one of the reasons i called i wasn't around yesterday i want to just talk to you wait you know What's the mindset? How's uh, how's it unfolded in your eyes? What's the you know what's the what's the spiel? Because obviously I, I've been filled in waking up today, but I'm trying to see what's going on here, you know. Fine, a proper meeting, neutral grounds. Yeah, you come alone. I come alone. Deal. No, you okay. can bring a, you can bring a plus one. I'll bring breakers. I won't even bring a plus one. I'll just, I'll just come solo dolo. Um, where where would you like to do this? Where's a good cinematic spot? Uh, civilian docks. Say no more. I will be there as soon as possible. Goodbye. We doing this right now? clothing store i need you to call ari and let her know that uh we have an urgent uh mission first okay. he said breckers basically minus one person breckers is uh not a threat yeah but chat breckers is the main character of 4.0 so Uh, we have a very urgent uh, meeting that we need to take right now, and then we're going to come to you right after this. Yeah, you think if I drop some of those? Oh, uh, I think usually civilian docks means the other side of this. Sorry, uh, back out and then go to our left. Yep. Okay. Oh, other way. You turn. You turn. You turn. Oh, I, oh, yeah. I just. Oh, oh, yeah. No, it just. Yep, and then straight, right? Just yep, and then take a right. I 
think is usually what people mean by this. Wreckers, do you have any cigarettes? Ah, fresh out. I go get some. Yeah, drop me off here. Go grab cigarettes. Okay, okay, I'll be back. If I come back and you're not here, I'll sound the alarms. I'll light the lanterns. Don't. Of course. No, I feel like Mickey. Mickey has a relationship with SK where like. He wouldn't trust like a, you know, there, there's certain degrees of like trust that Mickey has with some characters about whether or not they would actually betray him in a meeting or something. And it is about reputation, right? Like Mickey is known that he'll talk things out, you know? Also, this isn't a like Mickey's going to try to sue for peace. I hope for company viewers, this is not a Mickey goes and sues for peace. Because Mickey has to keep in mind what the other board members want. So that is a random helicopter. Guys, when you, uh, if I had to guess though, when you guys are like OTT was looking for them and they all hid, I, I have two, two things. Number one, I, I don't know how many of them are fucking awake, right? Who knows? And for all we know, they weren't actually hiding. I don't like guys. I don't like. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This uh, as soon as we get down these lines of conversations, this is where like I don't care about it as much. You know, I I don't care. Yeah, let's let's yap less and enjoy the RP more. What's good muting music for this? Are they in, are they in Dune? What do we think in chat? Chat, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what's like the, what's the tune? What's the vibe for this? I do like Dune soundtrack for intense conversation.
Imagine one of them calling Mickey and they are applying for the intern, for example. Um, if I, I think for this intern program, I expect people from other groups to try to infiltrate the intern program. And I will probably role play Mickey in a pretty anti, uh, anti meta way. And what I mean by that is like, someone from say the manor or someone from like chain gang or someone from you know some someone who's like a, a like not fully affiliated with the group is like put on to like be part of the intern program i will probably like not by anti-meta i mean like i will be very obli i'll have mickey be very obli oblivious to it just fall for it kind of thing yeah i would fall for it i would let the company get infiltrated by a spy because again at that point that just sounds like cool rp you know mr sinclair mr kate has arrived how's it going mickey sk good to see you well not really actually I was going to say likewise, but under these circumstances, I don't know if I can say likewise. Not the way I anticipated crossing paths on a Sunday, I'll be honest. But here we are. Well, let's bring it back to a Saturday. What happened from what you've been told? Because you know how these things go. Everyone tells you a different story. What's your side of the story, Sparky? Well, I wasn't there for starters, but... From what I know. I know, some belongings were taken off of a uh, an ex-king. I believe he was at the money run spot or something like that, right? And he got got robbed, got a got a civilian gun took off him or something, right? That's what I heard as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're aligned there. Now, I guess the question is from there. Obviously, that's just the bullet points, right? OTT, robbed of a civilian gun. What's the energy after that on your side of the field, you know? Like, I'm assuming that was a big deal for the king. Um, it was. I spoke to Matt. As Matt described it to me, he said that it was nothing deep. It was just a, a lick, an opportunity. And our energy after that was, that's fine. We will take this opportunity to respond with how we see fit. The thing is, for a long time, SK, the company has had to operate with our tail tucked between our legs because we did not have sufficient firepower. Now we do. And so we are changing how we operate. Especially when it comes to a board member, we don't want them being robbed, pressed, etc. So if they are, we have to respond. Do you understand? So would you say you're uh, streetifying the company? No, I'd say we're protecting our assets. King is an asset. Boy, can that guy sing. I know, the Cream Pie Remix is a truly remarkable, albeit concerning with its lyrics. But I digress, that's not the point here. You understand what I'm getting at, though. I understand what you're getting at. And it's not just gangs that shoot people. SK. Oh, no, 100%. Many you should people look at, get you shot should, and many you people should, shoot. You should look at what Nestle does. As in this, like the fucking cereal company? No, the water company. They hire entire warlords to do work for them. They have full-on military operations. 
Oh, it is the same company? Wow. Oh. Oh, it is actually the same company, I think. The cereal. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah I, I thought so. It was the cereal. So I, 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 I've been doing some observations since I've been present, right? I wasn't around yesterday, but I've had the filling in today, and I've, I've seen a couple bits and bobs this, this morning, right? I see two sides of the coin, and I see you on one side, and I see your associates on the other. I don't, I don't think you're a, I don't think you're a, a person that wants violence. I think that's not hard to see. But I think you've got a lot of hungry individuals who do want violence on the other side of the coin. So right now it's a little, it's, it's a little, you know, pulled in one direction from you, but pulled in another direction from the others. No, no. Let me be very clear here. While I am a board member who is least inclined to violence, and yes, if I ran the company as sole CEO, I would avoid it at all costs, but I am not the sole board member. And there are others to consider. And given the fact that I have to think about the wishes and desires of the entire company, despite being the least prone to violence, I agree with this decision. In fact, I was the one who woke up and immediately said, we don't even need to wait for Benji. We can retaliate as we see fit. Mm. Okay. So I guess my question is, right? Obviously, you, you, you are protecting your assets. Was that not something you, you was doing prior? Because you obviously said now you've got guns. That's, things have changed, right? Yeah, the scale of retaliation has changed. Okay. Um. So what was the, at the time, there must have been a resolution laid out, right? I'm pretty sure I heard a, they, the, the OTC wanted his gun back in five grand or something like that, right? Like a, a fee for damages, I guess you could say. I think he had money taken off him as well as his uh, gun. Mm. I'll be honest with you. In all of these sorts of conflicts, people are way too focused on material assets. It's actually interesting coming from a company man myself. I could care less about that. What I care about is the respect is actually the biggest issue. That's why we have to respond this way. If we don't, what's to stop NG Ramos from being robbed, Raymond Romanoff, or even myself. As I discussed with the board members, an action against us needs a swift and severe response. I mean, I would do the same thing vice versa, right? I think, I th I think a lot of it lies with the, the issue with respect, right? And I've seen this with a lot of people we have connections with and also people that had connections with us. There's a big difference between organization respects respect and individual respect i think there's a lot of individuals within your organization that have respect because you know we cross paths a lot more i would say ott is one of them people that hasn't crossed paths with you know us mana boys that frequently to have built the respect that we've got for others i'd love it to be the latter but I think, can you really fully respect the entire organization when you only truly know a handful of them? You know, earning respect to me as a scientist is built up over time and acquired. Well, I think respect can be earned in many ways. One of those ways is over time. And we've actually had good, I think, Albeit we don't really operate on too many business agreements with you. I think there's never been friction between us and the manor before. But I'll agree, we haven't really built up any sort of businesses, relationships, etc. Or crossed paths too much to build up that respect. The academy being, you know, my sort of project, not necessarily a company project. However, respect can also be earned 
based on the type of response to disrespect. We see this as a sign of disrespect and we have to respond accordingly. I would say, right. That's kind of how we have to do it, right? I agree. But the friction thing is actually not fully true. You have a, uh, a cow, right? It is, yo. Yes, Mr. Mao. Mm-hmm. Let me enlighten you to some context. Mr. Mao, what's his, what's his sort of affiliation? Is he a, is he a company guy or is he just Absolutely. a guy? Oh, he is a company guy. Well, that doesn't help what I'm about to say. Um, a few days ago, Mr. Deadass, yo, took hostage uh, a good friend of mine, Matthew Antov. I'm sure you know Matt. You know Matt, very uh, obvious, relatively well-known manor member. Um, I do. Where he disclosed to Cal that he was the manor. And are you sure you want to take us hostage with a manor? To which he said, okay, and took him hostage anyway. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't have taken you guys hostage. I wouldn't have took a company member hostage. Uh, oh, see there, you and I might have disagreements. See, I consider that a <clears throat> life in Los Santos. See, there's certain kinds of violence or threats of violence that are personal and some that I see as more uh, impersonal. Even I've been uh, taken I, hostage I uh, for a bank job before. I actually found it rather thrilling. Yeah, I don't think... Hot, uh, like, I don't disagree with the whole that's life in Los Santos thing. But I do also think like, for example, right? I know full well if you guys needed a hostage for a laundromat and you saw Rami running down the road, you wouldn't grab him. You know, there's certain people that you wouldn't take as a hostage. So if it's not personal, then it needs to be a situation where that applies to everybody. Because if I see you not taking those people hostage and then you're happy to take my people hostage, from my angle, you obviously have less respect for us than you do for them. You know what? You make a great point, and I agree with you. The example I gave, though, still uh, applies, and it really depends on the person. And there's sort of a... I don't know. You could even say a sort of tier of respect here. For instance, I said it's impersonal. doesn't matter. I wouldn't take you hostage for a job. This is true. Just like cow, I wouldn't take you. Yeah, cow taking Matt, though... Well, that calculus might be different. And if it was different, why was this never brought to any of the board members? To be honest, I think it was a situation where it was kind of a, well, this happened, but we got a lot of other shit going on right now. So it wasn't really at the forefront. But then obviously, I would, I would say that that made the boys more inclined to go ahead with what they did to OTT. I think had that not happened, OTT probably wouldn't have been touched. Understandable. See, I had no idea about this with Cal. If I had been there, and because I know Matt, I wouldn't have... Uh, Matt is someone who I wouldn't have taken hostage. You're right. But at the end of the day, that escalation from Cow, who probably doesn't know who Matt is, taking Matt hostage, presumably because, like I said, that's life in Los Santos. You know how it can be. Sometimes you need a hostage right in the moment, even if you have no intention of you know, really hurting them. But to go from that to then robbing one of our board members? Well, you see the predicament it puts me in i understand you're in between a rock and a hard place i, I, I could see that I can, not I can particularly see actually this is a very easy decision for me and what's the decision 
But I've told you. We're going to use this as an opportunity to show why doing that is a bad idea. Okay. My question to you is when's that going to happen? Because thus far, Brecker's been in a bin. Uh, I'm not one to keep score, but... um, You know a guy named Ricky? I do know a guy named Ricky. Yeah, I hope his gunshot wounds are uh, healing. I was actually the one who treated him on scene. You shot Ricky. Not me, personally. I detest shooting guns. You can thank me, though. I saved his life. He was bleeding out in the street. I wish that was Ricky's first bullet. That man is... He's close to my heart. I won't lie to you there. Shooting Ricky is... It makes me feel a type of way. Yeah, and I've had people shot. It makes me feel a type of way as well. But I believe he is on a steady recovery. And as it happens, I think we took another gun today. From Swan, who actually, I believe, is the person that actually gets you guys your civilian guns. Yeah, that one I'm not particularly happy about. The thing is, company has a lot of people involved with it, which is great when it comes to, you know, the Sandy Shores, you know, weed stuff, you know, other avenues. But it also means there's lots of loose lips. While we do have a lot of people, and while maybe it's true, potentially there's loose lips, potentially there's not, you had a moment of Benji Ramos being around the other day. Raymond Romanoff has been out of town on a business trip. But let me tell you, I mean, I pray for you. When Ray comes back, oh, that man has been itching for this for so long. Oh, his propensity for violence is unmatched. Ray Romanoff has had to endure so many slights to his character, insults to him, and he's had to tuck his tail between his legs. And now, the softest person in the company, Mickey Sinclair, is going hands-free and saying, do what you want, Ray. And he has an arsenal of guns to use. Oh, he's going to be ravenous. How big's the arsenal? Big enough. Big enough to throw away a crate. So it must be pretty hefty. Oh, it's interesting that you bring that up. How you so? See, you see the way companies work is there's certain things known as expected losses Walmart doesn't stop people from shoplifting because they don't need to it's actually a bigger risk and liability for them to do that so people just shoplift and they consider it part of their expenses so you see yourself as Walmart when it comes to buttcoin, yes. I think it's no secret. We have an incredible operation. So if the cost is buttcoin, why would I ever care if I'm just spending buttcoin 
cryptocurrency. Why would I care? We give away a few uh, crates that we don't really want to fight over. Because the more important part there is why fight for a crate when we don't have guns? But I assure you, we did secure guns and now we'll happily fight. I mean, I was just going off what you told me, right? With the whole, we need to do this to you guys to show that, you know, we can't be messed with. I have a question, Sparky. What would you do? This is a great In a scenario. Oh, Wait, company interview. Yeah, company interview question. Sparky Kane, I've now promoted you to be CEO of the company. One of your board members was robbed despite identifying himself. What do you do? You're talking about this, the situation we're in, not the crate thing. The situation we're in, correct. If one of my boys got a gun took off him, 100% I'm spinning. I would never deny that. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't know why you're doing what you're doing. I 100% get it. But that doesn't change anything for me, you know? The game's the game. You're from the South. Tough life in the South. You gotta be, you know, either. Ooh, I have a good question for or you. food. I have a good question for you. Let's say you have a massive supply of cryptocurrency to buy ammunition crates. Your operation, let's say you only have one, maybe two firearms though that you can use to secure it. And uh, you realize that there's another group that is going to contest that crate. What do you do? Do you contest it with the two guns? Even though you know that the group that you're going against likely has way more, possibly waiting in an ambush? What would you choose in a leadership position there, Sparky? Based off of prior scenarios, we turned two guns to four with the exact people that you're referencing. So I would apply the same logic once more. We had two guns and we managed to get four off them. Things can be done properly. Oh, sure, sure. How did you uh, do it against them? It was, a, it was an ambush. Well, now, isn't that peculiar? So you're telling me that an ambush is a type of situation where you even at a disadvantage, can turn it into an advantage. Huh. I think you might have misheard me, SK. Sorry, you're not the one ambushing them. They're likely ambushing you. Does that change your calculus at all? It does make things different, but <laughs> I could argue that, you know, I wouldn't have put myself into a situation where I'm doing an ammo crate with only two firearms. Preparation goes a long way, you know? Fair enough. I actually agree with you there. I agree with that. Except for the oh, fact look, that, you know, we I'm, have I'm infinite butt here. coin to waste, so. Hey, butt coin here, butt coin there. Everyone got <laughs> butt coin. Like, I'm not here. We to, actually don't, though. That's a bluff. To, to, to talk on how you guys have been operating or any of that stuff, right? I don't care about none of that here for us what's going on with us right now now i've heard talks that there's something put on the table a clause to to you know walk our separate ways and capiche i haven't heard that directly from the source Oh, I would say, uh, return OTT's gun 
and Swan Delure's gun. As a sign of respect and good faith. Okay. That's what you put to the table on your side. And I don't I don't think I think it's pretty clear, you know, we're not gonna meet a conclusion for this today. Which is which is fine. I will will put the offer up on my side of you hash it out. What's took was took. I believe my boys, you know, had their pockets ran yesterday. And that's just where it lies. And I know you're not going to agree to that right now. It would be stupid for you to do so. But. That's where my head would be at. Yes, losses I do losses. believe Benji Ramos. Um, we move <clears throat> forward. Yeah, Benji did some. I will even apologize and say Benji did sort of act in a way that I don't particularly agree with with what he stole. He will be returning that um, to Ricky, I believe. That's good because he has had no contact with his baby mom in like 24 hours. He's fucking worried as shit right now. Mickey doesn't know he gave it back. I think SK. The bigger thing is not even what is returned or not returned. It's like I said, there has to be some understanding of respect in this situation. That's where OTT feels slighted. As I would also. But much like great boxers, you can get in a ring with someone and you can come out with a lot more respect. I don't think it's an agreement we'll reach today. Ooh, that was a good line. You know, I wanted to touch base, have a speak with, uh, with someone that's one of the heads of the company. We'll see what tomorrow brings. You know, if you anytime you want to do these, I will always pull up by myself for a conversation. Fine. We'll speak again tomorrow. Timing. Appreciate the company. Breckers. Trousers are too short, but that's okay. Damn. I believe they call that a violation ting right there. Breckers, he violated you. <laughs> Breckers, if you're speaking, I can't hear you, Breckers. Oh, I was. I got, I just got these pants. They're in style. Violation ting. Oh, man. Uh, Let's go. Do you drive here? British. Yeah, yeah, we drove here. Damn, that was a great scene. Oh, cool. Nice four wheeler. Thank you, Breckers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, plus one. Awesome. Adios, boys. Bye bye. Oh, he called me in the middle of the meeting. Should have picked up. Who did? Uh, Matt. His plus oh. one. Oh. Bjorn, finally. Finally. We're always calling each other when we're in heckin' meetings. Where are you? So, uh, we're, uh, I'm test driving some vehicles with Delver right now. Oh, tell Delver I said hi. Mickey says hello, Delver. Actually, he says hi, not hello. What you up to? Um, currently having a meeting. Well, I'm about to go to another meeting with one of my uh, associates, but I'll be free after that. Okay. Well, just wondering, uh, you know, what you've been up to lately, specifically in Polito. Yes, we need to speak about that. Bjorn, I need your uh, <clears throat> discretion with that. 
I understand. I mean, you got it. I'm not going to be yapping, but you know, I was uh, on my roof the other day and I He's watched honest. you and Fiona and Benji and other people run in and out of these two houses that Reggie owns back and forth a bunch. And, you know, just wondered what's up. Yeah, um, we should meet about that. All right, hit me up when you're free. I'll be around. Okay, we will do. Goodbye. Later. Fake cigarette. I do it to get into character as Mickey. I don't know why I walked in that way. Oh, we could play it out that it's the Yu-Gi-Oh club. She's on her way. Chat, I think the uh funny these booths are open. The one thing the one thing that is like okay. Like I, I think the thing that like I truly believe in that is hard for some people to believe in is let's say the company does get into a big firefight with the manor and we get clapped and we lose like four guns and we don't have any guns. Then I think we have like we have to surrender at that point. And I think that people have to be okay with not never ending war. I think we need to like I think it's okay to to bow out and say and, and be like, well we've lost. You know? Well, but like, you know what I mean? But like at that point, I think it's like we, we, on that situation, we take the L and we sue for peace, you know? Well, like chat, like, cause again, I, I feel like, I feel like at a certain point, it's okay. Like we should be like, correct if I'm wrong, chat, shouldn't anyone go into a conflict? Like basically like OOC, you as a streamer should be like, what are the terms of our, of us losing, right? If I'm in a conflict, what are the terms of us losing? You know? This is Sinclair. Right this way, Ari. I'll explain this later. Okay, uh, can we open up and speak inside? Oh, yes. If you lose the war, okay, okay, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. Can't we just, but like, if you lose the war, other gangs will see the key, companies the weakest in the city. Can't we lose the war? Like, should, what do you mean? So we just can't lose the war? So what, we just fight the war until what? What do you mean you can't, like, we have to be able to lose the war in RP. Like, I need to speak with Ari. Let me speak with Ari and then we'll talk about this. Sorry, lots of thoughts going on in my head. Oh, no worries, sir. Um, Ari, what is all this about you wanting to sell group six cards to Jean Paul? Talks about you working with chain gang, stuff like that. What's going on, Ari? Uh, that is not true, sir. So what happened was, I was working the booth the other day, and I got a call. And, like, it was a number that I didn't know, and it turned out to be Rami. And he was trying to act like he was somebody I knew. And I have never met the man ever. He was like, oh, Ari, long time no see. How are you? And... No way I we're going to fire her over Rami doing fucking bait calls. He wants some cards or something. Which, you know, I guess we get them from like G6 because a lot of my friends have them. Uh, but I don't know what the heck they're for. So I hung up on him and I was trying to hire somebody to come work the booth. And then I did get a call from John Paul, which I have not heard from this man 
basically since that courthouse incident. And he was talking also really weird to me, like uh, asking me how my life was and a lot of... It felt weird. He's never spoken to me that manner. And Kao was with me. And, you know, I kind of was nudging Kao to say me. I don't know what the heck this man wanted. And then he slipped up. He told me that my friends were in danger. All the friends he mentioned that were in danger were right next to me. And then I knew something was up. So I tried to fish for why they wanted these things. But he wouldn't give it, essentially. So after that, I essentially hung up on him and I told Cal about it. And Cal told me that he can't really tell me anything and that I should talk to Ray. So I called Ray, but he didn't answer. So I immediately left the booth because they knew I was at the booth. And I called Benji and I told him everything about the situation, about the Rami call, the JP call, and about the key cards. And that was it. I didn't understand where the impression that I was selling cards to CG when you full and know like Mr. K does not like me what why would I even be True. remotely talking or dealing with them you know I, I I understand I guess Rami is a part of them but I don't understand how I fit into that picture okay I believe you on this incident and stuff to be clear Ari there are reports of misconduct regarding you the biggest one is misconduct? that yeah in a sense of you bad mouthing the company saying that the company doesn't do anything for you etc i have not said that if this is regards to what Kyle and i spoke about he told me that basically things are done for brownie points and i don't personally feel that is appropriate in the sense that I told him that the company does not care about me in the sense that illegal stuff is illegal stuff and business stuff is business stuff. But the things are separate, you know? I didn't know what this key card was or the value of it and nobody, you know, thought to tell any of us. And now I'm understanding that it's a legal thing that we acquired from G6. Had I known this, I have so many friends sitting on so many of them, I would have been procuring those things and snatching it up before those calls started going around. But if we don't know this stuff, it is hard to help, you know? And it sucks because I know you know for sure that I tried so hard to be useful, come up with different ideas and things. I, and I, I realized listen, that- Ari, I, Ari, I agree with you that we need a better job about communication, especially when it's something where the few members of the actual legal operation of the company can help with specifically would have been the G6 cards. Yes, I agree with you, but you, you have to understand this. Uh, this is why I was happy that you were running this stall because. And I'm happy. I'm not even mad. There's Again, the I thing think... is there's so many things that pull push and pull me daily in every direction that I have to attend to that. I need people who can be go getters and sort of help themselves. Me. And if you say, from what Cow said, and you're asking, what has the company done for me? You have this booth because of Cow. But I didn't even say that. That's the fucking problem. And you know what? The, the, the annoying part is, is that if I'm talking to Cow and keeping everything in house, why is he going and making up lies? Because now we're now we're getting to the point where we're lying. Because I told you the context of what I said, in which he was just talking about brownie points. I don't see this as a brownie point. I finally have something. I'm here working my ass off when I can. And what do I do? I don't blow up your phone because if you need something from me, I know you will come to me. Whether that's money, resources, info. When have I not done that? And if he wants to go and fucking lie, that is a shame. Because whenever he had problems with other board members, I have been there for him and guided him. When he was bad mouthing Benji, did I go and run to Benji? I told him, hey, you know what, Noka? I understand where you're coming from. But knowing how Benji is, I think you should call him and work things out. Ooh. If he wants to take something I said because I don't agree that things should be brownie points and kissing ass to people, then you know what? Fuck him. That's that's wrong. I see this. OTT said this is a fucking family. Make it make sense. If no, I can't talk to my a, own people, it's a I company. Settle down and watch your language. First of all, 
it sounds like we need to have an HR meeting and, and hash this out with you and Cal. Agreed. I thought, I thought he was somebody I could trust. And he's out here saying things that I didn't even say. And you know, I, I, it, I feel like some days I'm just walking on fucking eggshells, you know? And I just, it got, it just got so bad. I just, you know, come here, She's halting. work the booth, do G6, and just lay low. If people need me, I'm, I'm there. But accusations like this, and if this is seriously coming from Cal, he... This was a hard line. For, for someone I've been there for through so much. I... It's hard, you know? People are gonna say whatever, and to, you know, to your face. True company toxicity. What are they doing behind oh your back? I was thinking about things too, you know. In this that is regards. this is so good. It's like a real company. I love it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm just a little. No, no. It's I know the other the, our workplace last drama, Ari, and I do think no. that we'll have to settle this by bringing Cow and you in talk this and hash this out i agree but i remember the last time we had an issue like this i guess you said it was i there was some sort of misunderstanding from benji or something i don't know uh, me talking back to breckers but i have a gift if breckers thinks i talk bad about his back i really want him to see what i've done behind his back for him Just tape you were in the ICU, and I never got the chance to give this to you. Yeah, watch it. What did Breckers just text me? But I feel like it. things have been busy, and I haven't gotten the chance to, but I think it's important that you have it now. Oh my gosh, sir. You can look at this. All right, I didn't know you did this for me. Breckers, we, especially the interns, you guys were my family, my my place. Yeah, That's why this hurts Breckers. so much. Yeah. Of course, we're gonna have our frustrations, and things are not gonna go yeah. the way we want them to. But at the end of the day, we only have yeah, each other's backs, Breckers. and if we can't come to each other, what who else do we have? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yes. <sighs> Why, why do you want to stay in the company? Oh, okay. Oh, is, is he okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, stumbling. What is it about, like, the company that makes you want to stay? Like, why? Why? Why are you here? I'm just curious. You know, when I first joined the intern program, I had mm -hmm. zero goals, really. Like, I didn't even know why I joined it. But then coming together with everybody and just seeing them with their goals and aspirations and stuff it was admirable you know i wanted to i like Ari. everybody's dreams in the way that i could and that was through my own dream you know back mm -hmm. when we were interns i had already crafted this business plan this was something i was gonna do with the nad and you know other interns who you know unfortunately are no, no longer around but yeah. in my mind, I want to carry on their their memory and be successful in a way that I can. And I think my work speaks for that, you know? I work really hard on this business because this is a way that I could help out. I don't want to do anything illegal, you know, none of that criminality. But if I could make money and support and help my friend's dreams, isn't that not, is that not a win-win? No, no, I think it is. I mean, it's, you know, it's admirable cause. And you think you can do that best with the company? It's not even the company. It's the it's everyone in the company. Mm -hmm. We could right. be, I don't know, a Mickey Incorporated. Yeah. It's the people. Okay. All right. Good to know. Listen, I think we're going to need to bring you and Cal together to discuss this and sort this out but for what it's worth 
Ari, I've actually been very proud of you and your work that you've been doing here. And I wanted the company to renew um, the, sh the sushi stop for you. I appreciate it, sir. I I've been really working hard and I know Kao was busy with war yesterday, but you know, I have all the whole new full menu and uh, we have the the lottery ready to go. You know, that's what I've been working on hard, you know? Do you know how much, uh, not to you know bring this around to numbers, but do you know where you're at as far as revenue goes? I haven't heard from Kao, you know, so it's kind of hard to say and we can't keep track and at least for logistics pur uh, purposes for me, it makes things difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and just take a gander and adjust prices, you know? I figure we're probably profitable. And you should also be earning some of that profit for yourself. Um, I, I, I don't see it that way, you know? I, I just want my employees paid and then I want to help out the company, you know? The, I hired January the other day. Uh, she only worked 10 minutes, but on principle for still helping out, I gave her 5,000. That is our quota price. So, you know, uh, I want If you got January... If you got January to work for 10 minutes, I uh, that's already great, so. She was making a lot of sales. Actually, I'm kind of proud of her, you know, but I want to encourage other company members if they're struggling that they can come here and work for, you know, as long as they can or even as little and, you know, they will be supported. Yeah. So, I'm I'm trying my hard my hardest to do my part, you know, and uh yeah, I'm sorry. This this was just that was that's just this a lot. You know, I put a lot of faith in Kai. I mean, we're we're in business together. Okay. I would say this. We're gonna help you and Cal resolve it and figure out what is best going forward. Keep uh, again, just keep your ambitions high. Keep working here at the sushi stand. Do whatever other jobs. I know you hang out with Benji a lot. Go and do all of that stuff. Just I think the best part or the best advice I can ever give you of being in the company is be in it, call people, reach out to them, go and do things with whatever's going on. Or now that you have your own operation, bring people into this because what you've created here is actually amazing. And between this and Archie Nudes, we're basically dominating the food industry. Yeah, it's just a little, a little difficult with the illegal side, you know? I know they're very busy and I try not to get in their hairs and stuff, but Archie and I, we... We're here pretty much together all the time, you know? And Kyle will come by through, you know, when he's not doing his toe. So uh, I, I just hope maybe the illegal side, maybe if they have more downtime, could come through. I wouldn't mind them working or just even hanging out. I mean, you know, we typically, we just feed them, you know? I don't charge them. I pay myself out of pocket. Okay. Well, thank you for meeting with me. There will have to be a follow-up meeting where we talk with you and Cal. I hope that you understand that. I concur. All right. Thank you so much, Ari. No problem. Good luck yeah. and good work yeah. today. Thank you. Bye, Ari. Thank you for showing me that video. It actually does open my eyes. Uh, Breckers, I'm going to be honest with you. It's just a whole other... I feel like it's just a whole other mess of miscommunication. I don't know. I agree to an extent, sir. I feel like I shouldn't weigh in on this one. I feel like I'm too biased. Look, I can't come at this with a clear head because this all sounds very familiar. But that doesn't mean that it's, you know, that it's the truth or anything. It's just... All right, what are we doing next? That's it. Uh, as far as things we've planned, um, Fiona's calling me. Hey, what up, Fiona? Oh, tell her I couldn't answer her call earlier. I was in a meeting. Oh, Bjorn. Uh, good, good. Mickey couldn't answer the phone earlier. He was in a meeting. Yes, still in the war. Um... Yeah, still keep a low profile on things. Uh, right. Avoid anybody with the British accent. 
Oh. Well, except for yourself, Fiona. I mean, you can hang out with yourself, of course. Right. British are coming. Yeah, lanterns are lit. One by air, two by sea. Or two by land, one by sea. One of those. Anyways. She's I sent it. Uh, she needs to sign it. It's in her contracts. Yep, just have her sign it for me. Right. Do you want us to bring her into the company? Should we bring this up with the board? Bring who? Fifi's assistant, Alice. Sure. She wants an assistant. Yeah. Let's meet her and interview her. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thanks, Fiona. Okay. All right, bye. Uh, yeah, so she's currently just Fiona's assistant. I had her sign an NDA just in case any information was leaked. Uh, you know, because if she's Fiona's assistant, she's gonna, you know, probably hear crossfire of things. Um, we don't, uh, Fiona doesn't know if she wants to join the company. I don't see why she wouldn't at this point. Um, I'm gonna give her a call and see if she's, see what her vibe is. You can go meet her. You can get your, your read on her. See what you think. XBSK? No. X Seaside? No. X Rust? New, completely no. Com completely new. Wait, completely new and a woman? And a woman, yeah. She's hired. Yeah, I, I know, right? I know. She's great, too. She's really great. All right, well, whatever she calls me. Uh, other than that, though, we've completed our uh, list of things for today. So, we're good. I have no idea when this war is going to end, but... Gotta watch me back. Oh! Do we want to do suit shopping with Swan? Yes. Okay. Let's go to a... Let's go to, like, the... Let's go to, like, the, uh... What are the... Paywall. We'll go to this paywall. Um, uh, when are we meeting, uh, Fifi and, uh, her assistant, or is that later? Uh, calling him, calling him right now. Alice, how's it going? Alice? Oh, question. Okay, good. Question, Alice. Um, do you have any interest in joining the company? What does that mean? Do you want to have a do you want to do you want to have a brief introduction meeting with me and Mickey right now? Just so we can get to know you a little bit better. Yeah, where are you at? Well, the board votes on everything, but yesterday was war without discussing it with anyone. Why? Um, I think the board sort of. I think if anyone was to say no to war, there uh, it would have been Mickey. Okay, it's at Legion Square. Right. And Mickey kind of just made a uh, executive call to just go uh, for it. I would say because it was a code no, red situation. We can't always have like everyone around the vote. Away, you know what I mean? I personally believe that if you're gonna do yeah. like fucking um Exactly. Okay, you come to Legion Square Park. I, I personally think that if you're gonna do like uh She's coming conflict, it's best show. to like do it immediately. That's the whole like to train a dog, you have to like you have to know hey, exactly Fiona. why. Uh um, can't let it wait. We're gonna have a quick intro uh, meeting with Alice. Oh chat, I was gonna talk we never gotta talk about the the war okay, okay. So here's what I'm saying. When you enter, like, okay, we're in GTA role play. Okay, remember it's role play. Shouldn't the company have lose conditions for the war? You know what I mean? Like, and people in chat were disagreeing. They're like, well, if the company loses, they'll be the weakest crew in the city. It's like, well, but yeah, but like, we should be able to lose. Right? Like, I, I, I it's a weird thing. It's like. Can't, like, I feel like groups in the city need to accept that they can lose a conflict. That's a bad mindset to go into conflict with is all. Is it? 
No, 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 no. I, I, maybe I'm not like. It's like um. Chiti and Alice are on their way. It's. Let me put you this way. If Wreckers holds Mickey up with a gun, I have to go into that RP scenario that Mickey can die, right? Is that do? Okay, Mick, uh, Breckers holds a gun to, to Mickey, or some ran, let, not even use Breckers. Some some gangbanger comes up and pulls a gun on Mickey. Do I have to role play that Mickey can die? Like, do I have to? Am I under the assumption the character can die, right? So then, like, why wouldn't in a war or a conflict you have to be under the assumption that like? I either feel like you have to be willing to perma you I think you either have to be willing to surrender the war or perma your character. Maybe that's another thing, right? It's like you either need to have a in your mind as a role player, you have to have a like reasonable points where you will surrender the war or you'll perma your character. Would you guys agree with that? The conditions are if you lose the war. What does lose the war mean, right? Like, I guess, like, for instance, let's let, let me put it this way. Given the number of guns that we have, right? If we got into a big conflict with the manor tomorrow and our guys all got gunned down and we lost all those guns and, like, they fucked us up, then I would want Mickey to sue for peace and be like, listen, we're clearly not... I, and the, the, the role play around it would be, we're clearly not prepared to take on a street organization such as you guys... We want this over, right? Like, why would, like, it, doesn't that not make sense? It does for Mickey, but I feel like I, this is one of those where, like, shouldn't it kind of be that way for other characters, too? Shouldn't the legal side listen to the illegal side about how to go about the war shit, though? I'm not talking about in role play. I'm talking like an OOC thing, right? Like, I guess, I guess what I'm asking you, Chad, is like, am I like, am, am I? Maybe I'm just really dumb. I just, I'm, I'm like, I'm more like, I think characters should be okay with losing. You know, like, you have to be able to lose. Otherwise, right? Like, you know what I mean, it's not really about like how you operate in a war. It's like, like at, at what point, like for instance, if you lose a gunfight and we don't have guns, do we just like how do we keep yeah, fighting them? Yeah, we'll stop with the clothing store. Okay, okay, we'll come get you. Yeah, yeah. We buy more guns. Hello. I hate not having a driver's license. It's miserable. Okay, miserable. and then what happens if we lose those what do you guns? Need to do to get it back? I have 28 points. I have to wait the 30 day period for the we lose the next fall off fight. until it's below 20. Oh, God. And I have no way to even check it without calling the cops. County clerks can't check it? They can? Yes. So, oh. cops and county clerks. Your you first thought is to give up if you take clerks. an L. Ooh. Yeah. Three drops. yeah. Oh, right I think if it's a substantial L, I think you right, give up. Alice. She's on her way, though. I think if it's a big enough L, I wouldn't you get? Wouldn't you like that's where you surrender? Like, isn't that kind of like? Or like, do you just fight in perpetuity? What is this? Oh, I got this one. 
I, I, I maybe, maybe this is why I'm bad at war RP, right? Like what? Like, I mean, like don't get me wrong. I think you can take an L and then keep fighting. Like for instance, you can. They fucked up some people. Okay, we keep fighting. Well, like I think at a certain point, it's got like at a certain point, it's like, like okay, you know, what? I'm gonna ask in really simple terms. Chat, at what point am I like? Am I playing Rust and I'm I'm scaving, right? You know, like... I, you seem way too eager to lose every time there's a conflict. I'm gonna turn that around on you. I think other role players are way too unwilling to lose. Let me flip that on you. I don't think it's that I'm too eager. I think other role players are not eager enough. Hey, Mickey. Uh, Hello, Glorin. Great to see you. I'm just saying, like, shouldn't, like, when I... Able to meet about later? Yes, that would be great. Yeah, but, like, anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have to handle this meeting first, and then we can. Okay. I'll, I'll let Bajon know. Well, I've taught all the time that mm. you are real, so... Yeah. Right, like, chat, like, there's a certain number of rounds to win a Valorant game. How many rounds do you need to win a GTA War? Oh, you have overtime like but like should it be a is it a time thing is it a week or like i think people need to like i think All people right, need to so look for well. a good opportunity Alex, pause this conversation pause chat spam this better. clear the yeah, chat with emotes yeah. and then we'll start this conversation yeah, afterwards pumping out fifi a lot just one of our you know um, best assets out there so just want to get to know you and uh, see what's see a little bit more new about scene new scene well we'll just i'll discuss it later you guys are chill okay. about it um, once you go first, I guess, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm, my name is Alice Oman. I am from the East Coast. I was a part of a motorcycle club until like two months ago. Uh, and now I primarily help Fifi with things. I'm sorry, what Hello. did you say your last name was? Oman. Miss Oman. Are you, or were you currently, previously, in another life, or at any time, a member of BSK? Nope. Were you ever a member of the association known as Rust? Nope. Were you ever a member of the association known as Seaside? Nope. That's good enough for me, Breckers. Perfect try. That's, that's, yeah, that's a Congratulations, day, you're that's hired. Good. 10 out of 10. Uh, okay, well. Hired as what? As your assistant, Fifi. She's already hired as my assistant. Well, now you're assistant, but with company privileges. Like officially, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Alice. Oh. Yes. Uh, I mean, if you're going to be an assistant with Fifi, I think it's important, like Mickey was saying, that, uh, you know, you know, get to talk to the rest of the uh, company members, you know, get to know us all a little bit better because okay. uh, we're willing to help you. Um, obviously, I mean, we're willing to help all of each other. And, you know, Fiona uh, does a lot of work, great work for us and stuff. So mm -hmm. as much as we can help both of you guys out is always a good thing. Uh, so, you know, please, please okay. reach out to our Sweet. people. Miss Oman, on a more serious note, what are your mm -hmm. aspirations besides just assisting Fifi? What do you do in the city? What do you like to do? Who do you hang out with? Go. Um, I am a person that likes to know things and understand things. Um, I like, Ooh, I like hacking. That. That's my probably my favorite pastime in the city. I do shopping pretty regularly and roof running. Uh, interested in in kind of progressing that a little bit, I suppose. Oh my, my God! Interest. We need to be feed. We need hackers. Mm, we do. It's true. It's true. Um, but I hang out with a few different people, I suppose. 
Who are your friends, Miss Hillman? Um. Not a trick question. Not a trick question. Uh, no. My best friend is Lainey, president of the Raiders. That's uh, him. Yeah, Beverly's ex-wife. Oh. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a wife? Yeah. Twenty-four hours. She's a lesbian. Didn't work out. Can see why. Yeah. Who are your other friends, associates? Uh, I am dating a member of ADMC. But other than that, I spend Who's a lot that? of time with uh, Shang. Shang Lu. M? Mm -hmm. My ex son. Yeah, Fiona's ex son. Everyone's your ex son, Fiona. What do you know about the company? Give me your honest impression of our operation. Ooh, nice. Oh, interesting. So I have seen you guys do massive intern events. That's mostly the only thing I really know about you as a whole. Um, yeah. Which is interesting. And so it seemed like good organization at the time, although I'm only looking at it from an outside perspective. Um, I honestly don't know a whole lot about your internal workings. I know that I, it seems like you have different branches and people that are in charge of different branches just based on who's associated with the company and what they do in the city. That's just me grasping at straws and paying attention to kind of how the city works. Give me a list of prolific company members and what you know about them. This isn't some like, I'm going to, you know, kill you after this or anything. I'm just curious what sort of information mm. you might have gleaned. Better not. <laughs> well, Fiona, to start with, obviously. Um, I think she's involved with heists. It could be wrong. <laughs> contracts. We, contracts, please. Right. We fulfill contracts. Mm. Thank you. We fulfill contracts. You know, synonyms. Synonyms. Uh, Dragon. Seems like he is materials. Maybe a little bit odds and ends. I know Perez does some stuff. Uh, I know that he was working on Moonshine, but I don't know what else he does. I think Cow is also a part of your organization, but I don't know what he does. I, the only thing I know about Cow is that he was in charge at Senior Buns for a while. And what do you know of the board? Nothing. Ooh. Really? Mm. Apart from the little bit about uh, I can be fired or no, what was it? I can be sued. I saw that in my NDA if three out of five executives believe that I've breached the contract. That's yeah. all I know. Yeah, just, I'm so sorry for stumbling talk. into you. I'm so sorry. I keep stumbling all day. I don't know why. I'm so sorry. That's all I know. I don't know why I'm stumbling. No, Wait, so do you not know? Do you not know who the board of directors are? Nope. Do you know who I am? Yes. Who am I? Mickey Sinclair. Go on. You... I mean, I, I don't particularly know a lot about what you do. I know that uh, Beverly assists you. I have seen some of your charity work advertised on Twitter before. With charity work? There was something about a children's hospital. Let's ignore something. that. Okay, ignore that one. Anything mm -hmm. else? Wow, the time we pimped out that 18 year old. No, record, mm -hmm. records we did not. Had, records we did not pimp oh. out an 18 year old. Oh, right. Yes. Wow, okay. Right. Did you pimp out Jan Jan? No, what? we were. It was a charity date for January. A charity date? That's different. You also made me pay you six dollars once. Why? Ah, uh, because I was pushing weed in a house near one you were standing next to. That sounds like something I would do. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, thank you. With interest. Yeah. Uh. 
it sounds like you enjoy sort of more criminal ventures and natures. Uh, God, I have to start asking this question more. What is your propensity for violence? Are you a violent person? No, only when it's required. Okay. Like a man was beating down doctors at the hospital, so I had to put him down. But I have no record at all. Never been arrested. Not even a speeding ticket. Fake cigarette RP is too good. Good. I'm probably going to change that. <laughs> I'm not trying to avoid it. I just think it has its benefits. Until you said you had a, uh, a inclination to do... Oh, you said you had an inclination to do hacking. Is that correct? So what? Are you interested mm -hmm. in contracts? Roof running? Shopping? Yeah. Um, I quite enjoy those things. I also very much enjoy experimenting, so to speak. I cracked a moonshine recipe really quickly. Right now I'm figuring out the weed growing system for no other reason than I just want to know how it works. I like to know things and understand things. I like her. And, um, oh. If and when we were to run a second intern program, if we were to hire you now, would you be okay taking a step back to join said intern program just to get a sense of company culture? Hmm. I could be interested in that. Okay, because right now I'm sort of trying to get anyone that we hire now and in the intern period before the next intern program to hopefully, not required that you agree to that, but I think it's a good opportunity to get an understanding of culture. I can understand that. It's important to know how people work together. And what times are you typically around in the city? Uh, this storm. So, if I can manage it uh, from the start of NA storm until the end of it. Okay. How's your train ticket? Not great. Sorry, that's not like a, you know, it's not like a filtering question. Sorry, it's a... <laughs> you just want to understand. I get it. No, it's not great. Um, I am sometimes quite lucky, but it is not a great ticket. Um, Breckers, Fiona, do you have any questions? Breckers, you need to speak up. You've been so quiet today. She's my assistant, so I already know. All of it. Sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 26. That's a good age. Actually, you know. 28. I'm wrong. Oh, happens to the best of us, you know. Well, I've spent all day with a girl that thinks it's 2022, so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hey, Alice, how do you feel about British people excluding Fiona? Great question. Um, Just I'm in, indifferent. Mm. Really? Mm. You don't yeah, think I'm that really... they are? You don't think that they are a a blight upon the world? That most modern day conflicts are the result of British colonialization and poorly drawn lines in various places in the Middle East and in uh, Africa and also in Southeast Asia, and that the vast that's, majority of modern that's... conflicts are the fallout of British colonial rule? Well, you asked me about British people, not about the British Empire. Ah, uh, same. Tomato, tomato. Right, right. Tomato, tomato. You're collectively offending millions of people right now. I just want you to know that. What are we not? <laughs> That's the American way. Gosh darn it. It's fair. Uh, Great answer. I, I'm... I mean, all, some of those things are definitely true. But I am also mostly indifferent to British people. I like to judge people on their actions. Not I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation, Miss Oman. Mm -hmm. The company clashes with a group of British people. And a board member says, grab a gun. We need you to roll out in our convoy to go clap these motherfuckers. How do you respond? 
If I was working for the company, I think the only answer there is yes, sir. Bad and answer. Ma'am. Bad Why answer. Is it a bad answer. Because we are not a gang. That's true. That's true. Hashtag not a gang. Hashtag not Do you have gang. to be a gang to shoot people? No. Nope. But let me put it to you this way. It could be your answer or could not. Depends if that's what you, what kind of work you want to get into. If you're willing to clap for the cause and want to, you know, gain certification to be part of a black ops unit that patrols mm. the city in black SUVs in a suit and viciously I takes people see. out and leaves company calling cards, that's your prerogative. However, if you want to be more part of just the contracts division, that's also your choice. I think the contracts division probably suits me best. You can do both, by the way. I understand. Um, I think there are probably many other people in the city besides me that are better suited to doing black ops missions. It's good to know your own strengths, weaknesses. Mm -hmm. By the way, each board member would probably take a different answer to that question. For example, Benji would expect you to say yes, otherwise he'd call you. Um, I believe the term is a uh, freaking rat, you <laughs> dirty rat. So. Then he probably wouldn't speak to you for a couple of weeks. And, you know, you'd have to, like, convince him that you're not a rat before he'd, you know, start mm -hmm. speaking to you again. So to be aware of. I don't know. I just, uh... Really half ass things. Loyalty is important to me. So. I feel like if someone were to ask me to do something that heavy, then there would be good reason. There would have to be. Good answer. Some level of trust there. Good answer. Fifi, do you have any questions for her? No. What? Fifi! She's my like She's my assistant. <laughs> what, yeah, you're she's been working for me for like a month. Well, now she'll be working for us, Fifi. It's a bigger deal, Fifi. That is that is her choice. How has she been as your assistant, Fifi? Uh, Mr. Omen, she if does. you could step away for a bit. Uh, we'd yeah. like to oh, talk yeah, to Fifi probably. now. Yeah, probably. All right. I'm going to get yelled at. Let's walk over here. Do you want her to walk away so I can answer that last question? Yes. But also, no, you're not going to yell that. No, she seems great, Fifi. This is a great pick. Why? I'm going to yell at you for why didn't you bring her to us sooner? Because she. I think she's been putting her feelers out and just working for me. Um, But getting her under that NDA was my plan to get her closer and get her uh. acclimated with people and get her meeting people. So that's kind of already what my intent was. I wanted her to, you know, I wanted to feel her out myself and then let her feel out the company and see if that's something she would like. But as my assistant, she's been great. She'll do everything I ask. And also she's good at understanding context clues and getting things I need without even asking. Um, and just doing things that I don't ask her to do that she knows needs done. Like she's, she's very good at what she does. Like, the RC car we got for the job, that was her. Suddenly overhearing a conversation I was having and just going and getting me an RC car. You know, like... She's oh great. my god, she's an independent go-getter. Not yes. BSK, not Seaside, not Rust. New to the city, a woman wants to hack, actively goes and does stuff without having to be told. She's perfect. Yes. Ready to be molded as well. I'm uh, already setting up some plans to kind of help her learn uh, more about the kind of criminal underworld as well. I'm really excited about. Good. Good. Um. Well, I don't have other board members around to fully hire her. Let's have her sign the NDA. I'll pitch it to the rest of the board. And uh, Fifi, you can be around for that meeting. And uh, mm -hmm. usually we have a board member sponsor hire, so I'll be the sponsor. Um. I think this is a sure one, though. It's perfect. It is perfect, but I will say, you gotta you gotta talk to her and make sure so that's what she wants. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's your job, Fiona. Okay. That's 
Fair enough. So what what kind of um what kind of role would you be kind of interested in giving her then, or is it more so just still as my assistant? I think she can still perform duties as your assistant, but she can gain access to. Sounds like she would be great to do basic uh, contract work as well as other criminal ventures, hacking, uh, roof running, shopping, etc. A member of our uh, contract team, especially though. Yeah, she also helps me with planning and things too, so I could probably get her in helping with more of the logistics that I do as my assistant. She probably assist me with the things I do as well. You'll have to talk to her about the. Uh, the quota and the amount of money that we request, which by the way, I am going to bring up to the board to uh, probably reevaluate just based on where we are currently about. I just feel like every week is so, I just get annoyed with it. I'd rather we do it monthly. Yeah, same. Also, uh, it's been very, now that Ray kind of took it over and Mar Mari hasn't been around, it's, uh, it's been very fallen behind. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to vote to the board that we just move it to a monthly thing. Okay. It really, it's just an investment so that we can cover broader infrastructure investments for the company. For full transparency, Fifi, we are um, using the money that people have been investing to increase the Butcoin mining operation to 250 a day by the end of the month. Holy shit. That is a good investment. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And, We're gonna and, have the fucking Amazon servers in our fucking house. Oh, and I, there's actually some, we need like, I need a board level meeting soon because I also want to pitch that now that we have the uh, Sly's property is being, we have the cleaning operation, the pharmaceutical operation, all this. I, I think project managers should just get keys to everything. I think we're just too, we have the code box too now that we can put on things. Exactly. So it's like you we can... can even keep things restricted still if we needed to. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's there's pin codes you can put on every storage now. That's like a number that only that you have to put in to access it. Yeah. If even if they have keys. So like if they wanted to like keep the money away or something from the project manager. So for tra so for trauma purposes, we could basically lock our insane amount of fucking GPUs and the trauma of the house heist could be locked away behind a door that only the board members have keys access to, but then everyone else could have full access to the house. I don't yeah, know if you can put the, can you put the keypads on the doors? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't looked. Maybe. I haven't looked either. Yeah, but oh, there are keypads, so. I think you so. can. But you might be able to put them on the racks, you know? Yeah. So you can just lock down the racks. Can you put it on a door? I don't know. I don't think We'll so. figure it out. Either way, yeah. I, not for this meeting. Um, bring her in at the intern level, Fifi. Mm -hmm. Um, inform her about the quota and why we do it. It's important that she knows why. Gauge her interest and, uh, let's get her working with us. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, do the gauging of the interest and explain things to her first. And then if you want to talk to the board, we can go from there. This is Mickey. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Mickey. This is Reggie. How are you doing? Reggie, I forgot to save your number. Uh, this isn't my number. This is my number when the ship pops off. Oh. I have like multiple burner phones. Um, we, we need to have a little bit of a chat. I heard about the incident. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm fine. Like, I was the decoy. I can tell you about that. Um, I see are you down in the city. I am down the city. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a call once I'm down there. Goodbye. We can uh, catch up. Bye. That's actually another quick two things. Um, I'm gonna have a meeting with Timo today about his uh, contracts and things like that. Um, Jaden, I don't know if that's a conversation you want to have to try and bring him in his contract or bring him in closer. And also, yeah, Reggie. Reggie, I believe, is going to be. I'm proposing Reggie to be fully hired on, actually. Nice. Yeah, Reggie is fucking insane. In a good way. On another note, Fifi, I need you to help me manage the new plans that we have for the HQ apps because we need people in or out. Yeah. It's okay if con... I think people in the company need to be in on one of the two apps. By the way, this is a new change breakers. The HQ apps, you can't be swapping them in and out. 
The roster has been much larger for contracts. It's now 24 instead of 12. But you can't be swapping in and out of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. You can, but it's like it's like a we- you basically are locked out for then like a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Zaza, our main contracts account. Anita, our pharmaceuticals account. And then uh, oh, she's still probably waiting for us. Oh, we'll wrap up here. Yeah. And then we have Uppy Wuppies, a secondary one. We need to figure out how we organize those. I have pitched to OTT that I will actually own Uppy Wuppies and run that one for less experienced company members and Mickey plans with people outside the company. Smart. Good idea. Yeah, agreed. Uh, that's all. All right. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, Fiona, is if we, if she, you know, we finally bring her in, in, you know, she's still your assistant, but now she has access to the company resources, which I think would make her being your assistant even smoother. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, so. for the most part, she's helping me with my own things, so. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, brought in that eventually, I guess, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll have that conversation. And then uh, Mickey has a conversation with the board. I'll see where her head's at. I'll let you know if it's something she will be interested in before you bring it up so you don't waste your time. Um, she might just maybe want more time to acclimate herself to the members before she commits fully. Sure. So I will uh, figure out where her head's at with all of that. It Understandable. In there at all. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just update you, Breckers, and then you can update Mickey. Because Mickey, you are yeah. a busy man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Speaking of, I have to go get food. Let's go. Dismissed. I use a perfect hire. Congratulations, Miss Oman. Uh, Fifi will speak with you more. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, I have to call Raymond. Why is that? I don't know. That's me. Told me to call her in the middle of that meeting. All right, do it. Drive us somewhere where we can get food. Yeah. Hi, Miss Mond. What's up? Thank you, Shawnee. Oh, yeah. Me. I don't remember what that was about, to be honest, but... Um, hi. How's it going? No? Should I remember? What did I forget? Maybe it was for Mickey, yeah. It could be for Mickey. That makes the most sense. Okay. Um, we should, um, hmm, we should have a talk sometime. Not right now, though, but, like, another time about something, so. It's like, yeah. Right. <coughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> This mod's crazy. What'd she say? Stuff. What'd she oh, say? Just completely like, just about like people and things. It's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know? You're not making even, sense, Breckers. What are you talking about? Let's just forget Miss Mod exists, okay? Let's just forget she exists, right? So, that's probably the best solution. Breckers, what do you mean? Well, she just said like this insane thing about like, about the foozes. <laughs> like, I don't even know why she, like, you know, she's so crazy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, that's all. What did she say about the foozes? Oh, not, not, just that, like, like, she, like, heard from, like, somebody that, like, I had a crush on one, which is <laughs> insane, might I add. <laughs> so crazy, so. I don't even know where she gets the stuff. Probably like TMZ or like a tabloid or something. Sorry. Here. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, I guess send you a bunch. Oh, I think I did it. I have 10 patties on the Just board. crazy. Crazy stuff. Really go? crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, probably a food. Probably a burger. Okay. Do you want a combo? All right, yeah. chat. I'll return I to would, the I war, to the, to, to the conflict and war chat. With um, a sprunk, no ice, please. Please. All right. 
just one or two. I'll do Uno. I, I was just saying, I think like right. you should be willing to to lose. That's what I was saying. Like it's like you you have to role play that you can lose, right? That that's all I was saying. Oh wait, fuck! I didn't pay with cash. Wait, hold on. Oh fuck! My card declined. Hold on. You're doing great. Go. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, I'll go ahead, sir. Hello. How's your day going? It's going great. Could I get two combos? Sprunk with light ice. Yeah. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you flies. Wreckers, can you cover that for me? I have to answer this. Hello. Oh, yeah, of course. Know. Hello. Um, are you able to come to me? I'm in the city at the moment. I'm at Senior Buns. Do you have wheels? Or do no. you need to be picked up? Okay. Yes. I will come and pick you up. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Have a good night. I'm looking at my bank account. It says 2-8. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Appreciate that. Like, guys, I'm not saying that, like, you just surrender the first time you take an L. I'm just saying, like, and obviously your your propensity to surrender should, you know, will probably vary based on character. But, like, there should be, like, an obvious, like, there should be kind of, like, the character should have in mind, like, oh, fuck, we lost. Hello. One second. You know? Thank you so fucking much for this You're food. So I am so blessed welcome. and so thankful. And it doesn't even have to be like a lose or win. It's just God, like come so to happy. a. It's like what Thank at what so point much, do you come to a, to the table to try to. Oh my god, you guys look so things. professional and businessy. Oh, oh gosh, thank you so thank much. You. you look so. Say it. Well. Say it, um, pussy. You won't. You look great. Is what I meant to say. And I have a question goes, for you guys. Actually. I think you look like you shit. Do you have a fucking moment then? Always. Um, I have a I have a crazy I'm doing a bit of an interest gauge on everybody that I meet here in town. Okay. And I've gotten I've gotten some really good feedback, but I wanted to give you guys the the rundown in case you wanted to okay. uh, you know Do you want me to give you ground feedback floor on this shit? Do you want me to give you the I feedback want you to give on me the constructive uh, criticism okay i'll start first of all it looks like you just wrapped a bandana no, no, no. around your boobs and i haven't even said the frankly, idea that's a terrible top excuse sir i haven't even said the idea yet oh sorry go ahead you want to you want to drip check me i'm gay of course i do i think i'm like a 6.7 today i rolled out of bed i put on some like tube i put on two tubes they're like two socks essentially yeah you're like a they have holes i'd say you're like ends. a you're like a five but like a Los Santos four, you know? You know what I have that no one other no other girl in town has? What's that? Okay. Curtain banks. I'm sorry. And I'm so sorry that you have that. Anyways, what's your idea? Curtain banks. The idea is fabulous. Okay, so picture yourself. You're at Burger Shot. Couldn't be you, right? You'll never join the lower ranks of those vagabonds who choose to eat there but you do this time around and you're put out because the store is busy and your food is not coming out and you're like god i wish i could just go on an app on my phone and fucking give them peace of my mind on a review app have you ever been to the doctor's office and a doctor has done a fantastic job helping you out they've healed you well you feel fantastic and you're like god i wish i could just give them a review and, and give them one to five stars well now you can with a new app kelp you are able to rate anything anywhere anytime Karen place. Yelp. Not just the doctors or the business places. You can rate police officers, judges. Karen Yelp. You can rate your best friend. You can you can basically give everyone a one to five star rating and choose their reputation in town. You can vote with your words, not just on Twitter, which goes away each day. This stays around persistently. It doesn't go away. It's like a forum. We all have access to it. But wait, there's more. The only way to get rid of bad reviews is to pay the government. Thank so that's you. how you get money. Welcome. And everyone has a stake in this because everyone's going to be rated. You know, we're all going to be giving, swapping each other's rankings. I, per se, would love to have a five-star rating. But if I didn't and I wanted to, you know, remove my bad rankings, I could. The thing is, though, we will build a society that will essentially resemble China's social credit system. But it gets even better because then if you have people rating people badly and, and doing review bombing, 
it sets up an entire warfare of chaos because then you have people review buying bombing good reviews and and and, and, and review bombing bad reviews who knows what the real reputation of anybody is it's all it's all kerfuffle it's all numbers Hi, chaos what do you think about that i'm sold where do i invest I need to talk to uh, the mayor, I think, and somebody named Siobhan. That's what I've been told. But but the concept, to, 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 to be succinct here, my good sir, the, the concept behind this kelp is as follows. Kelp is an algae that grows in the bottom of boats. It's disgusting. The only way to get rid of it is to scrape it with some abrasive material. And that's called money. The abrasive material in this sector is money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sold. You're sold. Okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta get this Jimmy. in the ears. Hey, hi, Jimmy. My name is Mickey Sinclair. Gonna... Nice to meet you, Mickey Sinclair. My name is Jep Jaylee. A pleasure. My number is four two zero six three seven zero one one two. I've also Bluetooth, Bluetooth it to the top left of your phone. Uh, I'll speak to the mayor about this when I get in for. Uh, you'll speak. You'll speak with me with the mayor about this, Mickey. Let's let's be clear. I didn't just give you an idea to go Jimmy, to go under my nose. Didn't you win I've given this idea to a lot of people. April ago, Foos is on the is a famous name. I've given it to. Oh, I've told. Oh my uh, God! Uh, just, just wait. It gets even better. Work with us. No, wait, work wait, wait, with wait. us. Not her. Work okay. with us. Not her. Okay. That's why I'm coming to you. That's why I'm coming you, to you because you she's are. this social media maven. She had me. She, you know what she wanted to do? She no, wanted she's to give a social media. She's doing a great job, Jimmy. She's she a wanted social to give her dev powers so she could take her reviews away free of charge. That's what she's trying I'm to doing accomplish good. here. I've been doing she's trying to get in the ground floor. She's close to a car. Yeah, yeah, well, I am the chief marketing uh, executive for the company. I'm an executive of a very powerful, very illustrious company that is a tech company here in Los Santos. I will work with you to pitch this to the mayor. I spoke, Beautiful. Yeah, I spoke to the fucking perfect guy. Okay, perfect, Mickey. Good. I need to go. To, we we got to schedule something in. So get me in a room with Siobhan and the mayor. I think this is a sunken. I think it's a done deal. I think they're going to love it. Text, uh, text me your full name uh, when you message me, okay? Got it. I'll be Thank in touch. you so much. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's like, it's, it's just poetic. Like it's obvious she's going to run into fucking April and Mickey and they're the two who will listen to the yap and want to do that idea. Like, it's just like. That's the news. Oh, okay. Oh, I will. Sorry. I'm just going to leave it alone. We'll just steal it from her. Yeah. Classic company stuff. No, 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 we actually shouldn't, but that actually is such a brilliant idea, and if the mayor would actually support something like that, I wish we could be petty with reviews in this city. Oh, it would definitely make things a lot easier for me and you, to be honest. I would review everyone. Yeah. Yep. Where are you? The lighting out the front. Okay, be right there. Goodbye. Uh, Breckers, let's meet with Reggie. Reggie, Reggie. Too many fucking meetings. Hello. Wait, is this just a two-seater? Yeah. What about Breckers? Then you can open the trunk. We fine. But that's inhumane. Indecent. What do you need to talk to me about, by the way? Uh, but what's happening up north? Where is he? Good news, bad news. Uh, I think we just need to set some things up. Is there... Breckers has a car anyway. Oh, true. I, I'm going to be... Wait, Reggie, uh, you're going to hate this. Is there any way we can do this meeting another day? I've actually been meeting down and I'm kind of fried. Well, it's kind of important. Otherwise, my business gets fucked with. What, what can I actively decide on this that would help you right away? Um... You all need to do something about making sure that they're actually looked after or they're doing their shit. Because here's the thing, right? You got one of two options. They lay low, they do towing and that kind of shit. They get caught out by themselves and then they get these small little victories, right? They sit there rubbing their hands together, all happy that it's happening. Or during times where they're not going to be there pushing, you get people up north still pushing and looking after that shit and we keep pushing further ahead while we're pushing them down now you know that they're going to come up north 
Are, are you speaking yeah, about this being would... for, uh, with the manor? Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I would just say this. You guys should, our first priority should be you guys continue business as usual with a crew that's ready and up there, ready to intercept and defend. If that crew that's yeah. up there that's defending sees an opportunity or hears information where they can be aggressive, they go and be aggressive. Otherwise, they stay defensive. That's what I would argue. But that's yeah, up to the other that, board that members. They know this shit better. Yesterday. So, so that didn't happen, right? We had a couple of guys up there. I know that we reached out to Perez and Sly. Uh, both of them ended up going to bed. No one got looked after. It was me doing patrol there for them as a decoy. I'll kill them. So if shit happened, um, uh, I would get like picked up instead. And that's exactly what happened. I got them out blocked for them Looks and then like they went after me instead reggie i'm gonna be totally honest with you i i am the last person to discuss tactics with well it's not more about tactics other than the fact that i need you to be pushing for the farm boys to be actually looked after because if they're Done. not pushing then my business gets fucked with and i start losing money too i support i i support any of that so as much as everyone wants to you know be all there at the same time together People need to remember that there's other people that are just going to get picked off and it's just going to slow down business. We can't have that. Yeah, I, I agree and I support all that. I just, I'm just not the, I, I, I already told the other board members in this conflict, I default my vote to whatever they want to do. It's a conflict, so I don't, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, never see, gonna, I'm never going to, I'm never going to vote against anything. But why I'm coming to you is because KJ said that you're usually the good one to talk to to look after farmer. That's why I'm talking to you. Because I'm going to oh, chew Benji out for not spot. having anything sorted out for that shit, but that's his own thing. But KJ always talked about talking to you about that shit, so here I am. I know that okay, you don't well, want to tell, be in the I'm an, I'm an, that kind of stuff, but I'm going to you tell can you this. yourself. Uh, here, let me articulate this. Our number one priority should be protecting pharma as opposed to hunting people down. So priority one, protect pharma like people. Buy it a bit, an apartment here. I agree. So whatever you can do on your end to push it to to reiterate that to the other guys, I'd greatly appreciate. Yeah, I just know just know that if it ever comes down to a vote of should we give pharma guns, should we go protect farm, my vote will always be yes. Okay. I don't think giving them that is beneficial. They are not war ready themselves. I tell that yesterday with me talking to them. One of their responses was, "What are they going to do? Rob me?" I don't think people think about the fact listen, that you I, I need you to uh, listen you need to get you need to get the other board members locked in on this Reggie I I don't know why KJ is going to me it's probably because I just will default and say yes and give people all the supply and support they want but I'm not the one who can like actually run shit and get people mobilized on this all right is anyone else awake other than you no Ray's gone Benji's gone Fucking Bums. Can 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 I, I'm sorry. Can we also just like I, and I don't mean to take this out on you. Can we just pause and like accept that sometimes it's it's a fucking Sunday and someone might be gone. And it, if that's the case, we can just chill for a bit. Like it. There's, there's no chilling. Well, there I, needs to be. I love taps and I apologize, but I'm just learning how to drift my new vehicle. Some uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here now. Y'all be. Many you can't turn off the car in embarrassing situations like this. Wow. Like, uh, dude, they're like all asking. Reggie, I appreciate the meeting, but at the end of the day, I'm, I hate to say this. Just wait a day for Ray to wake up and for Benji to be around. I mean, listen, uh, I'm waiting. It's not going to stop anyone getting attacked, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We out here. Like what? Like what? Also, I, it's so like. For what it's worth, I do believe that his promise must have been handled. Actually, uh, before Storm, Maxine gathered a big war council with all the farmer boys to basically walk them through <sighs> how to be safe in war, how to not be an idiot in war, and uh, gave everyone each other's numbers to contact so that you're never alone during the war. So I feel like, for the most part, things have already been done. Like uh, we've already kind of been uh, approaching this. 
And again, Maxine kind of took lead there and walked everybody through it. And we I should have I should have I should have played fucking. So I think everybody should be good on this. Front. This is why I played Jesse, guys. I'm cooked. I I, I drop me off at the HQ. I just need to go. So I can't with these war meetings anymore. I need to just go to sleep. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Ah. Like, well, like guys. Our lives. Saved our lives. It saved our lives. It saved our lives. Guys, these characters in this game are played this by car. real people, and real people go on breaks. Racy, the streamer, is gone this weekend. Benji is played by Elysium, who has a son who takes Sundays off. It's okay to just not grind for a day and just do something different for a day and put things on pause. That's all I'm like, I'm basically OOC saying, let's just put things on pause for a bit. That's literally what I'm saying. Just pause. It's okay to pause. <clears throat> Good night, sir. Thank you so much, Rikers. Goodbye. Yeah. George Washington saved you. The RP don't pause? Yes, it does. I mean, this is literally why I don't want to, like, fucking wake up Mickey. But what about Bjorn? Oh my god, that's right. What about Bjorn? Oh! <laughs> Silly me. Mickey fell asleep. Whoops. Uh, anyways. Chat, my points earlier was just like... I think you've got to be able to like lose in in a war. All Reggie did is ask for some help. I, I don't I, I don't think he I don't know what that means. He asked for help. I, I don't know. I like what does that mean? He's asking Mickey who doesn't do this. Like, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to role play Mickey as a gangster, gang leader who shoots cops, who defends his boys, who goes back for his boys. I play the character in a different way. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? He wanted Mickey to order people to help tomorrow. I don't know what that means. What does order people to help for? Like, what does that mean? I don't do that. I don't know what that means. That's not my RP. Like, I, I don't know, like... What? Like, why not just chill for a day? You can take a day off. Anyways, my whole point chat about the war stuff is like, yeah, I, I like guys. Uh, this shit's. I don't like. I, I don't know what you guys want. Like, let me put it to you this way: the best content I've had as a streamer during war and during all this is when I get to pretend to be a British person and we're doing that whole we're gonna do some react by the way chat I'll let you guys do some clips you guys realize why that was good vibes because then that's my role play of pretending to infiltrate the manor and do British role play and then chat is just spamming funny British slang and then as soon as I'm out of that it's like, oh, the, the two guns, they're up two guns. You need to protect this person. This crew is not brave. Oh, this is, uh, call this person, meet with this person. Oh, like, it's like, like, I don't like, I don't care. You know?
Um, totally fair, but can't blame the people. You're the only board member around. Of course, they go to you. I, I That's why I almost didn't wake up Mickey today. I probably, honestly, Chad, I probably should have just w uh, woke up Jesse. Or after I did the dumb shit with the manor, I should have swapped to Jesse because I knew this shit was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do this RP. Benji and Ray like to do this RP. I don't, so I'm just not going to do it. Like, fuck. It's exhausting. It's all fun, but in character, it's unfair to be in a gang, but not gang stuff. I... Bro, am I crazy? I could have sworn we made the company and the joke about not a gang is like the whole point of the company is that when it's a fucking war, not everyone needs to fucking black out and grab guns and go to war. I, I, I could have sworn... I'm sorry, but like, I'm not going to have Breckers and Mickey on the fucking war council fucking warring it up, chat. Like, I thought that was the whole point. I'm not going to fucking caravan for eight hours straight. If other people want to do that, they can. Uh, anyways, what's up, chap? I want some K-pop. Oh, what was my... Oh, I was going to finish my thoughts on War RP. Uh, yeah, like... Okay, so... Like, let, let me ask you guys this. If the company is at war with the manor, when does either side surrender? It's the way you said it to Reggie should have been, yep, going to take care of it. Chat, the way I said it to Reggie was OOC. I'm like, guys, guys, I said it to Reggie that way because OOC, me, Nathan Blau, I'm fucking tired. And me saying that in character is me saying, hey, me, the streamer, OOC is pretty tired. And I, I don't want to deal with this right now. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm a person and I'm tired. I literally do this all the time. I'm like, hey, I can't give you good attention during this meeting. I, I've been doing meeting RP all day, talking to all these people. And sometimes I, I, I don't want to, I want to just vibe and chill with my chat, watch some clips. Why did you log in, dog? Uh, to make content and, and role play, which I did. So I so what I do, chat, is I log in, I make content, and I role play. And then after I'm done with like the role play and like after talking to okay, interaction, talking here, interaction, I'm like, oh man, I'm fucking tired. I kind of just want to vibe and chill with my chat, maybe play some variety games. Um you know? That that's that's why. I, I'm the company is not an esports team to me. I don't care. I Blau do not care if the company wins the war. I don't care. I only care that we make good content. Does that make sense? I do not care if the company wins the war. I don't care. I care if we make good content and that's it. If that means we good content winning the war, that's great. If it means losing, that's great. I'm not saying Mickey, I'm saying me, the streamer Blau, who role plays the character. You get what I'm saying?
for smaller uh oh this is actually this is actually a good point for smaller streamers their content revolves around mickey's help oh this is really important no absolutely not the i will give you guys a talk this is like the parasocial chatter talk that ludwig did gave do not rely on me for for your content you need to make your own fucking content i happen i i happen to love spreading rp and helping a lot of people make content but no one should revolve their content around me uh, you guys can look at it dude if if i'll tell you guys something look at how much breckers and mickey do stuff do you realize that if i perma mickey or if i just stop playing gta rp do you think dim oak is going to have any problem role playing with literally anyone else in the city and creating new arcs with breckers no do not rely on me for shit that is not okay I am a I am a variety streamer who is on a role play arc. <laughs> Anyways, we'll do some react. Oh. Yeah, again, like, I, we never even answered this question. How does the com how does the manor or the company lose the war? Like, did, I feel like people have a lot of reasons for, like, going into war, but are, like, don't realize, like, when when do they admit defeat, defeat right? When do you admit? I, I've actually wondered this, and maybe I just don't understand. When do you admit defeat in, like, a in a war in GTA? Morty said they rely on Mickey the character, not Blau the streamer. Okay, I'm telling you. So what happens if Blau the streamer decides not to wake up Mickey? I I have to go back. This is such a we. I have to. I, I gotta cover this topic. They rely on Mickey the character. Okay, so what happens if I don't wake up Mickey the character? Yeah, exactly. But if Blau the streamer is done, then Mickey goes to sleep. Hope that helps. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyways, uh, honestly, you got timed out for this comment, but Lemon Juice actually had a great comment. It was when the chat hoppers break. Uh, I uh, sorry, mods. I actually disagree with this. They said when the chat hoppers break your mentality, or mentality, and the mods can't ban them fast enough. Honestly, that feels like when people surrender wars. I'm just saying, like, I feel like if you're willing to go to a war, you have to be willing to surrender a war, right? right like shouldn't you like uh, that's what i'm saying like you should be able to like we should be able to surrender the war I i'm sure we can when i say like so so, so someone like so cg starts war it's not that you're starting a war to surrender but it's like you have to accept that possibility. I would argue you have to accept that possibility or, or perma, right? Otherwise, I'd say it's fail RP. Because at a certain point, you're saying, I will fight. Like, chat, let's call it what it is. At a certain point, you basically are, are, are saying, I will fight indefinitely because I can respawn in GTA. So I think you have to be able to be like, there's a clear limit for my like a, a reasonable limit for my character or group or all perma. I think that's pretty fail, fair, right? Uh, 
What did Milk say? Oh, wait, wait. Time to wake up Blicky and Wreckers and go full gang gang mode. Hold on one sec. Holy shit, you cooked with that. That's such a fucking good idea. Wow, genuine question. Do you think people war gangs like CG less because OOC, the communities are far larger and... I don't think you have to like like listen. I think CGs is a, it's, it's it's pretty obvious. It's like it's two reasons. First of all, they're like some of the biggest streamers, and it's it's the same thing as if you went to war with like XQC or any other big streamer. As it's it happens always when there's conflict. So the bigger the streamers, the more conflict, the more fucking chatter. So yeah, there's the OOC chatters, but that's just gonna come with bigger streamers. Uh, I think CG in particular is a group that people war le with less because of the skill of the people in the crew, right? You can, everyone talks about shooters, this shooters, that whatever, yada, yada. But like at the end of the day, like a lot of the guys in chain gang have just been doing violent gang RP for a long time. They're very good at it. Like they're like just skillfully, they're very good at it. Like I could, you know, I, there's uh, like, I'll, I'll be on, like, you know, quote me on this. I, I would fucking smoke Rami in vast majority of fps games i'm a better shooter than rami in the vast majority of fps games. i'll fucking cook that guy valorant cs whatever you want but it would take me in gt i don't know there is probably it, it, it would never be to the point where i could be as good as him at just fundamental like gta knowledge movement stuff like that you know but then i'll cook i'll cook rami and valo but he would like it would here's the and maybe here's a better way of, of putting it let me put it to you this way if you gave rami one month to grind valo to get better than me and you gave me one month to grind i don't know just being good at gta shooting and and movement and stuff i will not get anywhere he will get close to me in valorant i will not get anywhere close to him in gta you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's like you should be scared to go to war with Chain Gang because they have they've consistently won wars, consistently win well, you know, win shootouts. They have good communication. They know they know each other, right? Like that like you should be afraid to go to war with them. I I, I always find this weird whenever people are like Oh my God, they're so like scared of chain. Like you, you should roll like, and, and it's not even like a OOC. Oh fuck where These guys are going to clap us. It, there's like an in character reason. It's fucking chain gang, dude. They have, they've earned the reputation that you should not fuck with them. uh anyways that's a thought on war like i like i think this idea that a group should have different calculus or a different like thought of why they would like basically there is a different calculus of why you should go to war with one group or another it's what i explained to you guys like i thought i explained this if you're a fucking if you're some random country and Laos is talking shit and wants to fuck you up. 
and you're the leader of that country, you're going to think about that very differently than if, I don't know, the fucking United States wants to fuck with you, you know? Does that make sense? Both parties should probably have a meeting to set a condition for end, like a full party wipe or something. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, Juwumbo. I kind of just expect that like the character, like the way I've actually seen, part of the reason why I like this conflict with the manor is I think, here's my, here's my thought. I think that and again, I'm also just like, uh, maybe I have a different, like, I, I feel like the way conflict works in, in 4.0 and how important guns are, I'll be honest with you guys. I think one major shoot, like if there's a major shootout tomorrow where multiple guns are lost on either side, or like people are really fucked up one way or the other, that probably decides this conflict. Probably. Gone on for, you know, be third days. And then what I would expect is, Mickey and SK or Benji and SK would meet up and what I, what I'm sort of like, you know, what, what is probably, and again, it depends, you know, it's role play things. People might roll different dice during the conversation that might piss someone off or change. I, I could see it being that like the groups will reflect on the actions and then the damage that's causing to their side and then figure out a path forward, you know? Like, chat, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but when we, uh, when we went, when me and Breckers went to Grove Street and did the whole like incognito thing, we're role playing out a bit where like the company members tried to do some espionage into the fucking manor, right? And the reason why I'm doing that, there's like some OOC reasons. It's because... The conflict's going on, but Ray and Benji aren't fucking awake. No one really found each other earlier. No one's gotten in any fights. It's just kind of what I'm like, let's, let's, let's do, it's basically like a filler episode for the conflict. And I'm not going to like, as soon as they pull up, just immediately ping someone and be like, yo, fucking ambush now, but I don't know. It's like, I, I want the role play. Like I told you guys there'd be a, like, I was like, well, if it goes on long enough, maybe we'll try and like calls me, yo, you're right here, right? But I went into that expecting to take an L, right? And now the manor, if they wanted to, and this is totally fine, the manor could have pulled up and been like, who the fuck are you guys? Let's see your IDs. Yo, fucking run their pockets. They run our pockets. Wait, it's Mickey and Breckers. And they shoot us and they steal our stuff from us and they ocean dump us. And that's a, like, that is a decision they can do. That is a, that's fine. I... I go into that knowing that that's a possibility. Didn't do that. Create some fucking funny ass dialogue. They forced me to try to be fucking British even more. We played the fucking British rugby fucking game. And then they chased me and Breckers out of the fucking hood. And, and, and it made for cool scenes, right? Because again, when I'm looking, and, and that's an L. We took a fucking fat L there. I, I don't. Like, I'm not trying to win a PvP fight. I'm trying to create good content for us and for the manor people. I think that if we viewed no pixel as everyone's trying to create good content and we do a give and take with everyone, everyone eats better and we all make better conflict, you know?
Does Blau hate war RP because of the RP? Does he hate it because of the OC typical war traditions that overshadow its history? Huh? I think it's that. Like, I'm going to be honest, chat. Seeing all the guys fucking blacked out. Like, the, the serious conflict that I was involved. Like, and this is a shout out to the fucking manor guys. I was involved in serious fucking conflict the day before where, like, people were gunned down the street and there was a really fucking cool scene of Mickey tending to the wounds of one of the manor guys and then they fucking kidnapped Mickey and that was sick and then I did like some more sort of joking you know it's like a serious day of war then like the next day was a little bit more lighthearted. Mickey and Breckers try to infiltrate the manor and that was sick too like I, I actually enjoyed all of that RP I what's funny is the part of the RP that I think I don't enjoy is when we're not role playing it but everyone's like fucking talking about it back seating it and like trying to jump to this idea of like what they think is like war rp that to me just sounds like pvp and not rp yeah and you guys are acting like the other people in the company don't also agree like i know maximus agrees with me on ott Do you understand that people treat Mickey differently though? Like Swan doesn't get that experience. Someone show me the clip of Swan getting shot. Someone, someone link the clip of Swan getting shot. Right now. I'll wait for you guys. Oh, it's in the queue. this to be honest i don't really care what you guys have with them so they it's one which garden so i was at the company house i you running where's the, do business with them where's the clip from crystal's pov where's the clip from crystal's pov Where's the clip from her POV? Someone find it. No thing. It's my own stuff. I am actually interested in some business stuff. Mm. Do you ever do you ever deal with the uh, the lead business? Which one? The lead business. Eric. Ooh, that was cold. That was cold. <laughs> Ooh, the lead business. That was so cold. Wow. It's almost like Crystal appreciates good scenes and, and wants good dialogue and good scenes. Like... Like, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Like, she doesn't fish for L's. Like, I don't really think I fish for L's on Mickey. I, I like, this is what's really crazy. I don't really think I fish for L's on Mickey. I think I set up situations that could end up in a spicy L or a spicy W, depending on how things play out. For instance, us going to the fucking hospital, being dumb and getting picked up by the fucking manor looks like an L. Oh my God, they kidnapped Mickey and that turns into a fucking giant W. Swan saves Mickey. Manor gets shot down. You know what I mean? I think sometimes, I think sometimes you guys might think that fishing for an L 
is just I it's just me not playing optimally for a W. You just said you were standing at the manor spot today to take an L. Maybe. Maybe to take an L. Or maybe the role play goes goes along and, and we actually can infiltrate their group more. Or maybe there's a good chance where how am I to know that OTT went asleep? OTT had been spinning the block. Who's to say that while they're like fucking talking British shop with us, all of a sudden OTT and the squad don't roll up and clap them. How am I supposed to know that? You get what I'm saying? Like, like how am I supposed to know how it's going to play out? So what I do is I'm putting the, the scene out there to let it play out. You know what I'm saying? Wait, they said, yeah, I get what you mean. Oh my God, I converted a chatter. Holy shit, they see my perspective. I'm not saying it's the right way to play, to role play and do stuff. It's just my way. I, that's the other thing, chat. I, as I've always said, this is just my thoughts on role play. If you don't like my thoughts on role play or don't like my approach, there's other streamers. And that's okay. I'm not a W chaser, guys. I'm a content chaser. There's three board members who will be gun a hoe for war, but let Blah Mickey play the way he wants to. When have I said that we shouldn't? Am I crazy? I, I thought I was like down with us going to war. I thought I've, I've said, let's fucking do it. I, I thought, okay, let me put these. I thought Mickey has said, let's go to fucking war. I'm pretty sure every time Mickey has spoken in character, Mickey has said, yeah, let's do this. I'm just saying OOC I accept that we can fuck, we could lose the war. I accept that. We could win it. I don't know. Could be a weird stalemate. I don't know. <laughs> this person's name, okay, okay, listen. Uh, here's what I'm saying. Your name is the company arc. Maybe the perception is that the L is not just for you, but the company. But personally, I don't care, RP, but your name is the company. Wait, what the? F but, but like, it's. But like, it's about the content, right? Am I am I like crazy? Like what? It, like, I would rather the company take L after L after L if it's good content, right? Like, I think I'd rather that. Like, I, and again, that's why when I look like, let me put it to you this way. And maybe it's just my take on, on content. Maybe people want, maybe, and I get it. A lot of viewers want to watch W content. And, and if it ends up being that, like, the issue is, uh, if, um, like, that's why I'm like, I, I literally just started today watching that fucking, uh, Bon Bon. Raymond arc and I'm like holy shit 
no one is uh, dude i i guarantee that arc is conditioning a new form of con of like content and conflict for people no one's spamming w w bon 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 on to like no like they're, they're watching a show and it's cool That, that whole arc is not about wins or losses, but that's good content. What are their two RP types and both are good? Content versus good. I like your RP. It's funny, but other side is more realistic RP where you go for realism. Both are good. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Mick, I'm going to all say this, bro. Mickey and Brecker's dressing up and going incognito to spy on the manor as with fake British accents is more realistic than people gunning each other down for the 11th time and, and waking up at the hospital to gun each other down again. Don't tell me, don't talk to me about realism. Nah, fuck that, bro. Peaky blinders. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. That's jokes, fam. That's a violation thing. What are you talking about? Realism with the fucking war, bro. I'll. I would be way more. I would be way more invested in the shooting side of war RP if, when it's a declare like a true conflict, you have to ICU your character. That is soap soap opera level RP Blau. Where you, yeah, you, I agree. What what me and Breckers did is soap opera RP. What I've seen other people do is playing a video game. Respawning is a what we did is soap soap opera RP. Respawning is a video game. I'm not trying to be an elitist. I'm just saying that like if you're gonna if you're gonna criticize one as being unrealistic, you have to also look at the other one as unrealistic. Right? I'm just saying apply the standard fairly. Yeah, that's why I don't, I go crit, like someone said, it is a video game at the end of the day. Some people just enjoy having fun shooting. Yeah, I get that. So let them do that. And then let me also do my fucking silly undercover RP. You know? I guess what I'm saying also, Chaz, like all these perspectives are like me, the streamer. Like this, like this is, I'm not saying I'm right. This is just, I'm trying to rationalize how I view it. You guys can disagree with me. That's fine. But I'm, if you disagree with me at the point where you're like, well, it's unrealistic versus realistic, I'm going to call you out and be like, you know? Why can't you do your silly RP and also shooting in Ws? You can. I will do my little role play with Breckers that was funny today, and then tomorrow... Ray and Benji and whoever else likes to do shooting RP can go and do that. I don't do shooting RP because I like to 
shoot in Valorant and not in GTA. And the character Mickey, that doesn't really make sense for him. You know what I'm saying? What other questions do you guys have? Wow, isn't it hypothetical or hypocritical to say you care about real about being realism, but then basically try and get hurt by going undercover? Um no. No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, oh, this is great. If someone if someone on the server said if it was a server rule that during conflict, if you get hurt, you're ICU'd or like there's actual significant punishments, then I wouldn't do the bit where I go undercover or if I did I would do it and would ICU and accept the consequences what I'm saying is if people look at that as Breckers and Mickey being silly and NVL I'm like yeah isn't all of this conflict of people NVL in it because they just get shot and then wake up and then go shoot again I think it's more about your friends getting gunned down and robbed while you offer Yu-Gi-Oh duels. Yeah, because I'm trying to keep it light and trying to keep the con, uh, you know, the content sort of fun. And Mickey would be someone to offer a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, because again, what's uh, guys? What's sillier, ending a gang war with a Yu-Gi-Oh duel or getting shot and respawning? several times a day right which is more which at some point you just have to accept that both are pretty unrealistic and that's just content at the end of the day let's be honest the manor doesn't want the smoke of a Yu-Gi-Oh duel I'm not saying the war should end tomorrow either. Someone in chat did that. I, I, or said, I was just saying like, I think it should end. Could be a compromise. Could be that we fucking clap them and they give in to us and say, yeah, we fucked up. Or it could be that they clap us and we have to give in to them. I think all of those are possibles, like possible avenues, right? You better be careful. Matt would smoke you on AOE. I'll... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He wants to play Age of Empires versus me? Oh my, I will cook him at Age of Empires. No fucking bro. There's no way. Who's got the sheep video? Who's got the sheep video? Who's got the, sh the sheep video? This is the true W chasing I'll do. Well, I think if you go exclamation mark sheep. Let me see if this works. Does anyone know what clip I'm talking about? Who's got the, the sheep clip? You guys know the one. Someone's got to have it. Mm. 
You guys not know the one where we're playing Age of Empires? Someone go find it. You guys know the one I'm talking about, right? Yo, chat, stop arguing with each other. You guys can argue with me. Don't argue with each other. Mickey's making a content war rather than being serious. Just to match the energy, I guess. The thing is, as much as that's that true, bike? I feel oh, like a lot of his group oh, aren't on the same energy Mickey is. And that was the example You don't want to get changed out of that fit. Like, we, we, we Why are we getting the straps in that? Because that's going to draw attention. What, yeah, friend? I need a close, so... Wait, 68. wait one second. Down back, caught over the dirt road. Yeah, that's the reason we pushed with knives last night because we we assumed it was going to be more like that. But like we got that's met with well. very serious get a change energy, up there, like, yeah? very quick. Yeah, so like, 68 clothing. Yeah, see you guys. <sighs> well, now that they know, I'll I'll admit to you, chap. Oh, oh, see, this was all planned. The secret war council of the company. We actually all agreed to have me. So Lizium and all of them agreed to have me, Blau, basically bait people into thinking that it'd have some lighthearted fun shit so that we could lure them into a false sense of security and then clap them in a serious way. Now you guys know the true strategy. That's how dedicated to chasing the W I am, chat. Now you guys know I'm a W chaser. What's up? But again, this is why, like, for instance, when I went and did, like, to be fair to them, when I went and did it again, I think Matt makes a great point. When I went and did it again today with Breckers, if they decided to rob us and run our pockets and then fucking leave us for dead, that would have been, like, that's fair game, right? Sir, I got Mr. Sinclair. He's a West Boston. How are you guys? Where are we going? Our garage soon. He's not Somewhere. responsive. Yeah, sir. Sir, no, he's kidnapped. Just listen to where I'm gonna give you the location. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Where? Somewhere. I'm just not sure. All right. They're going north Las Lagunas. It's heading towards the closing store. North Las Lagunas. North Las Lagunas. Who's got a gun? Chase him down right now. He's in key. I do. I do, sir. Clap them all, Swan. Take them all out. Sir. They said they're going to set his throat if I continue to follow, so I Doesn't need you to matter. be here Lock him down. Lock him up. Cock him up. Mickey knew what was Sir. at risk. <laughs> Are you able to help pursue? Yeah, yeah. I am willing to help pursue. I'm going to my car right now. I Where fucking are you, hate right. fire, Benji. They're heading this towards is fire right now, bro. North I mean, we, we don't even have this stuff. I, I'm this is put, fire, I'm Benji, right bro. I'm going to get ball a gas station. Come, somebody pick me up. Blah. By the way, if, if someone took someone Mickey cares about like a gunpoint or a knife point and demanded something of Mickey, he would do it. Like if they're like, yo, fucking let us into your house or we'll kill this. Like Mickey would, would do it. As long as it's like some, as long as it's not harming other people, but like giving up something material, make it 100 percent do it. So I ain't never gonna leave you, Mickey. I ain't never gonna leave you, you son of a bitch. You're stuck with me until the end of time. You hear me? You hear me? I would never, ever. Ever for any reason ever switch from team Mickey to team anyone else, man. Fuck yeah. Mickey all the way, man. Mickey fucking Mickey fucking gave a Breckers a family, man. And Breckers will always be eternally loyal to Mickey for that. Always, 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 always. Also, also, in my humble opinion, 
I think the Blau is one of the best RPs on the server. Like throwing, not role playing with somebody who like gives so much RP to everybody and only wants to give more RP is insane to me. I would never want to do that, man. I would always just want to like, you know, be around somebody who, who, who kind of, you know, also wants to give RP in that way. So. Straight glazing, bro. Maybe we'll, uh, Okay, well, I made the comment. You said, and then other people lose all their hard work. Chat. But, like, if someone has. Like, but what if I don't want that person to die? I could say it's just a game. It's just fucking pixel money. I could say it's just a game. They're going to respawn. I think the better answer in role play is it's just pixel money. You know what I'm saying? Man, these speed bumps are wild. <gasps> Since I first played Grand Theft Auto 4, I'm telling you guys, nothing feels as good as just driving a fucking truck through a bunch of fucking locals. That's always like. What is happening? I think we got a body stuck in the trunk. <laughs> What was that? I think we got a body stuck in the trunk. What do you mean? Do you not see? <laughs> Incredible. Um, hold on. Uh, I, I I'll admit this is me getting. I, I've gotten one guy. Actually, I don't think I've gotten one one guy. I think it's me. Okay. Double DS eighty five. You keep making everything difficult. Hold on. You make everything so painful to watch. Okay. Let's do it. Let's run it, man. You're my you're my true one guy. I don't think I've been one guy. I think it's, I, double DS. What's up, man? Let's talk it out. It's good. What's your beef with me, man? What's up? Giving you the floor. What's up? Read your chat history, actually. No beef, lol? Oh. Wait, no beef. Hold on, wait. What do you mean, no beef? Huh. Wait, what do you whoa 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 whoa. No beef. No beef. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No beef. I love the company, but the complaints and always you sound like you should be intern level. Quit complaining. Do you fold a business is you lose a major deal? That's weak. You want to always lose and bring company down. You always want to lose is your problem. Bro, I didn't understand some wait. You just kept causing a lot of problems. Man, it seems like, come on, man. That sounds like beef. Come on, talk it out with me. Let's talk it out, man. Are you, are you good? 
Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. How are you saying that I'm... Bro. Your loot box mentality... Bro, you are a loot box chatter, man. You talk all this shit, and then as soon as I call you out, you write no beef? Bro, you're a bigger pussy than Mickey Sinclair. You make Mickey look like a fucking gangster, bro. Like, bro... Who's the one who's the one folding, bro? What is this fold, bro? At least when I call you out, talk your shit, man. God damn, dude. Talking about me taking folding it after an L. You you I didn't even hand you an L. We just I just opened up the dialogue. And then you wrote, bro, you're a clown. No. But do you know who is a clown? You called me, I'm not a clown. I'm a company member. You know who is a clown? Raymond and Chatterbox and previously um, Bon Bon. That's right. And you can learn all about the clowns on Clowning Around with Valkyrie and Chatterbox from Roleplay Podcast on YouTube. Fuck. Bro, you like te you like cued me up, man. Double DS said you talk a big game, bro. Big mouth, not watching your shit anymore, dude. Bro, it's not, it's not GTA RP, man. I'm not pressing you on the south side. It's a fucking Twitch chat. Come on. It's not that deep, man. We're just we're we're just poking fun. That's what listen, that's the difference between that's the difference between you and Mickey. Mickey folds like a chair but doesn't get butt hurt. You fold like a chair and get butt hurt, man. Like what like come on. You didn't have to you didn't have to get that upset. Come on, man. Dude, I'm telling you, this Blau vs. One guy is fun as fuck. You know what you're doing? You got a whole chat to go against someone? Yeah. You're in my chat. <laughs> what, you think you just... You think you just talk shit about me and not have me call... I gave you a chance to talk some good shit... Bro, I swear, we've also done Blau versus one guy where the one guys actually talk good shit back, you know? Yeah, besides, my own chat flames me all the time, man. The fuck? You know my community? The fuck? They love flaming me. I give you a chance to talk some good shit. And you fold it, man. Man... Wow, you are the CEO of the company. I'm only CMO, but that's right, guys. That's right. Our official rebrand to the Cuckpenny. Don't worry, you can watch. Double DS said, I folded. Oh, shit. You kind of did, man. I feel like you kind of started beef and then he said no beef. Uh, I think that's kind of folding, man. Also, I thought you were going to leave. By the way, chat, happy Sunday to all of you. I don't know. I, the the one guy's I'm I'm sorry I'm chasing a W on this one sorry
All right. Bye, Double DS. Hey, honestly, that wasn't my favorite one, guy. All right, we move on from the one guy. That was eight. It's good. Um, that was just sad. I was, I mean, listen, I mean, I think it's like, listen, I think if you want to like, I, I, I'm sorry, chat. I don't really have empathy for people who go into people's Twitch chats and harass streamers and that the streamer calls them out. You can be like, whoa, why are you dogpiling on this guy? It's like, that's the fucking yeah, fuck around and find out like shit. Wow, you can have a second one guy today if you want. No, no, no. Liz Mari, I'm sorry. Chat and to all my cozy viewers, I'm sorry. I've been I've been I've been having way too much fucking spicy fucking shit with chat recently. You guys have actually been honestly, I, I will say you guys have handled like serious talks really well and it's been kind of a vibe. I really like it. I can't wait for more dev talks with you guys about cool game design shit, by the way. Why does this keep opening up Valorant? Sorry, cozy viewers. Is it fine? Oh my god. No, I was gonna. You guys want Yu-Gi-Oh or TFT? Or Valo. Bob, you guys can do a vote. Hold on. Here's shit. You guys pick though. I might ignore this pick though. Just be be aware, Chad. I might be it's my stream, so I might ignore you guys. It's not even close. Fuck, I split up the votes. All right, I'll, how about this? We'll do Valo so I can role play in Valo. Mods, change the, uh, change the uh, title to uh, Valorant role play. Good chat. Wait, Omi's on Valo? Is he actually? Omi? He's on Rocket League, guys. You baited me. Oh, shit. Anyways. Uh, I'll probably do it. No, chat. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, how about this? We're going to do a Valo game and then I'll do a league or sorry. I'll do a TFT or a Yu-Gi-Oh game for you guys afterwards. 
Match found. Just so you guys get a bunch of variety in today. While we're doing that, we can do a little Q&A. I can talk to you guys about my thoughts on no pixel design. Because I've been saying, bro. Cool. Let's go. Yo, team. I want you guys to know something. I'm a, uh, I'm a GTA role player. Um, I'm going to try and role play as a good uh, jet. No, I'm not. I'm not Jules. But I'm role playing as an insta log jet. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not Joel's. What's their stream? I don't know who that is. What's their stream chat? Who's Joel's? Wait, what's what's their stream? I think it's literally just Joel's. I looked. Is it Joel? Oh no, it's Joel's TV. Oh no, that's not me. I wonder what torture their omen is going through. Is nah, my else? my name's Blau. I'm a I'm a Twitch streamer. Um but I, I stream Grand Theft Auto roleplay. Are you are you live right now? Yeah. Drop drop the switch. Yeah, yeah, drop the switch. Okay. Chat, say hi to them. Wave hi to our friends on our team. Yeah, I'm a I'm a GTA uh, roleplay streamer. I'm I'm just playing Valorant. That's crazy. Oh. Okay, now we back up. Now make noise before we back up. And now go. Smoke's down. <laughs> oh shit! I knocked over my can. Enemy spotted, eh? Jed. This is gonna be a crazy move. Oh. Oh. I see. Reloading. Enemy spotted, eh? Enemy spotted, Reloading. Woo! I'm blind. Play time. Right here. Sixty sky. Nice. Seven jet. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. <sighs> nice chat. Oh no, wait, I'm in your That's Anyways, true. chat, thanks for saying hi to them. So, um, I'm gonna try to role play as a as a good jet player. Cause I don't know how to play Valorant, but I know how to role play. Oh, just kidding. GG's guys. GG's. Have a good day, y'all. I'm following, I'm following. Oh my god, new follow. Hog. <gasps> Four new followers. Woo! Huge chat. That's huge. Honestly, bro, what how crazy would that be as a way to grow as a Twitch streamer, guys?
Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, I could just grind Valo and just get four new followers every game. That's actually smart. Anyways, shout out to my new followers from my last team. Good remake, good remake. I cringe when you RP in different games. Match found. Bro, I'd argue my RP in other games is better than my GTA RP. Okay, I have to role play as an Instalock Jet Duelist. Cool. Let's go. Yo, team. I'm a GTA role player. Um, and I'm role playing as a Instalock uh, Jet Duelist. I'm not actually like a toxic jet, but I have to role play as one. I hope you guys understand. See, I'm going to need someone to lock in smokes and someone to lock in sage and uh, pocket heal me. Thanks. Bro, why does no one have mics? Will you guys follow my Twitch channel? Sure. Oh, really? Oh, thank you guys. It... <clears throat> New follower, that's like at least plus two chat. Oh, guys, we need to keep a Valor follower account. I need like a Valor teammate follow count. This is crazy. New friends. Okay, last looks. You yeah, it's look twitch.tv slash blau. I'm trying to get new Valorant teammate followers. Um... Fucked up. Uh, let me know if they say anything, chat. Oh, yeah, I'm self promoting my channel, guys. Sorry, I'm out here hustling as a streamer. Let me know if they say anything. I'm putting in work. It's Sunday. I have to work, guys. Anyways, thanks for the follows, guys. Appreciate that a lot. No problem. Race top. Oh. Enemy spotted A. Listen up. Heal up, squad. Spike planted. Here. Ugh. Ow! Uh, I suck. Last player standing. Oh no. Drop in a smoke. Bro, oh, I'm gonna lose my followers. Fuck. These parasites aren't gonna take one step past this place. Guys, if I lose, there's no reason for them. All right, guys. I say we spicy force hit B. That's the plan. Who's with me? Yeah, that's my squad. Let's do it. Trust me, this always works. Dropping smokes. Oh, look out. Time to Scout up, up. Enemy spot today. One enemy remaining. Spike planted. Hawk out. 
Bro, I initiated. I want the guardian. I want the guardian chat. I greeted, I greeted. Fuck, bro, I gave over a gun. Here. Fuck. They messed up. Oh my god, no, I'm like swan. Bro, by the way, I yo, you guys can ask Crystal. I dumpster Crystal and Vala, bro. I was chasing the W, man. I was trying to get the gun. I didn't value my life. Alright, what's the vibe, guys? Yo, I think you guys go so so cool. What if you guys go slow huh? on A? I'm gonna make some noise on C. Just chill on A. Chill. Don't show. Don't show. Where's here? Fuck that camera. Yeah, I think start working it now. I think we gotta go with text cube. Go, go, go. Inside smoke. I ready. Healing oh. over here. Satchel out. Drop, drop, drop. Satchel out. Cypher. I am so this. Sweet. That went well. All right. Same thing this time. Is this ranked? Yeah. I don't know. I think, I don't know what uh, Elo this account is. I should be playing on my BB Nate account though, because that one's like plat diamond Elo instead of this one. Oh, I did work. Someone asked in chat. Yeah, I did work on Valo a little bit. I did like a few projects for it. Uh, you roll the one in the D twenty, bro. They're talking about the D twenty. I like these guys. This guy's trapped. Oh, we don't have to. We have to commit here. I think we go back actually. Oh, never mind. Raises on site. Never mind. I lied. I lied. Commit. Oh, I know exactly. Hey, don't commit. And now we go back. No, no. Walk, walk, walk. Back. Here. Fuck. Bro, I hate it. Dude, Cypher players are the cringiest fuckers Finish. ever, bro. Can't entry because I'm C. Shut the fuck up, bro. You play Cypher, bro. No one fucking cares. Play the lamest character in this game. I can't entry. I'm C. Last player standing. Spike down. C. One enemy oh. remaining. 30 seconds left. Spike. Spike planted. My ult's ready. Up your ult. No out. Blinded. Up your ult. Pop the ult, bro. Oh. Never mind. Don't even try me. No longer gonna play Cypher after this? Okay, chat, chill, relax, guys. Hey, that's my squad. 
That's my squad. I missed all my daggers. One down. Wait, Cypher's here? We can move. Let's rotate. Let's rotate. One A-Link. Enemy A. Left side there. The right side there. Reloading. Go see. Reloading. Spike planted. I potatoed. Enemy kill. I potatoed. Three. <laughs> Enemy spotted C. RPM guys, that's RPM. My ult is ready. That was bad, that was bad. bad for them. I really do. Bro, that was without our raise. Enough to stop winning. Raise you back yet? Raise? Hold me. They are so I can buy for you, my treat. Nice, okay, okay. Bro, we're kinda of dumpstering these guys. I can buy Did for you, my treat. I'm gonna try and work uh, B. No uh. Yeah, we're kind of taking space on A though. Cypher's here again. Let's go. Let's go through to B. Let's go through to B. Okay. What is that? Our spike carrier is killed. Five. Spike Stay down, down B. Spike planted. <laughs> Last player Fuck. standing. I don't know. I don't know what club does, chat. Maybe I'll with you guys. Bro, I need our clove to get on the board, though. I need our clove to get on the board. Make sure to follow my pack in. They'll lead us right to the enemy. All right, do we just hit the, the C here, guys? What do we think? Who needs something? I feel it. I'm feeling it, yeah. Um, can someone buy for our clove? Have a drop. Can have I can a drop. buy for you, my treats. Bro, what are they doing? Two heroes, oh, right? Reload. Scout destroyed. Chamber and raise here. Oh, please. 
Please help, please help. Prepare for help. It's okay. Last player standing. Spike down B. Bro, they double alted me. Fuck. One bullet oh. That should be enough, yes? All right, let's walk it up B, and then let's just explode out on the B. Who needs something? I feel like we have a way more defense team. I don't know. Come on, let's go. I don't know. I don't even know what's happening in this game. Walk, walk, walk. All right, this guy do some shit now. All right. Oh, time to hunt. Up, upper. Right here. Flank. I know exactly where you are. Last player standing. Why is it? Why is he holding there, man? What the fuck? Team A. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, lucky socks. Don't fail me now. Oh, maybe he had a read. Maybe he had a read. Maybe he had a read, guys. I don't know. Plus one follower. Hey, plus one follower, guys. All right, what are we thinking? Team? Here. Stand up for you. I'll run daggers. Let's go. See, go, see, go, see. What's this? <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. Shot. Bro, I hate when teams when your team just plays so beta. Like no one knows how to just fucking run, you know? Oh, they got him. Nice. Right here. They found my trap. Go water. One hole. I like this spot. Glove hole, glove hole. Nice. Tight. Reloading. They straight up smoked that off. That's funny as fuck. Nice. nice. My ult's ready. On oh, then we need to use the raise ult. One enemy remaining. Not that scary. All right, all right. Outside of this gig, immortality doesn't have as many day-to-day -day benefits as you think. Oh, let's go see again. That was good. GCC. Hello. Who needs something? And now that Cypher's set up on C, we go A, go A, go A, go A, go A, go A, go A. Cypher's here. I lied. Go to B. Clocking sight. No peeking. Bitch. Ceiling.
remaining. Nice. I think that's it. Woo! It seems these strangers want me dead. That's my squad. Thanks. They have op money. They do. Keep up. By the way, thanks all the falls and subs. Say by the way, chap. Uh, forty on close. Oh, maybe don't go there. Maybe don't go there. It's kind of spicy. Defend our rays. Oh, shit is wild. What is this game? Close. Player standing. Spike down. C. Ooh. I have the spike. Run it A. Team A. How are we gonna do on defense versus their team, Last chat? Round I bet the we're switch. pretty good. Uh, I think you guys actually go A. I'm gonna make noise on uh, C. I think it's chill A lobby there for a bit. Cypher's here. Cypher's here on it. Yeah. Oh, let's go B. We're going fast. Yeah, we could go fast. There are no way we're going to Broke his ankles. Proud of you all. Standing in between us and victory. I usually like to play jet on uh Bro, is it is this a crazy buy? Play here. Is it crazy? Dude, sweating, putting monitor closer. Yeah, guys, because I'm playing a fucking game. I'm not role playing. I'm kind of role. I'm role playing as a good jet. Oh, he might be dead there. Enemies A. Enemy A. I might have queued that way too early. Charges left. Right here. Oh. Throughout the planted. classic is a good shotgun. Reloading. Come on, please win a pistol round chat. Team, come on, team. Player standing. Oh no! 
No. Okay, I only have like. Okay, right, now we we actually we we don't buy here. We don't buy here. Fuck. That was it. Tag the clove and the uh, gecko. Gotcha. Yeah, swing that. Spike planted. Nah, you gotta just swing that. Enemy spotted B. Uh, reloading. Last player standing. Oh, they just gotta be brave here. Like they need to swing with their team. Drop in a smoke. Like sometimes chat, you just gotta fucking swing. You know? I got your backs. Just, you know, from the front. <laughs> Wait, they changed the map. This shit's new. Focus now. Oh, that makes A a little bit spicier. Oh, that's so bad. To get picked like that. I'm so bad. Oh, I swear, bro. Our clove is not here. I don't know what they're doing. B B B B. Ah! I have one of these. What's wrong with my buddies? Forty on. Spike raise. planted. Ooh, okay, now Deception. we're here. Go squad, go! Oh, we need this round. No peeking. Grenade. Satchel out. Satchel out. Craft destroyed. <laughs> Close. I'm a good shot. One oh, yeah. enemy remaining. On cover, right cover. Right no. side, right side. Bro. It... Well, nice. But not. I'm not trying to try. Uh. Last player standing. Clutch. No. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. You know. I could just outlive them. <laughs> light by, light by, light by. Ah, oh, buddy, buddy, do not buy an op. No op, not. Light by, light by. Unless you guys all want to buy. A real spicy, aggressive player. Nothing, eh? Here, here, here. <laughs> of course, fucking rat cypher, fucking lurking, fucking. I hate cyphers, dude. I forgot they play like little fucking rodents. Nice. My ult is ready. Fucking oh, rat cipher player, bro. Nice shot. Spike down. Nice Beat shots. Three. One enemy remaining. Okay, chamber, pop off. I think he's on C, right? Oh, they heard them. Oh. No, oh, peek one at a time. Time to hunt. Going A, going A. Play together. 
30 seconds left. What are they? What? Nah, see, now is when you run. Like, you Spike need to get planted. position. Like, there's no reason to go quiet there. You, like, they're so, they're too slow. Drop in a smoke. Last player standing. Yeah. Bro, like, nah, it's over. We lost. We lost. Just gave him 1v1s. Prepare for hellfire. Bro. Clutch. That's right. Bro. How are people so beta in this game? Find the weakest they link are so dead. Like they just, they, everyone just plays so slow. I mean, I know I play too fast, chat, but everyone's so beta. I can buy for you my treats. Are you in for an aggressive uh, peek here, Chamber? Yeah, they're RPing as Mickey, dude. Not doing well, keep trying. We we're must we're keep fucking up cooks. We're cooks, chap. It's bad. We're falling behind. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Our our two our two bot players are just they're just not just not putting in the effort, you know. Pushing up, pushing up. Spike planted. No one in tree. Lock inside here. Last player standing. Oh God, bro. It's over. Power? I got this. Uh, we might need a light by. <sighs> Chat, my RP is a good uh, jet player. It just wasn't there. Hey, it's a GG, guys. Let's go. Here. Razor. Those gecko. Right, let's go kill this rat cipher. The cipher is a rat. Reloading. There, right here. 
30 seconds left. Spike planted. Fuck. Cypher, you rat. All right, GG's chat. We tried our best. Oh. Match point. We move as a unit, okay? Last thing I need is some hero messing things up. <laughs> Oh, it was a tough one, chat. It was a tough one. We did our best, though. We really tried our darndest. By the way, chat, no stream tomorrow, but uh, I'm, re I'm recording some content off stream tomorrow. Big stream on... I don't know when. I don't know what next stream is. Of course, they're not here. Not here. Hey down, Clove. Yeah. Spike planted. Here comes the party. Last player standing. I might not stream Monday or Tuesday, chat, because I might want to prep for podcasts on Wednesday. That was RPA, I'll admit. That was RPA. Hey, we're warming up in Valo, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. Teleport's ready. I don't think he's got a chat. All right, all right. All right, all right. Attackers win. All right, chat. Thank you guys for the amazing stream. I'm going to go play some TFT off stream. Oh, sevens in the chat. And I'll see you guys. When I see you, I don't know if that'll be Tuesday, but it'll be Wednesday at the latest. Good night, everyone. And uh, yeah, thanks for the good vibes. Goodbye, everyone. GG's. Go join the Discord if you haven't. Sub to Roleplay Podcast if you haven't. Uh, we will have a new Roleplay Podcast on Wednesday. Peace.